scallops, please? Profit Montrem. Sammy commanded a high price for her filet mignon. Does it taste as good as it looks, Chef? Mm-hmm. I think 52. Good price. Well done. The blue team also impressed with their dishes. Well, wow. ribeye cow? Yes. What would you price that at? 48, maybe. Wow, that's a good price. Thank you, Chef. What did you pay for your scallop? Uh, $10. Yeah, I think you could charge 44. Wow. Good price. But the dish of the day belonged to Jonathan. That's so good. Now that's like, you have to go there and get the pork shot. Congratulations, $52, well done. Who clinched the win for the blue team. In dinner service, Sandra had on, missteps hi. on the meat station. Still looking a little rare. Let's pop them in. But from that point on, both kitchens yeah, worked flawlessly. I to cook the strip. With three tickets left in each kitchen, Chef Ramsay announced. First to finish, gonna win. Let's yes, go. Chef. Let's go. We're not going up for elimination. Let's go. No room for error. We're hot. Walking salmon. Final table. But on their last ticket, Sandra Too well. and Anya. Go, go, go. Oh, this is good. Disappointed with their Wellington. Still cold. It's cold. Damn it. Which was all the blue team needed to secure their second win of the day. Congratulations, blue team. You won. In the end, the red team nominated. Sandra. And Danya. But ultimately, Chef Ramsay selected Sandra. Terminating her American dream of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Blue team, red team, get out of here. You never want to be that one on the chopping block. All it means is that I have to work harder and I'm only going to get better every single day. Let's go. No more games. No more no yeah, playtime. No more games. Let's go, bro. Everybody in here. It's go time, bitches. Yeah, bitch. Come on, group of them. Oh. Yes, I love you, girl. I'm on a new level. That's how I feel right now. I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling determined today to, to make Saxon proud. She lost her first tooth. Yeah. Said Uncle Anthony gave me an apple, and it's just like her smile, and, and it's the bottom tooth missing. She's five? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's when they start dropping. I'm so sick of teeth everywhere. My toy is the only other person with kids in the house and understands the sacrifices you make and how hard they can be sometimes. So it just feels nice to have her comfort and support. When you get back home, she's gonna be so tall. You're like, where did this growth spurt come from? Dude, I have the days counted down how long I've been gone and I just hope she just understands that I'm doing this for our American dream. I'm so hyped now. Yeah. Time to go. America. Saturday night gaming? Let's go, guys. Oh, wow. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Morning, Good morning, Chef. chef. Immediately hello, we see Jordan Charles. She was in the Olympics. Hello. You cannot get better than that. What is going on here? In the 2020 Summer Olympics, Jordan maintained her balance, hello, hello, her composure, hello. and helped lead Team USA to win that amazing silver medal. Miss Childs is doing front flips, somersaults, handstands on a four inch wide beam. <laughs> like, this is amazing. My chin was scraping the floor watching her do that. There's no way in hell I'd be able to do that in a million years. Like, not a chance, not a hope. Great. That was incredible. Thank you. This is an honor. What's the key to achieve the American dream? What would it be? I would say go out there, do what you know you can do. Don't worry about the negativity that comes in. Stay positive and always believe in the power of your dreams. Your dreams are huge and nobody can tell you anything different. Bye -bye. All of you give up for the amazing Jordan Child. Bye, Bye guys. Right. To start your next big challenge, I'm going to test all of your balance and composure. Hello, you, hello. Follow me outside. Hello, Let's hello, go. Hello. Come on, line up. We're running outside, and I see two balance beams. Is that tomato sauce? This almost feels like another punishment. Maybe the sauce tastes good, and I'll just make some pasta and lick it off. That's hello, right. hello, hello, hello. On hello, these beams, hello, hello, suspended hello. over marinara. For today's challenge, each team will need to create four hello, 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 pasta hello, dishes. Hello. You'll need ingredients to go with your pasta. Each team hey. will cross each team's balance beam one at a time. If you make it to the end of the balance beam, there are those huge bowls full of ingredients. Grab your ingredients. 
carefully head back across the beam and put it next to the pasta you'd like to pair it with. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. But be careful, because if you fall off the balance beam, you'll lose your ingredient and go back in line. The team that finished their board first will win a five-minute head start in the kitchen. Hello, hello, right. hello, Line hello, up, hello, let's go. Hello, let's get it. Hello. We gotta be fast. I know these girls are quick and they all do their yoga in the morning, but I think I can keep up. Kitty. Mark, it's set, go. Let's, let's go. go. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Good job, Lee. We absolutely have to hurry right now. The five-minute head start is a big advantage. Let's go, Lee, well done. Okay, what do we want? Vegetables. I'm so sick of losing, so we need this. Hello, 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 hello. Pecorino. Almost every pasta dish has a little cheese in it somewhere. They go together like milk and cookies. Pecorino, Angolotti, Pecorino. Let's go, Demir. Big step. Big Let's step. Let's go. Steve. There you go. With my football background, I'm a physically inclined individual. Hello, 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 hello. Careful, careful, careful. Well done. Trouble oil. I grabbed tomatoes. I'm light on my feet. I got great That's balance. Boop, 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 boop. This is going to be a breeze. That's it, Demir. Well done, Demir. Well done, Chris. Next, next, next. Go, go, go. Let's go. Don't rush me. I'm I am not fall. a graceful ballerina. I'm kind of like a Tasmanian devil. You got it, Carmen. Just focus. <laughs> Oh, no. I really do not want to take a tomato bath today. My granny would be faster. She died 10 years ago. Come on. Mascapole, mascapole. <laughs> Don't yell my name. Girl, let's go. Like, come on. We have to win this. All right. Pearl onions, quail eggs, salmon, shrimp. 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 Heard. This is going with the Rav, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. This is really not good. Ravioli. You got to make up some time here, Don. Yes, sir. Hello, oh hello, God, hello, God, hello, God. hello, go, go, go. hello, hello, hello. With Danya channeling her inner Jordan Childs. Prosciutto! 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 Oh, my Shuffle. God. Yeah. Both teams are now neck oh and neck. Oh, my God. Love crab. Let's go. Grab and go. And quickly filling up their ingredient boards. Ravioli, you said? No, top, 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 top. top. Come on, Sammy, you're the dancer. I used to compete in dance, so I feel like my balance is pretty great. I used to be able to do multiple turns on one leg, so I am feeling very confident on this beam. Mascarpone! Okay. Right, mascarpone! I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to brock this thing out. You're going to fall. Yep. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, my God. Sammy ate <laughs> She just slips and falls. Oh, oh, like <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. With Sammy's fall costing the red team precious time and an ingredient. Yes, Donya. They must hustle to catch up with the blue team. I got deal, I got deal. Perfect, yeah, yeah perfect. In order to win the five minute advantage. You got this, you got this, you got this. Peppercini! Get in. Oh! Ground pork! Okay, pork, <laughs> pork. Blue team, one ingredient. Great yeah. work, Atoy. Take your time. Looking beautiful, Atoy. Yeah. Looking beautiful. Whoa! Oh. Right, get back in line, get back in line. You got it quickly, Carmen. You, you got it. Two ingredients, quickly. Let's go, let's right, go, kid. let's go, let's go. Come on, we're losing the lead. Lobster! Where's it going, guys? Talk to me. I'm the loadie with the pine okay. knife. Go, 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 go. Let's go, Jonathan. Come on, you got this, you got this. Neck and neck, grab and go, baby. Let's go, one more. With both teams tied, it's down to Jonathan and Lee. One ingredient, quick. Let's go, Lee. Olives? Yeah, yes, olives. olives. Let's go, Lee. Johnny. Let's go, Lee. Well done, give yourself a round of applause. Come on. Well done. Wow. Hey. That was close. Blue team, an extra five minutes. Ladies, you have to stand and watch until five minutes have gone. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. All of you, head into the kitchen. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. Each chef has chosen the pasta dish they plan to execute. Ladies, line up for the pass. That's right here. A toy. Yep. yep. With four different types of pasta and five chefs on the blue team, Damir and a toy are both making pappardelle dishes. Have you made pasta before? Um, I have, but okay. not proper dip. Okay. I, I like to have fun with food, and you know, sometimes I have to sneak in things for my kids. I forgot about my mozzarella, chef. You got stuff it? Yeah. Well, let's do a nice little surprise in the meatball. Turn it low. Just turn it low. All right. Good head start. Better be good dishes today. Yes, yeah, chef. Angelotti is my favorite shape, and making it for 15 years. I go into work six hours every day early just to learn how to cook it. I'm excited to see it. I'm so confident about my angelotti because it's a pasta shape that's very near and dear to my heart. It will speak for itself. 
can feel your confidence from here. Yes, chef. Dig it. Stand by, ladies. Three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. We got this. Yes? Yes. That was quick. You're going to make me win tonight. We only got 40 minutes, which is not a lot of time to really go for pasta sauce and pasta making. There's no pasta with them. Feel them ready. But I have hey. super faith in the red team. I guarantee we're pulling this out for a win. If you're making a sauce, make sure you're building that up. Your chef. You've obviously made ravioli before, right? Okay. I'm feeling good about this one. So we're gonna do a jumbo lump grab and pea ravioli with mascarpone. My restaurant's Italian. I make ravioli fresh every single day. This is my challenge to win 100%. So it just glides through that. Everyone rolling out their doughs and stuff? Yes. I have to roll really fast. Just put some of this in there. Ravioli is one of the hardest pastas to make. It's good for now. And I'm going up against Ryan, and he's one of the strongest chefs on the blue team, so it's just a lot of pressure because I want the red team to win. We've never used this before. These pastas need to be getting in. Heard. Seven and a half minutes, ladies. Is that a tortellini? Isn't that what it is? Agnolotti. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I, I, I can't do this. I just <gasps> Sammy! These pastas need to be getting in. Heard. Seven and a half minutes, ladies. Is that a tortellini? Isn't that what it is? Agnolati. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I, I can't do this. <sighs> Girl a made bit more. tortellini? It's a different stuffed pasta. It's not even the right shape. <laughs> like, I'm wasting okay, so much time. Fine. I haven't even stuffed my pasta. Still have to boil it. Wrong Still pasta. My sauce. They've got to go in the water. Let's go. I am seeing red right now. I have no idea What's if up, I sir? can get this done in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to start cooking, Sammy. Got to so start cooking gotta somewhere. Got to get in the water. Let's go. Two minutes to go in the water. Sammy, got come it. on, I got please. It. I got it, chef. Going in. Going in. Got it. Forty-five seconds to go. Pasta does not wait for anybody, right? Nice, Jason. Thank you, chef. Ten seconds to go. Get on the plate. Let's go. Samir, are you good? I'm coming now. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Behind, behind. And serve, ladies. Well done. Oh, boy, don't throw the plates. Here to help me judge your dishes is one of the foremost authorities of pasta. Please welcome Evan Funky. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Thank you so much. Pasta legend, bro. I'm over the moon. I mean, Devin Funky's pasta that guy's is on a voice whole is other level. Body. The architecture of the shape is extremely important, so that's what I'm going to be looking for here. I'm excited, but there's an immense amount of pressure right now to step up to the occasion. Because yes, the architecture the of the pasta. pasta. Let's begin with the battle of the Teglatelli. Let's go. Donia and Jonathan. I'm a little nervous because I get to go against Jonathan. It's like when you get to prison, you want to go, you know, beat up the biggest person in the room. It's like that in the kitchen, too. Donya, what? Please describe your dish to Chef. You got a nice basil tagatelli with shrimp and some fresh burrata right on top of that for you, Chef. Burrata. Flavor-wise, it's quite good. Shrimp cooked beautifully. Just tidy up this presentation. Yes, yeah, Chef. Jonathan, describe your dish, please, to yeah, Chef. Chef. I did a quick ragu of mushrooms and pancetta. I may sound like an a later, but I feel really good about my dish. There's very thin pasta and then also very, very thick pasta. Yeah. So. Be careful of the thickness, young man. Okay. Chef, does the point go to the red team or the blue team? Your decision. The point's gonna go to the red. Congratulations. Yes, Chef. Yeah! There you go, Jonathan. Oh, yeah. After a Booyah. strong start from Donya, Carmen hopes to impress with her ravioli stuffed with... Mozzarella lobster filling with shallots and garlic. Lobster is such a special ingredient, which should be the main star. Yeah, be more generous with that lobster. Lobster pasta is a winning combination. Right, Ryan. My dish is uh, mascarpone and crab ravioli with some fresh peas. Delicious, clean, fresh. Pasta's rolled beautifully. Chef, the point, is it going to the red team or the blue team? Blue team gets a point. Very well, well done. done. Young man, congratulations. Thank you very much, Chef. I'm just beaming from air to air. I'm glad you're invested. <laughs> to my heroes. What's up, man? You gaming tonight? What are you up to? on the inside right now. Next up is the battle of the... Papadelle, let's go. Lee must beat Demir and a toy with her... Pork Papadelle, take on a bolognese. ...to win the point. The Papadelle looks good. Finesse is on point. Seasoning is delicious. A toy, please, describe your dish. I have a veal meatball, and inside I have it stuffed with mozzarella cheese, and then I did a red wine sauce. Stuffed the meatball with mozzarella? Yes. Groovy. 
pasta is okay, but I think the red wine is just overpowering. Thank you, Chef. Visually, the colors is not showing off the pasta. Yes, Chef. Demir, describe your dish, please, to Chef. So what we have here is a veal and pancetta meatball, blush sauce, papa dough. Visually, it's a little bit underwhelming. I mean, flavor-wise, it's good. Whack. But the pasta is very undercooked. Is it the red team or one of the blue team, please? <laughs> Clearly the red team. Thank you so much, Chef. Red team, two to one. We've got one more dish to taste. The battle of the Anilotti. Jason and Sammy. Let's go. Sammy made the wrong it fucking thing. Funky. My agnolotti is chicken and cremini mushroom with some blanched asparagus. The flavor is delicious, well seasoned. Uh, the shape is uh, interesting. Yes. You know, traditionally, that's not an agnolotti shape, right? Yes, chef. But good effort. Seasoning's on point. Yes. Right, young man, describe your dish <laughs> to Sammy. chef, please. I have a this guy, Jason, is an asshole. I know you just started watching, but I've done this, shape this guy is the seasonal career. villain right it's now. He's an asshole. It's shape to make. I have this in the bag. Shaping-wise, it's a little bit more traditional. However, I do see quite a bit of uncooked pasta on this. Undercooked? Yes. <laughs> Very thick. So, chef, if the women get this, the women have won. I think this one's rather tough. But I think that uh, we'll give the point to the red team. What? Congratulations, Sammy. Well done. I mean, I wanted the red I'm team to win, the but I didn't think they were going to. I mean, my to. last name is Tarantino, so I'm a little Sicilian Italian. All of you join me. Thank Tarantino? You. This incredible legend for giving up his day to be here. Uh, chef, continue success. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Thank you. <clears throat> red team, we have a very special reward. I've arranged for you to meet a couple of goats. I think these are some of the best ever in their fields. Four of you are off to goat yoga. Oh, nice. oh, oh my god. So it's just incredible. I hope they can it up. Blue team, I need 200 pounds of fresh pasta out of tonight's service. That means separating the eggs, kneading the dough, rolling and cutting the most sought-after pasta on the planet. Is he going to use this punishment Jonathan, pass? Jonathan, that punishment pass. They can have it. I'll hang with my crew tonight. Admirable, young man. Very, very admirable. Oh, by the way, ladies, there's a surprise for each of you in the dorm, for me personally. Thank you, Thank chef. you. Head off to the dorm. Yes, Thank chef, you, chef. chef. Thank you. Well done. Thank Great you. Job. Good job. Ladies. Good job, ladies. Damn. Oh, oh we got a coffee nice. machine. Do we have Oxo containers? Oh, this is this is nice. Okay. Congratulations, Oxo's treating you to a shopping, shopping spree. spree. Oh my gosh, a complete Oxo set. Love I love Oxo. And we're going to go to goat yoga. I'm oh, so excited. Yeah. This is it. I've always wanted to do goat yoga. Oh, I can't tell you how happy I am to be goat getting out yoga. of here today. <laughs> Ruby oh, Road, what's Welcome up? Goat yoga. This is How have you been? And that's Doc. I need this so badly. I know you're under a lot of pressure right now, and these goats are going to help you release tension by using their magical little hooves. Inhale and exhale. You got dirt Set and shit in between those hooves. position. Roll their shoulders back, nice long neck. Prepare thyself for a goat. I'm ready for the goat. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm happy to be out of Hell's Kitchen. They're just the bending over and a goat is jumping on them. This is really how I pictured goat yoga. <laughs> oh, my God. They're sticking their ass in the <laughs> air. Yoga is definitely way more hilarious. <laughs> That's good to hear. Moving sucks. I just moved. Gizmo is down. I'm having so much fun. Honestly, it feels so good to be outside and just have a laugh with the red team. Top arm goes up. Red team. What the fuck is it? That goat just took her out. We're having a ball, even though these goats are kind of acting like drunk idiots. Yo, what the fuck? That looked dangerous. That goat was like stomping on her. We're having a ball, even though these goats are kind of acting like drunk idiots. Look at this goat, dude. This chick is bending the fuck down. Holy shit. That's kind of getting me. Kind of ah. making me. Look at her, dude. <laughs> is that Sammy? Oh my god, bruh. Bruh. 
So get that image. <sighs> this punishment sucks. Oh, you know, you're working your arms, you're kneading dough. She it's was bent the fuck blood. down. It has she was to bent be the fuck over like she knows what she's doing. You the directions, right? Because that dough looks... I know, it looks weird, Chef. I know. I'm hoping it comes together. I don't know what the is going on. I'm working with this pasta right now, and it is the most annoying I can't even make pasta, pasta I've ever worked with. It's not coming together. I mean, look at this. More water? No, more. No, you can't. It's too late now. You gotta start over. Because look at his, and he started 40 minutes after you. Come on. All you gotta do is open your eyes. You're just wasting your time. There's no way that's right. Oh, well, Johnny, he's a very good chef here, but if you're not sure, ask somebody. You can go fill the holes in the parking lot with that stuff. <laughs> With dinner service quickly approaching, sous chef Jason has discovered. <laughs> you missed the stuff somewhere, something. Jonathan's pasta. Did you think you had to get? Do you live alone or? Concrete. You can go fill the holes in the parking lot with that stuff. One little hiccup, one little bump on the road, but I know I've got this. Everything in Hell's Kitchen has to be perfect. We can't just serve that. My Italian heritage and pride is coming out. Yeah. Much better. Redemption, chef. I can't even put into words how good it feels right now. I'd Instagram all that pasta. Yeah, yeah. chef. You guys are coming off a loss today. I want to make sure we don't have a double. Yes, yeah, chef. While sous chef Jason is lighting a fire under the blue team. Everybody good? Yeah. Fucking yeah. speed ran it. Wait, how long were they dating Girl. before marriage? That's the, the speed team, run. After a much needed shower is ready to go. Red team. One, one, two, one, two, three. Red team. And are hoping to keep the positive momentum rolling right into dinner service. Radio. See. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Andiamo. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen is booked to the brim. Dating two years? They didn't live Continue with each other before be getting married? Spots in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. First guests are arriving. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look alive, yo. The fight for the American dream continues, and seeing how it is the eighth service, Chef Ramsay is expecting the chefs to nail the Hell's Kitchen classics. We're going to do the halibut. I will do the strip steak. Including carbonara prepped by the blue team. Carbonara. Come on, boys. With diners anticipating an exquisite meal. Oh, we're like in the kitchen. Jason's Beach wife is a hot Asian lady? What Alex the fuck? Kleinman is inspiring the ladies to bring home the win. While actor and comedian Kel Mitchell is ready for Kel all Mitchell, that baby. and more in the blue kitchen. Have you guys watched Thank the Nickelodeon you. documentary? Hey, it was so kitchen, fucked guys. up. Hey, hey, happy, 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 happy. Happy. Hope you enjoy your meal tonight, guys. Yeah, come on, team blue, let's go. On all the VIP chef's table, yes? Yes, yeah, chef. One top top, one top Wow, they never lived with each other before marriage? You gotta live with each other before marriage. I am excited for the chef's table tonight. Growing up, I love to show favorite line. Welcome to Good Burger. Home with a Good Burger. Can I take your order? You got some burgers? Yeah, it was <laughs> fucked up. Love it. We have to make sure that we execute everything perfectly. Lobster's been dropped. I need everybody to go at once. Yes. yes, yes. Thank you. Demir has that guy the is voice of a screaming. Line. Seven minutes out in this risotto. Seven Her. minutes. It just sends energy to the kitchen. Good job. Yo, keep Papa Jeff was good, man. Keep keep down. Her. Her it's nice to have him as the anchor tonight. If you I'm think about the hours I've played since I found my last shiny on my other file, and between now and then, like I'm definitely close. I've been. I got. Be close. We have to back it all up and you know try and help as much as possible. But I mean, there's we'll only put so a couple hours into it tonight. And hopefully, we can nail it. Station. Carbonara walking behind. Yes, make sure, Risotto. make sure it's ready. Make sure it's ready. Risotto, walking risotto. What are you? An idiot Papa sandwich. Jeff chatting on YouTube and then priming on Twitch. 40 months, my man. Thank you so much. Hey, Jonathan, Thanks for giving me the prime. Come here. Fish, come here. Here we go. It's raw, okay? It's Drop raw. It's right, get it it's raw. Gordon back in, alert. Back in, back in, back in, back in. Yes, yes. There's five of you in here. The girl's got four next door. Yes, sir. We need to talk to each other. Yes, Traditionally get married and then Wait. live together. Not yeah, in like the 1960s. <laughs> the heat. I'm just chilling. You can do it. The ladies in the red kitchen are ready to take on. I want to live with my partner before we get married. And I also want to date for a while. Yes, yes, yes. 
All the long-term relationships I had fell apart before officially moving in, but the last couple of girlfriends I had for a couple of years a piece, I, you know, we were doing that same thing, like staying in each other's place. stations, everybody has to lead, so you can't hide behind anyone. Risotto? Five and a half. Perk, five and a half. Good. Love the strength of that voice. Tonight, it's really going to be apparent who's able to hold down their station and who's not. Drop scallops in 30 seconds. Perk, drop scallops in 30 seconds. I started with 800 leopard berries. So I'm trying to make sure these scallops come out I'm at 175. Push scallops, please. Her, push your scallops. Oh, my Lord. Are they all sticking? They shouldn't be like that. The pain got too sticky, chef. Oh, is he a rich so boy? Right now. I know Donya North Cal rich boy got a good stop, job. Stop, stop, stop. We know that's not going to wash. So it's really hard to see her burning these scallops, having them stuck to the pan. It's just not looking good. Take the results back. Oh, no, 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 stand back. Now look, they gotta redo the meal because they didn't cook his dish right. Don't work with the mistake. She seems pissed. Come on, Donya. Let's go, Donya. Bounce back. Oh my oh. God, bro. Don't panic, Donya. Donya, composure. Donya. Let's go. Yes, chef. Stay focused and have control. I'm nervous right now, but I'm gonna keep my head up and keep pushing. Walking Rizzo. Her walking Not Rizzo. rich, but works Scout a lot and pack. saves a lot. That's good. Nice and cooked. Oh my lord. I wish I made more money at my current job. But I don't nice. deserve it. Yes, chef. Well, I'm I mean, so proud of Lee right now. She is acting with confidence. She has a voice on her tonight, just owning her leadership role. You okay? I'm great. Okay, I got more pots of water on the back for you. That's all I needed. Thank you. She's setting the tone for the night, which is freaking fantastic. I can feel her energy from across the room. Go, go, my go. spring break's ending I tomorrow. Like I just yes. had two yes, weeks chef. off of work for spring break, and I, I feel like I wasn't like productive enough. Like for real, for real. Successfully delivering their first appetizers, a toy is ready with her second attempt at lobster for VIP actor Kel Mitchell. Food. He's holding two knives, not holding a fork and a knife. Is that? It's like a dog's. Hey, fish station, come here. Ryan, yeah. come here. Yeah, just touch that. Just touch that. VIP, yeah. Hey, really? Well, VIP? I hope you enjoy your spring break. Uh -oh. Got any plans? That obvious. Toy, how long my lobster? I got a minute. You, you had to me? pack and then unpack. The toy's flying solo on fish tonight, so I just want to make sure I can support her any way possible. You looking like baby? Pull up the pull, 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 pull. All right, you got it, baby. Right, no. She's like it, bubbling. The keep, keep going. I know, I'm trying. I'm falling apart. Every night is a fight for my life. I have to continue to prove myself. Yeah, that's Cell's Kitchen. You got it. You got it. This is my life. It means so much to me. This is everything. Have you been gaming any other yeah. games? It's 30 minutes into dinner service, and a toy is drowning on the fish station. You got it. You got it. Chef table, how long? No answer. A toy, come here. Somebody messed up. You've done so well in this competition so far. Yes, chef. Okay? Yes, chef. I know damn well what this journey's been like for you, and I know what you did before you came in here. Yes, Believe chef. in yourself. Yes. Show me. Yes, chef. Come on, show yourself. Yes, chef. You got this. this Tears of the king. Tears of this lady me. crying. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm a fighter. And I'm a key fight. And so there's no more fight in me. Get that lobster. It's coming. Oh, it's coming ah. Sorry about that. Much better. Nice and cooked that lobster. You're doing a beautiful job. Only one mistake. God damn it, I want some oh. lobster fucking over. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Enjoy. With wind returning to the sails of both teams. Rizzo walking. Walking scallops. Her scallops walking. Service. Go. Fighter. Are cruising out to satisfy diners. Not really no. rich, nice, creamy carbonara. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. One carbonara. Oh, okay. Oh and Alex Kleinman is anticipating an equally delicious second course. Beach volleyball gold medalist, what a legend. Yes. yes. Entree, one halibut, one lamb. Yes, yes. Let's go. One halibut, one lamb, six minutes. Yes. One, six minutes. 
Tonight we're serving Alex Kleiman. It's really my time to shine as a leader, so I'm ready to bring it tonight and kill it on Meat Station. Let's go, ladies. Ready to walk in 20? Yes, how are we ready to walk in 20? Let's go, guys. Let's walk go. I work in a school too, preschool on, through hot, eighth grade. Decent cooks. Come on, Carmen. Behind. Oh, boy. All right, come here. Where's our standard? What's happened to us? Yes, chef. I am lost for words. Yes, chef. Come on, ladies. You'll have this in one minute, chef. One minute. Yes, chef. I know that I'm capable on finishing this service, and any little hiccup that comes my way, I'm just going to bounce back from it and keep moving. Hey, come on. Yeah, some yes, weekdays I'm just fucking zonked service. out, one drained. One minute, chef. Coming up right now. While Carmen is trying to rally, the blue team is hoping to spike their first entree. On order VIP, Chef Jason's wife. Entree, one halibut, one wellington. Chef Jason's wife. Chef Jason's wife's table is the most important table tonight, and we're going to get this out perfect. You guys know not to this table up, right? Absolutely. How long do you need? 12. 12? Yeah, the lamb just went in the oven. 12? What? 12 minutes. 12 what? Who's just 12 minutes for what? Young man, the, the Wellington's rested, right? The lamb is what's the lead on that. You forget it. No, chef, it's in the oven. 12 minutes. Oh, my God. Come on, blue team. 12 minutes for a table. Show some respect. Chef Jason's wife. 60 seconds. You better be right. 12. Slicing well in. That looks well done. Those are dried out. Oh, boy. Blue team. Yes, Chef. Chef Jason's wife just touched that in the center. That's undercooked. You held me up with the table. You said 12 minutes. Your call. And that's raw. Come on, wake up. Let's go. Get it back in. What a dumbass. Are the other ones ready? No. Don't do this to me, Jason. Let's get this right. All I wanted to do was, of course, that guy's send out screaming. For Chef Jason's VIP wife. There's nobody to blame but myself, and I own that mistake. Young man, I'll wait 22 minutes, but don't me with 12. No, Chef. How disrespectful. <laughs> Much better. Go, John. How is it? Well, it's so good. I'm going to eat all of them. I can eat all of yours, too. How about lamb, chef table, how long? One lamb walking. Her behind. I don't expect it from you. Yes, chef. Now, first night, second night, I get it. But yes, now, chef. no. Yes, I want chef. it better, yes? Yes, chef. Beefy cooked. First two are way off. This one's a spot on. Service, please. That fucking lamb looks phenomenal. Yeah, perfect. Unordered entree to Halibut to New York Strip. Yes, Herb. chef. To Halibut yes, to New York Strip. Time. Ready? Seven minutes. Let's go. Herb, seven minutes. Six garnish the window. My whole focus right now is to prove the chef that I can work any station in this kitchen. Base, 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 butter. Let's go. Strip walking. Me, bro. Very nice. Strip. Thank you, chef. Welcome, fish. Oh, young lady. My God. Red team. All right, bro. The halibut's undercooked and the butter's burnt. Yes, At this stage of the game, attention to detail. Yes, Donya, come here. Oh, man. Come here. Now. Yeah, yeah that was so insane. It's an hour and 15 minutes into dinner service. Donya, come here. And Donya's raw well, halibut. Amanda Bynes has probably the got it the worst, to be honest. Like, Asking for up. help. It's not a sign of weakness. Yes, chef. And then when you bounce back, you got to lift that head up and you got to come back charged. Yes, chef. I'm not soaking, chef. I'm... Well, you need to dig deep. You've done that in your life, right? Yes, chef. Don't stop. Once I'm down, I'm always going to get back up. Guys, give me one second. I got this. Let me reset. Let me reset, please. Okay. That's always been my story ever since young. Two halibut walking in one minute. I'm a better chef than that. Walking with the halibut. She looks Behind crazy. Hot, hot, hot. Donya, nicely cooked. Yes, chef. Beautiful. Yes, chef. Go to see. It looks beautiful. That's so good. Very juicy. With Donya regaining her confidence, the red team is sending out entrees at a rapid pace. Walking fish. Walking strip. To satisfy diners. Oh, that looks good. There was 
worth the wait. This is really, really good. Walking Sammy! Thank you, thank you. And now both teams. Salmon nice and cooked. Thank Christy. you, chef. Okay? Yes, chef. Let's go. Have overcome their earlier hurdles and are now finishing service on a high. Okay. Yeah. Good, I like it. Lee, great job. Thank you, chef. What happened tonight completely surprised me. Yes, we did complete service, but how on earth can they be a winning team tonight? Blue team, there was one chef acting like a leader and driving non-stop, and that chef was Demir. There was one chef on the red team tonight who was flawless. Lee, solid. Lee, Demir, head back to the dorm. I want you to each come back to me with two nominees. Yes, chef. Is that clear? Yes, chef. It's Get the second here. time yes, that chef. that yes, blue team guy this got the shooters. Do. These tough decisions are gonna have to happen one way or another. It's go time, man. Great work tonight. Great communication. Way to flow. Be helpful to the team. I know every day you have a chance to go home, but I felt in the zone, and I'm not worried one bit. A little job. Way to support everybody. Great work. I feel like you and I have been the most consistent through the entire competition. I so, agree. it's definitely not fun to have the responsibility of picking people on the red team to put up right now. Uh, Danya and Carmen should go up. Yo, bro, you already know the process. and call it how it is. The raw, welly. You know, you gotta comb through the hairs of everything that happened in the service. So it's gonna be you going up tonight. This is the decision. It's your decision. Yeah. Thank you, bro. That's. Every you even time fucking I'm try to defend himself. For minimal things, it's just I feel like they're trying to get rid of me because I am stronger. Right now, I feel like I have to nominate you tonight. Do you disagree? Tonight was not the best representation of myself. I know I dropped the ball, but I won't stop fighting. This is not all I can give. I just could not regain myself. There's no sugar coated it. Um, Fish with the the station that dropped the ball. That tonight. guy's an asshole. So. I appreciate you being honest with me. Lee. Hola, mommy. Hey. You did a phenomenal job tonight, and you kept your composure. I don't know anybody about to break down and then hold them tears back, push forward like that. You're so strong. I'm thankful for all your help. 100%. And I don't stop here. I know. You know, Toy is amazing. You know, so proud of how far she's come, how much progress she's made within herself. She's a fighter. You're an inspiration to me. You don't understand it. Oh, thank you, thank you. How are you so much, Toy? I know I made mistakes tonight, so I'm just ready to listen to whatever you have to say. I mean, I know you know what went wrong tonight. I honestly just feel like I'm not really, like, growing anywhere in this competition. I don't know how to say that. Like, I was doing better in challenges in the beginning of the competition, so it should be the opposite, and it's not. I just don't have I won't stop fighting. yet, and, and crying it just makes service. me question if I came into this competition a little bit too early. Like, I know that I have so much to give and, like, offer. You're in the top ten. Self-doubter alert. It doesn't, like, feel like... It just doesn't feel right anymore. I just don't feel like I'm delivering. Not good but enough? I, I still came here to get a job, and I'm not going to leave without a fight. I want to keep fighting, but, like, how much more can, like, one person... I don't feel like I should be nominated. You understand? You don't make the decision for me. I got this. I got it. I, you don't need to tell me what to do. Take care of it. I got big boy pants. No, you understand that. I'm just saying. I've been handling it. I got it, bro. Ryan's a very strong cook, very knowledgeable. But when it comes to keeping your composure and being vocal, you don't have a voice. I can make my own decisions. I've been in the boss spot before. We're at that point in the competition where small mistakes can cost you your spot on your team. Do I ever f beat around the bush? All right. Cool. That's it. And I saw everything. I, trust me, I'm there. If Ryan, a toy, and Jason, you have to take it all into consideration. It's painful going backwards, isn't it? Yes, Chef. Lee, yes, it is, first nominee and why? First up is Danya Chef. Due to the undercooked proteins on the fish station tonight. Second nominee. Second nominee is Carmen Chef. Undercooked proteins on the meat station, Chef. Demir, first nominee and why? First nominee is Jason, chef. I think he's a great chef, but it's some things that he needs to tighten up. Second nominee and why? 
Second nominee is Latoya. Latoya's a great chef, I believe, but she still has some work to do as well with the leadership qualities. A toy, Jason, Donya, come and step forward, please. A toy, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I should stay in Hell's Kitchen, chef, because I'm a fighter. I fought in the red kitchen. Because I'm a fighter. Blue kitchen, and I continue to fight and persevere and overcome. I know I didn't use my voice as much as I needed to, chef, tonight, and I know I should do better, and I will do better, chef. Jason. Every time you give me criticism, every time you give me feedback, I keep pushing forward, and I help my team every day. Tonya. Chef, I believe I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I'm motivated. I get back up every <laughs> single time. I know I'm a strong chef. I just dropped the ball today. I'm a I will fighter. Not stop fighting. Chef, this <laughs> fight. there continue to burn. Carmen, on a scale of one to ten, how hungry are you to become Hell's Kitchen winner? Truthfully. Don't say anything but 10, you fucking little One million, guy. chef. There we go. I have integrity, passion, energy. Those are things that you cannot teach. And I'm fighting to get to the top just like you did. So I'm not going to stop fighting until I'm your next head chef. Fighting, fighting, fighter. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... <laughs> oh, no. Young lady, even though I know you're not ready to be my head chef, those amazing kids at home are going to be very proud of you. Thank you, Chef. And you should be too. I am. Please, give me the jacket. Yes, Chef. <laughs> I thank you, Chef. Thank you. Take care. I will. Head up high. Chef, Chef. Royale. Bye, guys. I'm proud of myself. Boom, I came here fighting. I went out fighting. Boom, and I have two little girls. I want them to know that no matter what happens in life, you rise above it. This is not the end of the road for me. This is only the beginning. You are the final eight. And right now, the competition is wide open. Who is going to step up? Get out of here. It sucks going up for elimination, but I'm just reminding myself that I do belong here and I'm just going to keep fighting because I know that I am the most hungry Still staying there. I'm feeling so good moving forward in this competition. Chef Ramsey gave me a lot of praise today. Top babe. I am one of the strongest chefs and I think he sees that. This is a wine, baby. Fish. I know you do. Literally the pace got to me. I feel great to have another chance to prove myself to chef. I know what I can do. I know what I'm here to do. I'm not a quitter, and I will not stop. I will not stop. Sammy. She didn't say fighter. A toy's passion was admirable, but you need more than just passion to be a great head chef. There's a bunch of episodes missing. That's not good. He needs some milk. Oh. Uh, looks like we're skipping one again. Previously on Hell's Kitchen, the American Dream. Foods can go anywhere. What's up, Frisco? Oh. Food fight. <laughs> All hell broke loose. I may or may not have hit me right in the face. When Chef Ramsay used culinary advancements in the American Space Program to launch into the blind taste test, don't let What's me up, down, bro? Ryan. Ryan ignited the blue. What are you up to this fine Saturday Light evening? Apple. Dear. While Donya yes. and Lee strawberries, mango, oh. kept the red team in orbit. It's raining, right? It all came down to the last oh round. God. Sammy versus Jonathan. Turkey? Where Jonathan once again all in chef won another challenge for the men. Oh, God, <laughs> you want, good good job. Job. I'm right here. Five minutes to the past, guys. Not feeling like any gaming. Jason's course. Jason, come here, you. Jason had problems overseeing his course. It's your course. I'm yes, not hearing you. And then had issues delivering for Jonathan on the scallops. I need 15 beautiful scallops. What the f is going on with these scallops? Come on, Jason. On the right. On a positive note, Sammy in the red. Donya, get the verbal. Bring it to the pass. That's the leader right there. Yes, yes. And Demir in the blue. All right, let's get this fish down and get this place off. We're done. We're in complete control of their courses. My dish is perfect. The same could Ooh, not who the fuck was that? Virginia. 
Cold in the middle. Let's go back in that one. Let's go. First struggle, as well as Jason's. We don't have on players dessert. for that Egg fucking. Yeah, definitely not what was shown. Caused both teams to live over the finish oh, line. Get them on the plate. So in the end, right, the blue team nominated. Jason. I was owning my dish just like I own Chef Jonathan Scallops. And the red team nominated. Donya. But ultimately, Chef Ramsay selected. Donya. No! Her American dream of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of it. I'm just floored that. Jason is bringing my name up during deliberation. Don't ever say my name up there again, Jason. Ever it's competition, again. deal with it. You're a leader, lead for yeah, a, lead I by did. example. Okay, so cook my That's scallops correctly. I did cook your scallops yeah, correctly. Yeah, right? That's, That's why we had why, to wait on one so plate. Good. I honestly lost so much integrity for you being up there five times and you're back here. That's a joke. Yeah, we'll deal with it, chef. Yeah, right. Well, step up. You're an executive chef for 10 years. Step up, dude. Whatever, John. Deal with it. It's a competition. Pussies saying shit to each other while walking okay. away is like Jonathan ultimate pussy is shit. currently like having a meltdown. If something goes bad and you freak out and have to hide in the office because you can't deal with it, that's not somebody who should be running a fifty million dollar operation. What's wrong? I didn't say anything negative about you You're at all. You're acting like you led my dish, bro. When I delegated to you and Demir to cook my scallops, who my scallops? I will swear on my mother's life. I don't give a. I you guys not, I don't give a fuck about your mother's life. My crime shall summon the shine. Envy. Hey. Thank you so much for the prime. The fact that you went up there five times and your ass is still back here and Donya walked out. There is no way. Thank you so much for being a real one. You're so fixed. Being a real one. You don't even see the facts. You're throwing a temper tantrum. Prime shall summon the shining. Oh, he needs God. some milk. Do you play this game, Poke MMO? I feel like I've seen you play this game. Good morning. Arise and shine. I mean, you sent me the you sent me the mods because so you play, right? The food delivery industry has exploded massively. And whilst we know there are a number of food delivery services that will bring food from your favorite local restaurant, there's another your, you gotta delivery add me. method that's on the horizon. I can hear them coming. Ah. The fuck are those? Look at these little buggers. Oh. Attack drones. <laughs> it's the attack of the drones. Man, I got my delivery. Oh, no way. Oh. Hey. Up. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. God, no Amazing. Whatever it is, I'm ready for it. I, I, this is my second account. I have a main let's account go, with like 200 go. hours okay. that I beat everything on, but I started a new account. <laughs> Get out of here. Having two accounts really optimizes right. money making and shit. It's a special delivery. Breakfast. Sandwich. Wow. Black jacket. A very special delivery. I've always dreamt of having a black jacket. I see myself in that black jacket, you know. And today is the day that What's I need to put into action. Give me that. Did you watch the Diablo today developer update, bro? Day. The Diablo 4 Glory. season 4 looks fucking lit. Now we're now we're gaming. Three challenges. I am so fired up right now. I am more fired up than I've been this entire competition. Wear that jacket. I sell I sell Pokemon on the auction house all the time, and I you grind the gym leader rematches the to make money. It's just such a coveted symbol in Hell's Kitchen. It means that you are the best of the best. There are seven vids of Ramsay making grilled cheese. No. And only five black jackets. Right, you talented seven. Are you ready to face your first big challenge? Yes, sir. That's good because it starts. You watch the summary right video now. from Rax. I see this big craps table coming in, and it's reminding me of Vegas. You're all familiar with the craps table, yes? My soon-to-be new home. Here's how it's gonna work. You take a turn. Roll yeah, it, it's this definitely. <laughs> which I know you haven't played Last Epoch, but they straight up jacked the Last Epoch crap system like straight up. It's pretty hilarious. All of you will have the same eight ingredients. They brought greater rifts, which existed in Diablo 3. Greater rifts are just endless challenge content. H. Halibut is our protein. 
Yes, yes sir. sir. Jonathan, you're gonna go first. Here we go, young man. Off you go. You go first. That was S. such a fucking pussy spinach, roll, dude. Yeah, spinach. 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 Great. Ryan. Off you go. <clears throat> you should play the new Path of Exile League that comes um, out this Friday. Esau? Path of Exile is completely Esau. free, so you should try it. Path of Exile is awesome, smart. man. Very smart. I love working with miso. It's, uh, it's full of flavor, saltiness, sweet, umami. I did a miso glazed talent before. Brand new league so on Friday, so. Okay, young man. Come on. Friday night. C. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Love it. Okay, Demi, off you go. B. Let's go broccoli. 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 Okay. Cauliflower. Right, next up we have two is far away. Yes. T. T. Oh, okay. beautiful. Um, I would okay, say try last turnip. epoch turnip. if it was turnips. free. Yeah, chef. Turnips. Because it actually Carmen. is pretty what good. What are we gonna do with turnips? But I POE never is with free. Turnips. Lee, let's go. But you said you've tried it. P. P. Prosciutto, chef. Prosciutto. Yes, yeah, chef. Last one. Here we go. Come it kind of simplified the end game, which is what I've Truffle. needed because juicing your juicing your end game content is so there's so many choices in Poe to make your end game how you want it, and I cannot wait to cut it. It's a lot more simple now. Black jacket day. But there's still like 20 league mechanics stacked on top of each other. It's a little it's a little overwhelming. minutes, and your time starts now. Let's go. Good luck in today's first black jacket challenge. The passive skill tree is really just an uh, optical illusion because it's really like there's so many useless, worthless thingies on there that it's like a lot of builds go for the same shit. But POE is that game where you can make a build out of anything. S3 got added an extra an extra month of S3, so whenever. S3 was supposed to end plus some bun. Delaying S3 is a big L. I mean, delaying S4 is a big L. It is go time right now. You have to bring out every little like trick in your pocket. What are we doing? So I'm gonna do a broccoli trick in your pocket. With a cauliflower grabiche. There is no way that I'm going out without a fight to get this black jacket. Yes. How did my cadaver not Black fucking escape, bro? Yes, what the fuck are the fucking the chances of this, bro? I'm locked in right now with this challenge, especially after last night with Jason. I have a big vendetta and uh, something to prove today. I'm gonna do uh, an herb crusted with a truffle on it, yep. and then I want to pickle um, the cauliflower with some shallots. I'm dying for this black jacket. I, it's not for me. It's for Saxon, my daughter. It's for my family and my friends and everyone that supported Saxon? me. Saxon? So I'm ready to crush this. I want you to make what sure did he say his daughter's name was? Saying my daughter. Jackson? Hey. Oh, The cauliflower with some shallots. I'm dying for this black jacket. I, it's not for me. It's for Saxon. Saxon? My daughter, it's for my family and my friends and everyone that supported me, so I'm ready Isn't to Isn't that a place? This. I want you to make sure this is perfect. <clears throat> three minutes, blue team. Hard on a three, chef. Anybody see where my caramelized turnips Well, there's a PTR, so we can, the we can test the season. We can test the season four stuff for the free in the first week of April. How did it disappear? 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Somebody stole them. Jason's turnips. I got it, I got it, I got You got them? They were behind the thing over there for some reason. Jason is his own worst enemy. Just the stupidest mistakes. Definitely seems in his head today. Come on, Calvin. Seven, six. Come on, Jason. Yes, chef. Four, three, two, one. Come on, Carmen. One. Left. Ding, ding. <clears throat> right, up first, Demir. Let's go, young man. It's the first challenge of Black Jacket Day. And after all seven chefs cooked with the same ingredients, Demir is up first with his turnip scale halibut with a miso butter and toasted sesame spinach salad. Fish is cooked beautifully. Thanks, chef. It's glistening. It's moist. 
The technical ability of what you've done with those scales, I think, is one of your most attractive plates. But the fish needs to be seasoned more. Yes, sir. I'm a firm believer in seasoning fish at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. Right there. Two people will be going home today. There's only five jackets left. Thank you, chef. This is not looking good for Demir. Uh, Carmen, step forward, please. Thank you. Thank you. I made a miso butter glazed halibut with a cauliflower puree, a spinach truffle oil, and a broccoli turnip shallot relish. Fish is cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Smooth, delicious, creamy. The only bit I don't get is the truffle because you can't really taste that. And what I'd love to have seen on this was just maybe a little bit of grated fresh black truffle over that white puree so it stands out. But the whole dish is very elegant, beautiful. Thank you so much. There's always that one ounce of like, did I screw this up? But I need this black jacket. Up next, Lee. It's now time for Lee to step into the spotlight and see if her miso glazed halibut with cauliflower truffle burr blanc this is beauty cooked. Thank you, chef. Is good enough for a coveted black jacket. The actual beurre blanc needs a touch more seasoning. Yes, chef. Finishing salt and miso, beautifully done. Really good indeed. It's gonna be tough. Good job. Thank you, chef. Good job, Lee. Up next, Jason. Let's go, young man. Describe it, please. It is a miso seared halibut crusted with black truffle, and on to the side is a lemon and miso beurre blanc. Beautifully cooked, glistening, and it's plump and very, very moist. Looking down at my dish, I'm so happy, so confident. It's tight, it's clean, the flavors make sense. Is it black jacket worthy? I think it is. The sauce is so elegant. Thank you, chef. But you've got so many dark colors there. It looks so clumpy, so just be very careful with this side of the plate. And you've got the same color there as you have on top. Thank you, chef. Good job. Thank you, chef. It didn't look Four good. Four <laughs> really good dishes. Next up is Jonathan, who wants his blue jacket to be a thing of the past. His dish is a spinach in two ways, chef, an herb truffle crust on the halibut, and the spinach is in a little oil on the miso beurre blanc. The vegetables you have is a charred broccoli, pickled cauliflower, and then honey spice glaze turnips. I feel really proud of this dish. There's too no many way words. It. I have to get that black jacket on my shoulders. Look at it, glistening, moist, beautiful glaze. Thank you, chef. The crust. The pickling of the cauliflower, the actual execution in terms of how you plated that dish. Young man, utter perfection. Thank you, sir. Well done. Thank you. Good job. Do you know what? That dish just sung all the right harmony. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come here, young man. Good job. I'm not going to wait anymore. Great work, bro. Congratulations, Ooh. young man. Congratulations. Oh, my God. I asked for a standout dish. Thank you, chef. That was a standout dish. I can't tell you what this means to me. This is for Saxon and for my family. Saxon! So proud of me and my family's got to be so proud. I've arranged a beautiful setup for you on the patio. Okay. Have a drink, have some hors d'oeuvres. In fact, there's another gift in there from me. Thank Enjoy you, this chef. one. Thank Don't you, cut chef. yourself. I appreciate it. Thank you. I feel like it's destiny. Like I'm just doing something right destiny. and I'm right where I should be. Wow! Let's go! Black Jacket Lounge is the place to be. I'm so proud to have this black jacket on. And Chef Ramsey, I will not let you down. Oh, no way! Oh my god, the hex clad knives are absolutely Those are sick insane. Knives. That black jacket. Woo! Damn, Jay! That black jacket. Oh, that black jacket. Woo! Boy, am not, I don't want to not play Poke MMO. Anymore. Right, Sammy, let's go. With two dishes left to be judged, Sammy is hoping her. Miso Bermonte glazed halibut with a broccoli puree and cauliflower grabiche will be cause for celebration. You're washed. That was a very clever move with the grabiche. Fish is now beautifully. I love the acidity. Yeah, back in line, please. Thank you, Chef. I am still kind of nervous. Chef was just short and sweet with his comments on my dish, which better than hearing negative criticisms. Final tasting. Let's go, Ryan. So, Chef, today I've cooked for you a cauliflower and black truffle crusted halibut, roasted broccoli, pickled cauliflower, miso. So, you're not trying to play the game? Just crispy <laughs> prosciutto. Uh, I love the fish. The fish is cooked beautifully. I love the turnips, the glaze, the puree. But just be careful with that crust because when you put the cauliflower on top like that, it's damp. You know, it's yes, damp. Thank, Thank you. Chef. Wow. After Chef Ramsay's taste of my dish, I do believe it is black jacket worthy. Oh. I'm not 100% happy with it.
This is really difficult, but I'm prepared to give one more chef a jacket. Sammy. I just feel so proud of myself that I went with my gut, with everything that I put on my plate. Big risk. It paid off. The dish was exceptional. I'm so proud of you. Thank Congratulations. You, Thank you. Thank you so much. Head out to the patio. Woo! I got black jacket! Oh my gosh! Where are you? We totally deserve this. Black jackets, damn! <laughs> Chefs, you have two more chances to prove you're worthy of a black jacket. Are you five ready for your next opportunity? Yes, yes chef. chef! Since you're all competing for the amazing head chef's job at Hell's Kitchen Las Vegas, I've brought in this specially designed slot machine for your next challenge. Here's how it's going to work. Inside these slots, there will be an ingredient. Every time I pull the this fuck was that? Arm, you'll hear the sound and it will reveal another you ingredient. Hear that? Tonight, I'm going to pull the arm five times. The first reveal will be the protein. The quickest gets first choice. Then you run back, you start that protein. Pay attention because when you hear me pull this arm again, get out of the kitchen and quickly focus on what ingredient you want next. I need a stunning dish. Do that, and you've got your black jacket. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. We here today fighting for that black jacket, so I don't want scraps. I want first pick. When I say go, your 45 minutes begin. Are you ready? I don't know what that was. Sorry. If you're blocking my way to that slot machine, I will run through it. Ready? Steady? Go! We've got the funk. You gotta have that funk. Ready, steady, go! I got it, I already got it. I try and grab the sea bass, but Demir already has his hands on that. Whoop! And I see scallops, but Carmen grabbed those, so the only thing left is a ribeye. Let's go! Which I know how to cook well, so I'm feeling okay. You got scallops? Yes, chef. Lucky you. Did you have to throw a few elbows for that? Yes, chef. Demir, what'd you get? Sea bass, chef. Lovely, let's go. First thing I go for is the sea bass. You know, chef complimented me on my fish earlier. Now it's my job to make sure that the next couple ingredients make sense for what I got going on. Love to see all three of you get a black jacket. Yes, chef. Ah! Cha-ching, cha-ching. I hear the slot machine go off again, and we definitely feel like a bunch of wild animals chasing after prey here. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Oh my god. Ah! It's fight for your life and cook for the black jacket. So I'm ready to take anyone down. That's a show. Man, you're fast. Come on, what'd you get? Peruvian potatoes, chef. Beautiful. Peruvian purple potatoes are the best. And so I know I right missed. away I want to make a purple potato puree. Anytime there's a challenge, I try to bring my Peruvian twist because I think it's what makes me unique in this challenge. And it's also me cooking from the heart and cooking from my family, which is everything to me. 35 minutes to go. Yes, yes chef. The potatoes, lady. Lobster and chickpeas, huh? All well, right, I got it, though. Some of these ingredients don't really go together. I know I can cook lobster perfectly, but I've never seen lobster with chickpeas. Chickpea puree? Yeah, chef, a little bit of a hummus, almost type. So I just gotta wait for the next ingredient and, you know, come up with a dish, because I still have no idea what the f I'm doing at this stage. Chickpea puree is hummus. Watch out, Jason! Watch out, Jason! The slot machine goes off again, and it's hard to kind of scan what you need. Oh, I'm sorry. If someone has their hand on it, you know, that's it. And I end up grabbing purple Brussels sprouts. Purple Brussels sprouts. Purple Brussels sprouts. Come on, Ryan. Let's go. Some of these ingredients go together. Some of them don't really go together. But garland and violet suck. I still believe that I can put out a dish. I know you can make this work. violet suck. What is Ryan doing? I'm nervous. Chickpeas. Look at him. He doesn't give a what's going on in there. Let's go, Ryan. Let's go, Sorry if Kitty. I you, I'm just... Oh, no, Come here. Oh, please. No hard feelings. There is so much adrenaline going through me right now. Okay, I could do like an elote kind of corn. Yeah. I have a rustic feel because it's kind of like a Mexican take on a backyard barbecue. Yeah. Don't you dare slice that ribeye piping hot, okay? It's going to bleed everywhere, okay? Yes, chef. 
Mexico has a really special place in my heart. My husband and kidding? I actually met in Mexico when we were on spring break in college and we celebrated our honeymoon there. So I want to win this challenge for him. You got a husband? Next! Oh, 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 careful, careful. Watch the quail legs, grilled cheese. Watch, 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 watch. Wow. This is chaotic as hell. Where were you and Jason tugging over? Quail legs. <laughs> I don't even think I wanted that. I was just trying to fight him. You just wanted to throw an elbow <laughs> yeah, at Jason real quick. Him down. Quail eggs. Yes, oh. chef, God. Steak and eggs? No one's doing that. Steak, potatoes, mushrooms, and now quail eggs. Jason, the next time we run up, make sure either you run faster or stay out my way because I might have to plow through you. Please. I just want a beautiful sunny side up egg on top of my steak, and I think it's going to pop and be gorgeous, and it all makes sense still. <laughs> Jerks. That's cruel. Cake foods. Oh, Ooh, black, garlic. black garlic. Wow. So last ingredient is revealed, and I end up getting one of my favorite ingredients of all time, black garlic. Oh, my God. You like black garlic? I love black garlic. Yeah. Love it. It is sweet, it is funky, and it makes great sauce. So black garlic, black jacket, it's like the gods are handing it to me. Just over four minutes, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Come on, get your hands on this black jacket. Come on. Yes, chef. Come on, ladies. You got Sammy waiting for you, yes? Yes, chef. Why is she slicing Isn't it? Like kidding? What is going on here, Lee? She looks like she's hacking this thing. Yeah. 20 seconds to go. Come on, let's go. Good to me. Well done. Thank you, chef. That looks yeah. sick. Come on, Jason. Yes, chef. 10, 9. How does time go by so fast? 5, 4, 3, Two Black one. garlic. Yes, well done. Look down at my plate, the time runs up. I just want to pick it up, smash it off the wall. Beautiful, Ryan. Good luck, guys. No, it's not. It's probably the worst dish in the competition. Dude, I am right. going to lose my absolute Ryan, fucking please. mind on the people upstairs. They are so, so fucking dish, loud and it annoying. Is it is tail, absolutely poached, fucking insane. Grilled, uh, baby fennel, a chickpea puree, uh, finished with some madras salt. So tough ingredients. Chickpeas are dull, so you need to lift that thing underneath. I think the only thing that is missing here is more acid. Yes, it just screams acid because you've got sweet on sweet on sweet. Thank you. It's the worst dish I cooked in this competition. I've been cooking beautiful dishes the whole time, and what matters the most, I cooked no, the worst dish of the competition. Loud, Story my life. Around With loud, Ryan's so dish annoying. missing the mark. Next up, Carmen, let's go. Carmen hopes her. Pan seared scallops with purple potatoes two way and a gremolata with anchovies. Is good enough to have her join Jonathan and Sammy in the Black Jacket oh, Lounge. Yes. Cheers. Yes. yes. Did you hear oh me God. screaming? Dude, your dish. Yes. Kitty. That vision looks beautiful. Great sear on the scallops. Be very careful when you've got puree and puree. A bit of heating now, I think you could have been a little bit more close to the Peruvian background. Just get a little pancho chili or something in there. Good job. Thank you, chef. We're down Hi, kitty. to only a couple jackets left, and Chef Ramsay is nitpicking every detail of our plate. Of course, I'm getting a little bit nervous, but I'm still very confident in what I made today and what I've proven throughout this entire competition. Up next, Demir, step forward, please. Demir is fishing for black jacket worthy compliments with his crispy skin sea bass, uh, citrus vinaigrette, and some blister shishitos as well. Black jacket is on the line. This is probably the most important piece of fish I've cooked in my entire career. It looks beautiful. Fish is absolutely spot on. You told me throughout the competition to add a touch of finishing salt to your protein. What perfect way to do really? that than a, wow. a citrus zest. Mm, it's delicious. Thanks, chef. Good job. Thank you, chef. Wow. With the Mir's dish setting a high bar. Next up, Jason, please, let's go. Jason is looking to leave everyone behind with his herb and butter uh, basted New York strip, my takis, a sunny what side. What does it look like Minecraft? Egg, and then finished with a beautiful black garlic. Minecraft shape. dirt it's block. It's on that quail egg, isn't it? Yes, chef. Why are you trimming a quail egg so small? I wanted it to look elegant. Yeah, I want it to taste delicious, right? Yes, chef. Steak, did you evenly cook it, both sides? Yes, chef. I've got a nice pink piece there, and I've got a sort of medium piece there, so it needs to be even all the way through. Yes, chef. Uh, sauce, delicious. Mushrooms, cooked beautifully. You've got a great personality hey. with food, especially when it comes to dressing. Thank you, chef. Yeah? Good job. Thank you, chef. This challenge is my real shot at getting a black jacket. Everything about my dish made sense. The components went together. The plating was gorgeous, and I was really proud about what I put up. Okay, Lee, let's go. Okay, young lady, describe the dish, please. 
I have a Can Mexican the spice roast break? rib cap with a play on an elote creamed corn and a cilantro lime dressed salad on the side. It's got that rustic charm. You did something that I never expected you to do. <laughs> you took the... <laughs> Yo, Night Mars, you out there? The eye on your bench. Why? I Yay! wanted to kind of decrease the portion size. And you can see the portion of garnish to rib cap, and it just needs a few more slices. Yes, chef. Yeah, I mean, listen, the dish is seasoned beautifully. You just have to be very careful when you put something that delicious up. Uh, yes, <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I love the dish. Am I irritated at myself for not, like, slicing two more pieces of steak and putting it on the plate? Yeah. Who do you think's coming next? It's a toss-up. Kitty. I hope Ryan's next. Kitty's still here. The next person to earn a black jacket and join Jonathan and Sammy. Congratulations, Demir. Demir. There's no words in a, in a Webster dictionary that can describe how I'm feeling right now. There's a flood of emotions. Young man, I think that's your best dish so far in the competition. Thank You're you. the real deal. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Chef. Well done. I am so happy and proud of myself, man. I, I know what I've been through. The silent battles that no one knows and the days I wanted to give up on culinary and change careers. What are we talking about? What are we saying? <laughs> He's a yeah, psycho. Hey, yeah. It's an unbelievable. Why aren't film. they in the lounge it anymore? Shows that things are possible. You know, all you gotta do is put the work in and believe. Hell yes! Hell yes! Now I'm faced with a really difficult decision. Hell yes! I need this to go well right now. I am right there. I can taste it. The next black jacket. Congratulations. <laughs> the next black jacket. Congratulations. Kitty. Carmen. Oh, oh man. Young lady, I struggled to critique the dish. Everything you put on there just absolutely sung beautifully on the palette. Thank you so well much. Done. Thank you. My goodness me. Black jacket, baby! I just have so much fire What's going on, Neymar? Me, and it's really just validating everything that I've been doing. <laughs> because the last year of my life, I've been busting my ass, working multiple jobs, going to school, learning as much as I can. Oh my God, who needs a glass? And it's led me to this moment. I need a glass of champagne. I've worked for it and I've fought for it, so I'm gonna keep fighting for it until I win this competition. Black jacket, bitches! Lee, Ryan, and Jason, this is your final black jacket challenge. Three chefs and only one black jacket. I really think Chef Ramsay is trying to put me through all three challenges and trying to see if I'm proving myself to belong amongst the uh, black jackets. I can see how desperate you are to earn that jacket. So I'm giving all three of you complete freedom to make anything you want. There's a lot on the line now. You've already f***ed up twice in order to get a black jacket. But I have to believe Does in myself. Do they have herpes? Because the second I don't believe in myself is the second that I should be out the door. Play to your strengths. Make sure you cook from the heart. But more importantly, bring me a dish that blows me away. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. I'm so ready to fight for this black jacket. I mean, I want to be in the top five. I've worked so hard to get here. I don't want my journey to end right now. You've got 45 minutes. Your time starts. Now, let's go. Take a good look. An amazing array of ingredients. Wow. Good coconut milk. He's going for lobster. Who? Jason. Is he trying to redeem himself from sick dish? Just buy your ingredients. You're doing a lobster curry? I'm going to do a coconut Thai lobster. I want to do a lobster dish because my signature dish initially was a lobster dish. The seasoning's way off, especially with two pound lobster. So it's a three. Yes, chef. My American dream is to grab the Gordon Ramsay bowl by the horns, learn from it. So I just wanted to do another lobster dish to prove that I'm worthy to stay and that Chef Ramsay was correct in not giving up on me. You do a lot of Asian food in your restaurant? Yes, Chef. You always tend to gravitate, that's why I ask. 
I love the Asian influence. I've kind of had like a high obsession for the last decade. What goes in your curry? It's just gonna be a froth coconut sauce. Growing up in Minnesota on a farm in the middle of nowhere, you don't really have that exposure. Right, right, you see Skelly? Leaving the farm at 18, moving to the Caribbean. I lived in Australia twice, and then three months of backpacking through Europe. That opened my eyes to so much beauty. Ah, yes, I went backpacking through Europe. Minutes. The ultimate douchebag thing to say. I want to be say. able to showcase that on a plate. Gonna go to Limitsy. This is probably the most important dish of your professional career. Yes, chef. Ryan's making pasta. Let's go, pasta boy. What are you making? Campanelli. The sweet potato is going to be in the filling yep. with a sage brown butter sauce. Any protein? No, that's no, it. Chef, no. I'm going to make sure that I get the pasta right. Is it too risky? Not a sweet to do potato a pasta. pasta. Come on, no bro. Protein, no risk, no reward. So I f***ing balls to the wall and I'm all in. How many are you trying to serve in a portion? Uh, I'm only going to do six, but I just want to make sure I get the best six, chef. That last Come on, dish, bro. One of the worst dishes I've a ever sweet potato life. fucking learned, pasta is not a twice, fucking so winner. This is my fucking time to prove myself. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Are you doing a full pea puree? Or are you doing kind of like a mashed mash pea, pea or like a mashed pea? Mashed pea? Okay. Yes, chef. My husband was raised in England, peas? and mushy peas are a big staple there. It's kind of a nod to Chef Ramsay as well, and I know they go really well with lamb. How's the lamb looking? Nice, Chef. I'm about to baste it and brush it with yogurt and za'atar. I want to see you get this jacket. I want one really f***ing bad. I know this lamb has to be cooked perfectly. I'm going to walk into that black jacket club with my head held really high. Just under nine minutes, yes? Yes, Chef. It's not really. Mashed peas for brownie points from Gordon because it's on, British? Do it. Do, it. Do it. Do it. One cut. Oh, she's nervous. This looks a little bit under. It's raw! me. Lee's going home. Sorry, Lee. I am absolutely screwed. Sammy's munching on that popcorn. With only one black yeah, it is. Black. I'm not denying that. Focus Other focus shiny focus. hunters would Ryan, deny that, Nightmarch. Jason and Lee know their fate. This looks a little bit Go under. tell that to a person using four Game Boys, and they will dish. literally have a it's conniption on you. Lee's going home. Sorry, Lee. Get in the oven! Go, 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 go! Back in the oven. This dish means everything to me right now. It's either the dish that's gonna get me that black jacket or it's my last dish I'll cook in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, that's what she said. Five minutes. <laughs> yes, Let's go. I mean, you I'm need like more than mashed peas to get to brownie points from I know how to board. cook and I just have to believe in myself and put out really good food. Okay. 30 seconds to go. Good looking. Thank you, Chef. Come on, Ryan. Come on, bro. That looks really tasty. Oh! Uh, Oh, Eight, me. <clears throat> seven. Every detail is going to matter on this one. Right, chef. Four, three, two, one, and serve. Oh, if Jason walks through that door, I'm going to be pissed. He's not coming back, though. I know this how to cook. Is Lamb is raw. Lee, up first. Let's Bruh. go. This plate <laughs> is the only thing that stands Bruh. between me and a black jacket. I'm praying that this meat is cooked perfectly. Describe the dish, please. For you, I have a zatar spice lamb chop with mushy peas and a hot honey dressed salad. The lamb is cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. It's got that glare, that beautiful pink all the way through. You've gone rustic, a nod to the great British pea. Yes, Chef. Why? I really enjoy peas, my husband enjoys peas, and I just think they are such a humble ingredient that tastes really special when it's elevated well. They're very special. Thank you. Thank you, Good Chef. Job. I feel like I've lived 12 <laughs> lives today, cooking like so many times in this kitchen. Up, but go. all three rounds, I keep expressing Night more and more just swapped to Twitch. Next up, let's get it, bro. Step forward, please. Thank you. My first two dishes. Five were the X best shiny dishes hunting is like five Game Boy shiny hunting. Every Did you hear what I said? I want you to go say that to a four desk. Game Boy Bob technique. and he see what they say. Piece of dishes, and I really think I brought that to the table more than anyone else. Young man, what have you got? A nod to a Thai lobster. Underneath you have they will freak out. Milk infused with lemongrass, ginger, and Thai chili. All you gotta say is that horde hunting is the same. 
as multi-hunting. And they'll be like, oh my god, are you stupid? Do you have any idea how math works? Dude, it's so funny. And really give him a lighter, brighter lobster dish than my original signature dish. The sauce needs a bit more seasoning there. I don't have a bar bob for you Easter. in my mind. That is but. definitely the hero. Good. Thank my you. YouTube Thank chat was popping yesterday wow. when I was doing RNG, but the Twitch chat this was so is dead. Be difficult. One black jacket, and I've already tasted two really good dishes. My life is on the line with this dish. Ryan, step forward, please. For the final time, young man. I hope not. Ah! Ah! Excuse me. With a sage <clears throat> brown butter sauce and some parmesan. When I woke up this morning, I found I was going to be black jacket. Not for one second did I think. I don't I think you can win with that dish, dude. There's twice. no protein. So no protein. You got vegetarian. Yes, chef. I just wanted the flavors to speak for themselves. Everybody cooked their proteins well. I don't have a protein. I just made pasta. This is a gamble. So I just hope this one pulls off. Uh, yeah, I like the loyalty and other things on Twitch better. I did like the VIP shapes, and, and sub the badges pasta could and actually stuff. act as a vessel for the brown butter sauce. Uh, it's a delight. Fragrant and beautiful. Great technique. Oh. Usually executed. I'm just really happy with what Chef Ramsay has said about my food. But there's only one jacket, there's three of us. Oh, I just yeah. Them. Three completely individual dishes. Dishes that I know mean so much to all three of you. This is so hard. The first chef not receiving a black jacket and leaving Hell's Kitchen. Definitely Ryan. Is Jason. Oh! Young man, come here. Get out, fucker. Just listen. We hate this you fucker. You are one determined, focused individual. Thank you, chef. You learn from your mistakes and you bounce back quickly. I pushed you harder and harder each day because I know you can take it. I'd like to wish you the very best of luck. And thank you for all that hard work. Head up. Absolutely. Good night. Do man. I don't honestly think I deserve to go home tonight. I've been fighting every day to be here. Every time I was nominated, uh, Chef Ramsey gave me advice. I listened, cooked good food. I definitely put up the three best dishes of the three challenges. But you know, it's Chef Ramsey's world and we're just living in it. When I say this is the hardest decision I've ever made in Hell's Kitchen, I really do mean it. Two tenacious fighting individuals and only one black jacket. The chef who's earned a black jacket is. I need this. I am right there. I can taste it. The black jacket is in front of me. Please make it my dish. Please make it my dish. It's anybody's game. The black jacket goes to fighting. This is the hardest decision I've ever made in Hell's Kitchen. I really do mean it. Two tenacious, respectful, deserving individuals. This is tough. The black jacket goes to... Lee. Nice. I knew he wasn't going to win. Young lady. Phenomenal dish. I'm so happy for you. This jacket means that my fight here and my push and my drive has been so worth it. The black jacket. I can't I believe he made so a fucking vegetarian right entree, it. man. What a fucking dumbass. I mean, I know I deserve this, but it's hard to see Ryan just absolutely crushed. Ryan, young man, that was a tremendous dish and you showed great flair. But I've got some bad news for you. You're gonna have to put up with me for a little bit longer. Cars, I have a black jacket for you as well. He bamboozled him. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna cry now? Are they both on their knees black crying? <laughs> I told you, I told you I'd do it. Your boy, all the way from Ireland. 10,000 miles of it. The American dream is real. Well done. Thank you, chef. Congratulations. Thank you. Outstanding dish. Thank you. Both of you. Thank you, Chef. This is my be all end all. Oh, great job, Brian. This is my life. This is I'd my send him home just because he's got herpes. This is me. I did what I said what I was going to do. I'm winning. How could I decide over those two dishes? Are you kidding me? I only had five black jackets to give out. You've made me break the rules. And rules are there to be broken, right? Yes, Chef. Chef. Lee, let's go for a walk. 
Okay. Follow me. I don't know who's gonna walk in there. I really don't know. Ryan, not Jason. I have no idea who's gonna walk through this door, but I'm just praying that it's Lee right now. Do it. Enjoy. The door swings open and all of a sudden I see Lee's face and I am so excited. I just feel really happy. I mean, she deserves it. She deserves to be here. Yes, girl. Yes. I'm so f proud of you. Ryan. Where's Ryan? No, I couldn't believe that Ryan wasn't walking through that door. My biggest competition is Oh my god, who the fuck is screeching like a fucking asshole? I'd be honored to go up against him. I'm ready to push myself to the end. In this black jacket, I feel invincible. Right, come here. Time to party. Let's go. Come on. It's an honor to be a part of this elite group of individuals in Hell's Kitchen. I am so, so happy and proud of myself. You six made history. The first Salem King has subscribed on YouTube. Thank you, man. Black jacket chefs. This is where the competition goes up forget the best make scenario and start emerging as a leader i'm fighting for my family security and peace of mind this is exactly the push that i need game time congratulations guys Come yeah. on. Yeah. i am a firm believer in hard work and passion and love and perseverance Where's the fun? fighting I'm, I'm here for a reason i have proved myself and this is all just continuing to show me that i'm going to win this i can just feel it Sammy, Sammy, jump in, jump in, jump in. <laughs> Next time on Hell. Previously on Hell's Kitchen, the American Dream. Chef Ramsey received a special delivery. Today is Black Jacket Day. The Black Jacket is such a coveted symbol in Hell's Kitchen. It means that you are the best of the best. In the first Black Jacket Challenge, S. Spinach. The chefs rolled the dice for ingredients. Truffle. They would all have to cook with. I'm going to do herb crusted with the truffle on it. Jonathan's dish stood out. That's a perfection. Congratulations, Ooh. gentlemen. And earned him the first Black Jacket. Oh, that Black Jacket. I'm going to do a cauliflower or biche. Sammy took a risk. Big risk. It paid off. And she earned black jacket number two. Woo! I got black jacket! In the next challenge, Go! the chefs had to be fast on their feet and fight for ingredients. <laughs> Demir and Carmen got exactly what they were looking for. Peruvian potatoes. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And they received Demir, Carmen. The next two black jackets. <laughs> With the final black jacket on the line. Make anything you want. Ryan, Jason, and Lee gave it their all. This is probably the most important dish of your professional career. Yes, chef. Jason's Thai lobster. You need a bit more seasoning than that. Just missed the mark. The first chef not receiving a black jacket, Jason. Tonight. And then it all came down to Lee's. The tar spice lamb chop. The lamb is cooked beautifully. Versus Ryan's. Sweet potato and carrot capoletti. It's a delight. Fragrant and beautiful. This is tough. And Chef Ramsay decided to give the fifth black jacket to Lee. But in a surprise turn of events. Ryan, you're going to have to put up with me for a little bit longer. Carlos, I have a black jacket for you as well, young man. <laughs> Black jacket, baby! Thank you, sir. The American dream is real. Meaning, for the first time in 10 years, six black jacket chefs. Congratulations, guys! Come yeah. on! Will fight for their American dream of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. In this black jacket, I feel invincible. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, Good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Thank Seriously, you. well done. The true American dream. Congratulations. Thank Good you, night. Chef. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Ah, yes. It tastes better in a black jacket. Get that photo, bro. Top me off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? Click, click, click. I'm buzzed right now. Ah. Here we go. Feel a little drunky. Woo! Black jackets. She's <laughs> drunk. <laughs> A little buzz right now. I've been in the black jacket lounge with Sammy all day. 
And uh, trying to keep up with her is quite the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> me? Are you laughing at me? Are they gonna fuck? Bro. <laughs> yeah, I can't drink anymore Bruh. because I'll, I have to be on my A game. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Uh, Jonathan, yes, sir. first into that black jacket lounge. Yeah, chef. Consume the most alcohol because you were there on your own for a while. Yes, have chef. Have you sobered up? Yes, Chef. I slept great. You sure? Because you look like a sack of shit on a hot day this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. He didn't like that. We all know that the food industry has changed dramatically over the last 10 or 15 years, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. Today, one of the Chef's most powerful tools is social media. Even a single photograph can go viral within seconds. So today, I'm going to test your ability to create a stunning, eye-popping dish. Because I'm going to take photos of all six of your dishes and post them live to my 100 million social media followers. Wow. Jeez. And they're going to tell me what they think. How cool is that? It's insane, Chef. That's Your a good challenge minutes. idea. Start now. Let's go. But if this was real life, then they, they, there chef. would be people commenting Intact, like, this looks like my dog fucking shat dishes, it up and puked all over it. But dishes that please the eye as well. Are there be a bunch of people objectifying the girls? Let's go. Hell There'd yeah. be a bunch of people saying I'm sexist comments. Harder than Jonathan right now, for sure. I feel so unwell. I really want to make a cappuccino, but can we do that on a gnocchi board? I want to make a colorful pasta that'll really stand out. My dough feels kind of thick. But as I Thick. am kneading my dough, it feels extremely tough. It needs to relax. But I am just crossing my fingers that it'll work out. Ew. I'm just playing a not working. Playing the off for something else. You know, first instinct is to grab chicken. The garden just wasn't going the way that I wanted it to. Face and stuff hit me like, I've seen some real beautiful you know, carpaccios or sashimi platters. Put emphasis on my knife skills and pops of color. Keep it very minimalistic and abstract. Seared scallops, butternut puree, a little guanciale chip. A lot going on. You gotta know when to rein it in, I think. I think the riskiest part of this dish is to make sure that it's cohesive. So to really make this uh, plate stand out, I got these uh, beautiful black truffles. I'm gonna shave them really thin. I think I know what you're going for, that nice disc. Yes. Yes, I'm going to do a lobster tiradito with a mango ají amarillo sauce. A tiradito is a classic Peruvian dish. I'm slicing the lobster because I just wanted to have it really pretty but still easy for the guests to eat in one bite. And I want to place the claw on top as a centerpiece to add a wow factor to the plate. Big ass claw. What do you got working, Lee? I'm gonna make kind of like a Thai style broth. I'm doing scallops. I was gonna do Arctic char and scallops, but I'm kind of narrowing it down a little bit. Maybe some like candied Thai chilies with candied kumquats would bring some sweetness and some heat to this like tangy, spicy sauce. But I've literally never candied fruit before. I don't know why I decided to try and do it today, but you know, you gotta take risks. Do I keep the candy stuff on or off the heat? Um, I would keep it just till it gets more syrupy. Okay, thank you, Sammy. Bass. Yeah, I'm thinking ceviche. Then put a circle in the middle with the vinaigrette, some oil, sexy little garnishes. Cool. I like yeah. that idea. Yeah, sure. It's going well. I'm getting my ceviche going. I have my coconut vinegar working. Chef Ramsey, call me a sack of on a hot day. But as long as I can stay in my lane and do what I do, I feel very, Is very it, That's what you look that like. I'm pull this off today. Four minutes. Good. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Hello, femme so lover. I want to paint this scene like I want to get a big white plate. Like, a Pokemon so, uh, with a great canvas. charm. You mean cute charm? I just use of the butternut squash puree. I'm using synchronized because I want a nature. I want an atom in nature. Okay, 45 seconds. This dish is really going to pop because I have a bright blue bowl with this bright yellow sauce. And those are contrasting You cannot colors, change your nature so you in this game. Your, so like, my wheel. nature is way more Ten, important than my nine, the gender. I don't eight, care if it's a male or a seven, female. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, and serve. Well done. Up in the window. 
Right, it's time to make these dishes insta famous. My Kadabra has adamant and synchronized, but in this game, it's only a 20% chance of success. It's not 50%, like so. How beautiful are they? I am so impressed. I'm gonna post these and we're going live before I go. Come on, jump in, everybody. Selfie going time. live, he said. <laughs> I want a copy well of that. Joining me today to help judge you your can dishes with breading. is the chef and owner. I'm, I'm shiny hunting, so I'm never going to breed a shiny. Kelly. Please welcome. In this game, Kevin you need to breed Ian. two shinies to get a shiny, and it deletes the parents permanently. It so. is amazing that you Chef play this game, Salem King? another Michelin star chef, Kevin Nian, to judge our food today. I mean, it's a lot of pressure, but this is a big deal. Uh, visually, how important is that first look of a dish? I always read people's eyes, typos because they're funny. I have a 200-hour main account, but this is my this is my new second my account. Because having two accounts is really good yell. for <laughs> making money. Like Yo, Ace. Thirty, thirty, subby, wobby, monsy, ad dog. Thirty sub. Down, 30 please. fucking Twitch Chef sub Kevin months. Thank Ian you so much. Chef Ramsey will now evaluate each dish. You want to add me as on your friends list, Salem King? I'm looking for more people Meanwhile, to fucking play with. Also pouring in from social media, and those points will be added to each chef's score at the end of the judging. So, Chef, today I have prepared fortini My in-game name is the same as my Twitch and YouTube name. Yeah. What's up with you, Ace? What are you up to? Uh, visually, it looks great. The splattering of the butternut squash, I think he did that on purpose. Yeah. Uh, not something I prefer, yep. but that's just uh, that's subjective to each his own. Chef, the composition, the dish, the taste. My lepa stack is running close. low. It's great. It's a restaurant-quality dish. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank you very much, Chef. Chef, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give that? 9. A 9. Solid 9. Thank you, Chef. I'm gonna give that a solid rip checks. For a really good job. Well done. Up next, Sammy. Let's go. So I have a kind of any rip checks in the shot. I tried to make it kind of like a cavatelli with crab and truffle in there as well. Yeah, these look like Cheetos. <laughs> these look like Cheetos. At Wait, hold on, hold on. We serve cavatelli. Next, Sammy. Let's go. So it's I a busted, a my guy. Pasta. I tried it looked like you had so like much fun at that furry uh, festival, bro. Well. Yeah, these look like Cheetos. At my restaurant, we, we serve cavatelli. I, 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 I like go back to see the Cheeto thing, and I still missed it. Hold on. Kind of like a cavatelli with crab and truffle in there as well. Yeah, these look like Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. Your name's Treasure Doll? I'll add you. At my restaurant, we, we serve cavatelli. It doesn't look, yes. look like that. Right. Those look like um, gummy worms. Gummy worms. How's it taste? Um, it could be better. Chef Kevin is ripping Sammy's dish apart harshly. I so Salem King, since you've been right playing now, for so long, what are some of your cool and best awesome. Pokemon? The only good, I found a shiny. Uh, do you have any shinies? Hold on, I gotta copy and paste this link to the YouTube chat. How's it taste? Um, it could be better. In today's challenge, while Chef Watch that clip. social media followers are weighing in on I the found that shiny. Chefs Mian and Ramsey you only have two in three years? Oh my god. I have donator status on right well now. Flavor. There's good pasta and there's Do you have pasta. a shiny okay. charm? Do you think you could have done a better job at oh, this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Um, chef, on the scale of one to ten, where are we going? Six. I like the flavor. I'm gonna give it a seven. I found that shiny as a non-donator and yesterday. no shiny now charm. Now it's like really trickling into today. I don't feel like my 100. percent Jonathan, let's go, please. I'm not free to play. You have a sea bass. Wait, that means you have a shiny with charm. A little red pepper to get the orange to share. Color. This is a canvas. I don't Pog? Think did you a service by any means? Okay. Texture's good. Could use a little crunch in there. I think it's have um, mm. everything's kind of soft. It's beautifully balanced. The seasoning, chef. On a scale of one to ten, where are we going? With all respects, I feel like you went the easy way out. Like anyone can sit here and just take fish and chop it raw. I'll give you a seven. I'll give you an eight. You meant to say that you are free to play? 
Lee, let's go. Lee is hoping her pan-seared scallops and noodles in a Thai coconut broth will dazzle Chef Mian and Chef Ramsay. Visually, it looks very Yeah, exciting. I wanted two accounts to do yeah. two gym runs every them. day and to do... Two, I can get two alphas every single time they spawn. I can get Chef, two legendaries every month. I can get... If, I can double up on events. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, is that good? Well Thank done. You. It's like good? the best way to Demir, speed up money please. making, really. Is hoping the delicate knife but my new account only has Johto completed, and I'm just shiny hunting it before I go to a new region. As well as their palettes. I think it's looking nicer on a, uh, on did you shiny hunt your shinies, or did you find them randomly? Because uh, this is fucking miserable, man. I've been doing this a couple hours every day, and I. I'm gonna go eight. Pretty good. Thank you. Good job. And we have Carmen. Let's I go. should have Ready. a counter Finally, going, Carmen's but Peruvian lobster tiradito is exploding with color. But will it pop on the taste buds or fizzle out? It looks a little retro composed, but it looks appealing. Yeah, I found I that shiny right cricket talk completely it randomly. Great choice of plates. Right when I started Sinnoh, right it's when I started fucking platinum, that's kind of or whatever, everything. Gen 4. However, I think it looks nice. <clears throat> I'll give you a 9. Thank you, Chef. Put you up there Thank with you other so guys. Much. Um, I'm going to give it an 8. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you. It's a four-way tie right now, and I'm just praying that the people on Chef Ramsay's Why can't you get your old account back? My dish. The online votes have been tabulated. The dish oh, man, you got the same fucking place shiny? That's ten points. insane. Second place, nine. And so on yeah, I was nine. just about to Third say that my yeah. friend sent me an auto counter, and I didn't install it. On social media... Which gives you five I points. have a I have a counter Plus, thing that's not an add-on for this game specifically. I just haven't launched it. Out of 30. What a shame. I don't honestly don't Finishing like quantifying on social the media. Was? hunt in the number of encounters. I usually Demir. go by the number of hours. You've got six more points. Finishing in fourth place. I could calculate how many I've done five. based on the leopard so bears I've spent on this hunt, points. and I could start from there. In third place on social media. Four, eight points. You can Was. probably get that info back, Frisco. Jonathan, you have a total of 23. It's down between Lee and Comes Carl. out of lurking to lull W at me, lull, lull. And earn additional 10 points, the winner. I don't know how lol. Go to the website and fucking say you for go to your website. There's probably a forgot account name thing and then it will ask you it will it will send your account name to your email and then you forget your password and then you reset your password amazing i think lee and carmen's dishes straight up look like they're out of the you 90s. deserve it if i knew that was the direction we were going in i probably would have won all of you join me thank you i have 31 characters wait a minute come, in, come on you have 31 accounts that are fucking through the whole game Great feedback, Lee. Congratulations, young lady. Thank you, Chef. I hope you're ready to kick off your shoes and relax because I've arranged for you a day of rejuvenation. You'll be headed to the. That's fucking lab Giga Chad. Where you'll enjoy a refreshing blast of cryotherapy. Did you add me on your main account, you Treasure will Doll? Then enjoy a relaxing thaw in this beautiful infrared sauna. Once your body has rejuvenated, you'll continue to unwind at the fabulous Langham Huntington Pasadena. You could be dedicated. You'll be experiencing a beautiful high tea ceremony. So, Any if you have that many you accounts, should you should be rolling in money, and you can so buy shiny charms so and donator status with with like money. Or is that I'm against go your with morals? She earned it. Come on, great job as well, Lee. Congratulations. With in-game money, not you real money. Very spicy. In the door. Thank you, Chef. Congrats. Thank you. Get out of here. Come on. Go get frozen. Bye, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Lee picked me, and I definitely. Is it a self imposed thing to not apply treatments. the buffs? We've been doing a lot of intense punishments. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, spices. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, making this. one singular 5 IV Pokemon is a lot of money. I have a 5 IV Salamence. I made a 5 IV Salamence on my other account after I sold the shiny Cricket Sock for a couple of mil. We need almonds for our lamb entree. You'll need to blanch and carefully peel this. A shiny male Dratini or a shiny male Magikarp would go for a lot. Of fresh almonds. All of you, get your heads up and get ready to get peeling. Okay, head to the dorms. Yes, yes, chef. But I'm not gonna sell Gone this all one. Day. Chef thinks I look like a sack of <laughs> Damn, he's on me today. Did you do the Lunar New Year event? That's when I wish I started it's playing again. Like, I came back right after that event ended. Day to day. When Should they had raids changed. and they had yeah. Shaman. Yeah, you're telling me. Oh, oh, my God. oh it's so beautiful outside. <laughs> yes. After oh, Yuma, what are you selling? What were you selling? We want something. Yay. Welcome to Mother.
Hustle Lab. Um, we're excited to have you guys today. We're gonna get you guys started with the cryo first. I've never done cryotherapy. See so you soon. <laughs> I'm really excited. Ready? Oh, red yeah. envelope. I'm rooting for you. Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck is that right? cryo it's chamber? It's so weird. It's like I am uh, so cold. I'm very cold. It's a negative 162 degrees, but it's just really dry. I feel like I could do this for a while, which is nice. <laughs> what is going on in there? All right. I feel like I'm going into an ice cream machine. I'm a little nervous because I do not like the cold weather. <gasps> I live in Miami. I am a tropical gal. Carmen's a little hottie. I feel like I'm hot Do you have a lucky red dragon? I actually feel or a lucky gold it dragon? Those two minutes of freezing cold. This is going to be the opposite of the cryo, so you'll be able to kind of warm up a little bit. I feel so What are they getting from this? Right now, I definitely needed it in Hell's Kitchen. I've been begging for a spa day. I love the sauna. You know, the heat is definitely what does have her socks on? my element. Now it feels like Hell's Kitchen in here. It's hot. Envion. Uh, have you ever peeled almonds before? No, I've never peeled almonds. It sucks. Uh, so the punishment today is to, to blanch and peel 100 pounds of almonds. I only have we the... We have to toast all the seeds, sesame seeds, coriander seeds, fennel seeds, star anise. The what? You know, then we got to grind them by hand in the world's smallest mortar and pestle. This is going to take at least a good four or five hours, 100%, easily. This is ridiculous. This? Yeah, this is redonkulous. I wouldn't wish this I wish I had a cool enemy. amount. I wish I had oh any cool God, cosmetics. This is <gasps> Lovely. This is, oh my God, this is beautiful. Yum. I don't even know where to start. The it's HM really nice to have some one-on-one -on -one one. time with Carmen. The bread Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> She's been one of my best friends in this house the whole season. How does it feel to win the first black jacket challenge? I feel you, like a I don't lot know of what people have been writing me you off. Have so it's Do you nice have a mount? experience. Do you have a mount that's not a bike or a show whatever? Up. I think the other chefs are way too cocky right now and they don't know what's coming. I mean, we got black jackets for a reason and we deserve it. Back at Hell's Kitchen, the remaining chefs are breaking for lunch. Take 20 minutes and one chef seems to be slowly going nuts. <clears throat> chef said I look like a suck. You, you did, okay? man. Jonathan is taking what Chef Ramsay said about him really to heart. I can't believe I got told I look like a sex. I know, Chef. I know. Johnny! <laughs> Doesn't matter how good you are, you know, people go home over the smallest and minute details today. So, you know, this guy's you herpes meet, is so spreading. Chef, you know, <sighs> With the ladies back from their spa day and the almonds peeled. It could have been just five of you in here. You got lucky, there's six of you, okay? Yes. Show it off why, yes? Yes, yes? yes, It's time for the final six chefs to come together for the first black jacket dinner service. Mourinho. See, Chef. Please open Hell's Kitchen for our first all black jacket service. Let's go. Subito. Is in the air. Oh, you mean the flute? For the first black jacket dinner the service. HM flute. Can I get the golden beet salad? Can I get the halibut, please? As the final six will be cooking for the entire dining room. Thank you for being here on this day. Which includes an eight top engagement celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Hell's Kitchen is. Why were they showing off the, the engagement ring and not the real NBC. ring? With the diamond on it. It's okay. Don't, don't have to worry about English not being well. I can understand what you're saying. Sometimes I just gotta ask for a. Including certified little. Uh, sometimes I gotta ask what you meant, but your English is fine. Zed. Welcome. Listen up. Eight covers number twenty-five. Celebrate their. I'm a fighter. Yes, chef. Three flatbread, three risotto, two carbonara. Yes, chef. Hurry up, let's go. Seven oh. Turn on the seven. Well, my nap station tonight with Sammy. I'm gonna be vocal, loud, making sure everything's perfect, seasoned properly. I've so ordered my place to be here, so tonight I'm gonna, you know, put the foot down and implement my place here. Three risotto, two carbonara, two flatbread. Ryan. What's going for the A top? The A top is two flatbread, three risotto, two carbonara. What does that make? Sorry? 
Three flatbreads, three risotto, two carbonara. Sorry, chef. Three, three. Carbonara. That's eight, yes? Yes, chef. Lobsters are walking. Lobsters are walking. When it's an A top coming in, it gets a little tricky. You know, it adds a, another layer of difficulty. Let's go. Tamir, come on. I'm, I'm away. Drop them off. You check it before you bring it up, Tamir. Yes, chef. Walking risotto, two carbonara. Tamir. Yes, chef. One cook, two undercooked. Let's yes, go, sir. back in. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hey, young man, you hesitated, OK? Yes, sir. Go, John, come back for the two risotto. Lobster, yes, I need sir. to complete. Lobster's ready to walk. Come on. Yes, sir. Here we go, John, yes? 31. That looks gorgeous. Thank you for joining our celebration, lovely ladies. With Ryan Everyone. and Sammy steadily pushing appetizers out to the dining room. The scallops for you. Woo! I have the carbonara for you. Thank you. It looks perfect. Let's go. Chef Ramsay is hoping the momentum carries over to entrees. I know the four cover table three entree to Halibut to New York Strip. Yes, chef. To Halibut to New York Strip, six minutes. Heard on the six minutes. Yes. I'm on garnish and I'm ready to crush it. I'm ready to bounce back from being a big sack of this morning and I'm ready to make Chef proud. Garnish walking. Jonathan. Yes, sir. There's no lamb on. You give me lamb garnish. I don't want lamb okay. garnish. Okay. I'm okay? Yes, sir. Look, yes, sir. I just need you to focus. Yes, sir. And you're on the easiest station yes, tonight, sir. so yes. I just need better performance from you. <laughs> he expects more out of me, and I got to show him more. Two strip walking. Heard on a two strip yeah, walking. Fish is coming right now. Strip on your left. Oh, you know. Come on. Lee. What's up, Poppy Cat? I need to meet you, Come on, hurry up. Yes, sir. Now. Under? Yeah. All right. How can they fuck up it, so it. much, man? I got garnish right here, chef. <clears throat> Jonathan. <gasps> yes, chef. More <gasps> color. Come on. Okay, okay. Now. Yes, chef. Yes. Look, yes. You're not even crispy. Oh. Chef. I'm like not even crispy. Say I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. There's no worse feeling than letting Chef Ramsay down. Okay. Jonathan. John, less oil. I said crispy, yeah, but just less next time, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Less. Yes, sir. It's yes. just a little drizzle in there. Yes. Yes, sir. Strip. Let's go. He ate Strip one. Walking behind. Let's go. Carmen, that's better. Yes, chef. Thank you. Set the bar, young lady. Thank you, chef. Let's go. Now that Carmen has mastered the temperatures on her first strip steaks. I'm really sorry you can't eat this. It's the Chef office Ramsey's girl. The black jackets can keep the flow the going Lord. with. One halibut, one Wellington, two chicken. Yes, yes. 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 I'm six and a half with my chicken halibut welly. Her. The meat station really drives the tickets and the time and the countdown. Two chicken, one halibut, one welly, four minutes. So I think that Chef My Ramsey McDonald's fries are only on greasy when they're a chance super to prove fresh. Ourselves as leaders in the kitchen. But I never get super fresh because the people that work there are fucking lazy and they give me old fries. Dude, are you serious? Of course I dropped my sausage. It's a simple little S4 fix. is definitely Two worth minutes. grinding. Have it right out, chef. Come on, John, yes, please. Yes. I wish they would hot. release them on Friday night. Diablo 3 season started on Friday nights. Path of Exile season started on Friday nights. Diablo 4 starts on Ramsey. like Tuesday don't, afternoon. It's like so fucking dumb. Don't try to tell me I don't care. I wouldn't be in a black jacket today if I didn't care. Right here, sausage. Nice oh, cold again. Jonathan, yes, chef. Come in. Let's touch that. You tell me. Just take the glove off. Take the glove off. It's the easiest garnish. I know, chef. I don't know what's happened. Whether it's an alcohol last night, you're celebrating too early but young man chef. look at me look at me i don't know what the f is going on okay. but i am not getting your best tonight i know chef i am not getting your best I know. I know. it's the second time i know if you don't care young it's man second no. time go home no chef okay I'll, I'll get it on go home jonathan yes chef. come here let's touch that it's the easiest Garnish, I know, station. chef. I, know. I don't know what's happened. Whether it's an alcohol last night, you're no. celebrating too early. But if you don't care, young man, no. go home. No, chef. Okay? I'll get it on. Go home. Salem get King, have you ever break. gotten a Quickly. legendary from reason. PvP Patience. like Mewtwo? Yes, don't take it out on the food. I know, chef. 
Johnny's in his head and surprising to see because I think Johnny is probably my biggest competition. But however or not, you gotta go to work. Go, uh, yep. As Jonathan tries to regain his composure. Garnish and oh. two. Oh. Five minutes. How many more than five? Go seven. Five minutes. Let's go. The communication with Carmen and Lee isn't as clear as I would like it to have been. Two seven, one halibut, one lamb, four and a half. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need about five and a half on this. Carmen is saying things, but not directly to me. She's just calling things out. Walking lamb in, in 30 seconds. No, I'm not gonna be ready. Lamb is walking to the past. Not yet, not yet. Carmen. Yes, oh, you don't have like a, you don't have Suiko and Nensei or Raikou or any anywhere. of the other birds? Driving the fish as well? Where's the fish? Where's, where's, where's Demir going? Demir, where's your halibut? Demir's kind of dropping the ball in the fish station. There's a lot of mistakes happening. If someone needs more time, they need to speak up and say it. Right here, right here. Walk, 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 Johnny. Go, walk, walk, walk. No, just one. Yes, it's supposed to be together, right? Where's the salmon? You got your salmon? Salmon, yeah. You got a salmon to sell? Salmon you underneath. Salmon. To sell? Oh, we got some right here. Legendaries are quite rare. That is undercooked, and that is raw. We, we're going back weeks ago. We're not even on the same page. Yes, chef. Lee, you cooked these beautifully on your own before, so I, I, I've got no idea why you sent me that stuff tonight. Yes, chef. I'll come back to a lamb and two salmon. Is yes, that clear? Yes, yes, chef. One minute. Let's go. Earth. Pop that in right now. Yeah, I feel there you. What, what else like are you playing these days? On with entrees. One person driving yes, the time in the ticket, okay? All right. I don't think that this is getting solved. Lee, but it's the second time we held up a table, okay? Yes, chef. I have a lot of things going on in this oven right now. And I have to keep opening and closing the oven to put more in or take one out. Carmen, where the f is Lee? Where's, why, how do you cook in front of an oven? You've got to get it off of there. Yes, chef. It goes in and out, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Not stand there. Don't give it open that oven door, yes? Yes, chef. Let's go. I'm not just opening it for fun and getting, like, a steam facial. I'm trying to cook. Let's go, then. Come on, Demir. Let's go, Jonathan. Yes, chef. I need one more salmon. Facial? One now, two salmon. I've got one salmon. Yes, chef. It's two salmon. I've been saying this. Now. I feel you. Everyone's free time changes. Jonathan. Yes, Demir. Sir. Come here. Overcooked salmon. Yeah, yeah, I'm not serving. Come on. Well, don't look at me, then. I am getting a little bit like frazzled because it doesn't feel like we're on the same page. The red team was good at Planet side, I like no the man's guy. station, calls the tickets and counts down, but Demir's ruining his proteins. Demir. Yes, chef. That one's still raw. Come on. Now it's boss. He keeps sending up fish, but it keeps coming back like undercooked or overcooked. That's not how I taught you to cook salmon. The butter is burnt. Yes, Two salmon. Let's go, guys. Yes, Come on, Demir. Right. Pick it up, please. Let's yes, go. Sir. It just looked like kind of like a disaster. Hey, hey, look. Yes, Come down here. Just move down. Slide down. Where's our standard gone? All we're doing now is working as individuals. You've got the black jacket, so you should be wearing it with pride. But we need to come together as a team. There's no cohesiveness. There's no togetherness. We're fragmented. I've got you in a different island. That's him. Okay. Okay, chef. Uh. Get on the same page quickly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Me drives the ticket. Let's go. Um, at this point, we're just six <laughs> yelling at each other. Walking lamb in one minute. Turn on a lamb in a minute. But at the end of the day, we As all have black jackets on, and we all lie. have to work in unison. Salmon, how long? Right now. Walking now. New salmon, chef. Walking lamb. Nicely cooked. Let's go. With the chef seemingly getting their act together after a slew of errors. Gorgeous. It's really crispy. Um, fish is beautifully cooked. Chef Ramsay is ready to fire his VIP chef's table. Entree was salmon, two welly, one lamb, yes? Yes, sir. Chef table, yes? Yes, sir. Same time, yes? Seven minutes. Let's go. Oh, so I'm going to slice my first Wellington, and I'm realizing I've never sliced a Wellington before. Walking wellies. Why did she I slice the side of it? This Wellington station since day one. Behind hot. The opportunity finally came up, Big and I took Mexican. it because I knew that I couldn't get to the finale Dancing without just facing this fear. I like hey, spicy. Black jacket team, all of you, come here. Oh, no, no. 
Just take a look at the Wellingtons. That's how they were handed to me. Would you serve that? No, chef. Nor would I. That looks shit. Sorry, chef. That looks like shit. Uh, at this point in the game, like in black jackets, you should know how to cook a welly. I'll slice it with you again. I'll show you. Just stop taking the orders. Okay. Pause. Yeah, chef. Oh boy. I've stopped taking orders. Yes, chef. To get your heads back in the game. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I am not letting standards fly because you don't care. Off, clean the knife. Just puts a clean break through the pastry. The little blows that you get from that Chef Ramsay showed me how to slice a Wellington. That's what I got. Understood. That's, Understood. So where's your standards? I'm not serving that. Where's Thank your you standards? Let's go. This is a really new, not so nice feeling right now. Stop the orders. Stop the orders. Right Give me a fucking shiny. It's an hour into the first black jacket dinner service. Black jacket team, all of you come here. And with non-stop mistakes by nearly every station. My last berries. I'm not. I'm not uh -huh. uh -huh. I gotta buy more. Get flown out of here because you don't. Yes, sir. Chef, Chef Ramsay has been forced to resort to drastic measures. Stop the orders. Stop the orders. Never thought I'd say that on I like tonight. We check if they want any more wine on the chef table. Behind walking lamp. Salmon walking now. Salmon walking now. Oh my god. Fine. Go, yep, go. I have a salmon here. Wow. Oh, I'm here for this. Amazing. After some exceptional performances by this group of black jackets in the past, tonight was a major disappointment. This is brutal. Brutal. Several diners were shot out. I'm not. I'm watching this fucking goddamn show and to <laughs> keep myself entertained because this is so and fucking Chef boring. Decided that enough is enough. Oh man, the confidence tonight has absolutely disappeared. Tonight was supposed to be I a want showcase Chittini more than Magic my Card. black jackets. And what I witnessed, a complete meltdown. Fish dropped the ball. Meat dropped the ball. Garnish dropped the ball. Yesterday this is my I last Lepa Berry, man. I, I got to go buy more. I used 800 Lepa Berries. I'm not feeling that tonight. All of you come back to me with two nominees. Is that clear? Hey, yes, sir. I don't feel great about the mistakes that were made tonight. We are the Black Jacket crew for a reason. I know that a lot of us could do way better than this, so this was just uh, not a very good night for us. Good double. That was so awful. As far as fish, I know I had a Yeah, 800. Night. Automatically, I'm standing on my charges, period. <laughs> Every Lepa up, Berry gives me... Uh... I don't think I deserve to go home tonight, but I'm going up. You know, it's not me putting myself up. It's uh, the fact of the matter. Uh, I don't plan on going up there and just rolling every over. Every berry. I plan on fighting for myself. You know, one bad night doesn't doesn't make the chef. I use three leopard berries. What every, happened on garnish? I just was confused. And it tonight. gives me. I just, I just was confused tonight. Five it really pissed me off sense. this morning. Him calling me a sack. Yeah, I bet. It really, he's calling you out. Like... It really pissed me off. Like, why is he picking on me like that? So I would say, you know, haha. I hope you had fun last night. How you feeling, type? But I wouldn't say you look like a sack of It just is stuck with Why me all is day he fucking such a fucking a bitch about being trolled by like, Gordon? You're not the fucking thought I would stop be being a little whipping pussy, boy bro. Chef making fun of me in front of the whole team. <laughs> Chef Ramsay made fun of me in front of the whole team. Raw. I had a, a welly that dweeb. I sliced incorrectly and it looked like he literally calls everyone a fucking donut donkey life, idiot so. all the time. So I mean, if you're saying like, it's your first time cutting one, and I don't think you can use that as an excuse because you've seen it, you've seen it a hundred times. That's all. So like, my vote would have to be for you. I just really don't want to go home tonight. I've given so much to this competition. I fought so hard, I so hard, and to just have a service and drop nice the ball. Far. I'm going to say this again. I did not. So, have sexual relations with that woman. I'm never drinking again. I'm right. never drinking again. What? Hold on, I just did the math wrong.
Just thinking about the service. Trying to. Oh my god! These are such a ripoff. Black jacket teams first. Nominee and why? Chef, the first nomination from the black jacket team is Demir Chef for his performance wow. in the fish station tonight. He dropped the ball. I feel lucky times. that Nick's Ray gave Second me 800 leopard berries for free. I didn't know they cost that much. Second nominee, Chef, is Lee. Lee also dropped the ball on the meat station. This fair in the competition, you should know how to cut a Wellington. Lee, Demir, Salem King, forward. you want to make a leopard berry donation? <laughs> You two have performed envy. so well in this competition so far. I'm surprised to see both of you up here. Lee, why do you deserve to stay in Hell's what, Kitchen? What little head thing do you have? I deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen because I'm passionate, I'm strong, and I know it would make a great executive chef. I know this was my worst service so far in Hell's Kitchen, but I'm not done fighting. I'm Demir, broke. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen, young man? Uh, you know, every chef has my main account has mine. like this is my first tough 600k service, and a bunch more shit I, I need to sell. I feel as though I shouldn't leave Hell's Kitchen because I am your leader, chef. You never use them? Yeah. This is really hard. Cat ear headphones. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. <laughs> That's a funny Tonight's head item. Was shocking. Oh, I want the Majora's Mask. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. I would give you something better. The Fuck it, I'll take it. Young lady. Tough night. The lamb was undercooked. Sign. I want the cider cap. But I don't think I've ever come across a chef that got up to speed as fast as you have. If this is what you can do so early on in this industry, I can't wait to see what you're going to do in five years' time. Thank you, chef. Please pass me your jacket. Thank you so much, chef. You're doing a great job. Thank you well so done. much. Bye, guys. Good luck. I wasn't as confident in the beginning because I was the chef with the least experience. So you've only been cooking professionally for two years? About a year, chef. A year? Yes. Wow. I knew Hell's Kitchen would be challenging, but it definitely challenged me in ways I didn't expect. Some of the tad overcooked? No. Was the ice a bad idea? Very bad. <laughs> really? I gave every single They're day my all. She and laughed so hard at her. Comfort zone and I know I proved myself. That's beautiful. That, honestly, that's really impressive. The moisture retention in there? Nailed it. Thank you, Chef. It's making me moisture my retention. Time. Young lady, phenomenal dish. I'm so happy for you. I knew it! 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 As much as I want to stay here, I kind of want to go home. <laughs> Unfortunately, bad mental. I'm not done. I want to go. Demir. Jonathan was standing inches away from you. You needed to take advantage of him. When you need help, delegate. Please give me your jacket. Yes, chef. Listen carefully. You, young Dun -dun. man, have really impressed me. Wait, he's your going energy, off. your passion is evident. Yes, chef. But deep down inside, young man, you're not ready to become my head chef. Yeah, yes, I thought he was ready. You. Thank you. Stick with it, young man. Love y'all. Take it what easy. What the fuck, Love you, bro? For me, this was a life-changing experience. All the highs and lows, you know, it was transformational. I was oh, no I'm in Channel 4. Cook, but when it comes to pressure, everybody crumble. Why am I able to receive the remarks that I do? Because I keep my composure. I was able to exhibit who Demir was. I stayed Can we transpose him a little bit? To myself the entire competition. It's treasure doll. Fish is absolutely spot on. I think it's your best play. Hey, chef. Congratulations to me. Ooh, a salmon? You know, to take it as far as I did this competition against. So you got an extra salmon? By far not the end of my American dream. Just the beginning. A life orb salmon? That's not. That can't be extra. Yes, sir. Perfect IVs. Cut the. Something happened tonight. This morning upset me. Being called. You got an extra? There's no way. I know. 
Now, I can't control what you do in the dorms, but there needs to be a certain amount of composure. You had every right to let your hair down yesterday. But each and every day, when these lights on, customers sit down, we need to be on our game. Nothing personal. I know, Chef. I'm sorry. I'm I mean, I'll sorry. take it if you don't want I it. Will. I know why you're here. Yeah. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay, young man. Get some rest. Thank you. I don't have room in my party. When I become the next executive chef of Why do I need room in my party? He can call me a hot sec any day he wants. And uh, that's really how I hope things play out. I'm ready to get my hand on that door. All I have to do is just forget about what happened and move forward and push hard. He needs more experience. And Demir needs more finesse. Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Cheers, guys. Top me off. Ah, yes. Jonathan celebrated receiving his black jacket. I'm buzz right now. A bit too much. <laughs> Jonathan, you look like a sack of on a hot day this morning. <laughs> In the first individual black jacket challenge, the chef's presentation skills were tested. That's very Sexy kind of you really giving that away. 100 million followers to weigh in. I am so impressed. I'm gonna post these and we're going live. During tasting and a hundred K? Oh my god! Chop it raw and salmon. Thank you! But the rest of the chefs received high praise. It's a restaurant. Thank you so much. Visually it looks very attractive. I want to eat this right now. Resulting in a little salmon so I can get my own. But in the end, Chef Ramsey social Thank you so much. That was so nice of you, man. Well done. In the first black jacket dinner service. So kind, man. Thank you. Final six. I love Shaman. The entire evening. Jonathan lost his focus. Can you change its form? Harmon and Demir had problems with their proteins. That is undercooked, and that is raw. And Lee butchered the Wellingtons. Stop the orders, okay? I am not letting standards fly. I will take care of it. Can you change its form? After service, the chefs nominated. Demir, chef. To sky form. And on this very frustrating night, Chef Ramsey eliminated both Lee and Demir, chef. Ending their American dream of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay's house. With the luck of the shaman and the luck of the chat, I will get a shiny. Jonathan. Yes, sir. After elimination, Chef Reams. I'm gonna take that rip check now though. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna get some brownies. Being called a second. That's cool, Banter. I know. At least every day when customers sit down, we need to be on our game. I'm very sorry. Come back. I will. The butcher I knife, the same yeah. pal world. Or should I throw it on the auction house? Continuation of house. Let's see how much it's worth. You can't dwell on what happened in the past. You just have to continue to push. Oh my forward. God! It's worth Good. fucking 700k. Anything, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm just kidding. Fire. I just took it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna sell it. You said it's just banter, dude. When you get to the kitchen. But that's why I wish I had two accounts. Tomorrow's a new day. Salem King said he has 30 accounts. If you got even a couple extra shaman, you could sell them for a lot of money. I'm not selling it. I was just kidding. Don't worry. It's me and you out those doors. 100%. And I would love nothing more than to go into that finale. I cherish with my Ryan. gifts this that are given to me. Man. I still have a bunch of Pokemon people I've given to me over the years and like Sword and Shield, all the other games. Rise and shine. Let's go. Good morning. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning. You can't use a you can't it won't listen Welcome to you. And if you use a Pokemon above your level you. limit, it literally it kills itself in the battle. If you throw out a Pokemon that's above your current level cap, then the Pokemon will kill itself. Next individual challenge. When I say go, you'll race around the Grand Prix track. You've all got two minutes to grab your ingredients. One stop. You can get someone to give you AXP candies, and then you can have an easy time dealing with the levels the whole playthrough. Keep showing Chef Ramsay how consistent I am and make a badass dish and win this challenge. Today's winner will host your very own pop up event at EXP candies aren't even that much money. What are you? Night March! 49, baby. Another prime tonight and another huge fucking resub. 49 months of Twitch subscription. You should be thinking about the kind of coastal cuisine you would expect to see at an incredible.
incredible coastal resort. Get on the start line, please. The Sunseeker Resort Showcase, doing our own pop-up would be freaking phenomenal. Are we ready? Yes, sir. On your mark. Yes, Salem set. King, hit him with some XP go, candies. But make sure you don't go above the level cap. I think an XP like, candy can put you above the level card. cap. Maybe not though. I think I might have ran over a couple of feet, but it tells you I what how many levels much. you'll get when you use like an XP candy L or XL. It'll say like how many levels you're gonna get. So just don't go over your level cap. And then you can't use that guy till you beat a gym. I found my Peruvian pepper paste, and I'm thrilled. I'm excited about these ingredients, and I'm ready to bring it to life. Oh, nice. Your username is Frisco, but your name in the game is Hello Frisco. Oh, did you make an account? That's your account name? I'm trying to get these corners so tight, but this racetrack is so slippery. On my way. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Jonathan. Get off the road. I'm trying to win here. Let's go. 75 seconds left. Ryan, let's go. Come yeah, giving on. him a low go. level. He wants to give you a low level Pokemon with good IVs and good EVs. You buy them from the global trade place at the computer. 45 seconds to go. Jonathan, let's go. I'm on my third lap, and what I need is a beautiful protein. I got Florida on my mind. I got this pop-up on my mind. So immediately when I see that Mahi Mahi... Type in EXP Candy L, in like in Sword and Shield or whatever. Or Two Scarlet weeks. and Violet. 15 seconds to go. 15 seconds. 10. 9. <laughs> Sammy, come on. 6. 5. 4. I think I'm good. 3. Yeah. 2. 1. And stop. Oh my goodness me. Well done. Night March is an OG. Now, all of you have got 45 minutes to create a stunning dish. And your 45 minutes starts. Wait, wait, wait. Put the basket down. Tra Two trading seconds. doesn't cost oh, anything. No. Carmen. Yes, Chef. See the HK logo there? Yes, Can you just chef. pull that up, please? Just lift it up. It's got Jonathan on there. How weird is that? Oh. That's right. You were not shopping for yourselves. Damn. I don't think it did. You were shopping for one another. I'm pissed off. You know, I found my Peruvian I just accepted 100K and, and a level 100 easy. Shaman for free. Sammy, in a trade. just come around to the side of your car? Ryan, <clears throat> lo and behold, Hell's Kitchen, I don't get to use my ingredients. So now I have to come up with a dish on the flight with ingredients that I didn't choose. Jonathan. An oh, OU competition silly. has just begun. Everything that I thought that I was going to do, like, nah. An XP uh, candy is like 5k. Swap places behind the right car. Enjoy that ají amarillo, okay? This is Hell's Kitchen. I need to see how do you adapt under pressure. Understood? Yes, sir. Your 45 minutes starts. Thank you so much, Treasure Doll. AKA Salem King. Careful, careful. Plot twist, huh? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Didn't see that coming. I had such a beautiful plan for this Mahi Mahi. I had the dish conceptualized in my mind. Jonathan Kraft, sweet potato limes. What are you thinking? I'm thinking uh, an Aki Amarillo sweet potato puree. Yep. I want to go with a crab cake. And now I have this Peruvian from Florida, all her ingredients that I don't usually use. You enjoying my Aki? I'll make you proud, I promise. It is liquid gold. I like gold. I don't know what you were thinking, Carmen. You gotta but play the story to get I'm some money. It, and it's a great place. I'm going to Florida for the pop up. Just over 25 minutes left. Perfect. Not a fan of them. Just Ryan old sucks fossil. At grocery shopping. I'm sure his wife does all the shopping at home. Clearly, because you can these add me on that account too if you want. To if you use it frequently. I don't know what to do. This is supposed to be a tropical beach challenge and you know he's got this soy sauce in this like heavy yuzu koshu so i am feeling a little bit thrown off my game right now i'm just gonna pan sear it to get it nice and okay crispy i live in miami so i'm just kind of following my gut here because i really want to highlight tropical flavors today don't squeeze all the juice out of that welcome yeah. to miami 16, 16. 16. 16 minutes to go per 16 i am definitely upset 
that I have Jonathan's dish now because nothing is screaming tropical to me. Don't know what I'm about to do with that yet. This is such French landlocked ingredients. You cooked Mahi before? Yes. I'm so happy that at least Jonathan got mahi-mahi because that is a popular fish in Florida. So I'm ready to make something super beautiful and yummy out of it. Ryan, you good? Yep, I'm good. I saw your face when you got the swap. Because I really had a good idea in mind. You could be able to cook what's in front of you. Yes, chef. Not show your poker face. I'm feeling okay. These ingredients, I know that they can work. Ba, 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 poker face. Swordfish with a grilled pineapple and lemongrass scented rice. Got to watch my seasoning this time on the sword. I only got a long time legends left. My arch nemesis after the uh, grill challenge. The sauce on the fish is a little overpowering. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a little too salty. I don't really get many new people anymore. Past, you know, just put my heart and soul into this dish. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Good, Jonathan. Yes, chef. Come on, Which is quickly. fucked up. I cut the fish in half. Lo and behold, it's undercooked and I need to get this cooked quick. So I cut it in four, do, back up the grill. Do, 20 seconds do, to go. Do, Come on, Brian. Do. Time is ticking, and I just hope that the fish is cooked. I like, Ten, I want the OT decks also. Nine. Let's go, Ryan. You gotta yes, get sir. on the plate. Come on, buddy. Ten. Nine. Let's go, Ryan. You gotta yes, get sir. on the plate. Come on, buddy. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and serve, Ryan. Let's go. Now, listen carefully. This is how it's going to work. I'll taste your dish. First person will go and sit in that chair. That's called pole position. When the second dish will come up, if that dish is better, they will knock you out of the pole position. The chef who is in pole position after all four dishes have been tasted. He wants to give you Pokemon so you can speed through the story. He's Sammy, helping let's you. Go. I'm really happy with the way that my dish turned out. Thank you. I brought out as much tropical flavors as I could. So this is grilled mahi mahi with a charred pickled corn salad with a tangerine. For you don't have to fucking keep them forever. This is delicious. Thank it's you, fragrant. Chef. It's zesty. And it's everything you want sitting on that beach in Florida. Thank you, chef. Young lady, you are in pole position. Take your dish and sit down. Thank you, Chef. Having your own pop-up and having Chef Ramsay's name behind yours. Well done. I want it so badly. Up next, Ryan, let's go. Well, you can't get money because you can't Excellent. fucking play the story. Or you don't so want to play the story. I have uh, lemongrass and lime sent to jasmine rice with grilled swordfish. So take his Pokemon and, and earn money and then use the candy the on your so own I Pokemon. To make sure that I got the seasoning right this time. Sammy, you comfortable there? Yes, Chef. Well, young lady, you get to stay there. That is desperate, desperately needing salt. Yes, chef. You have to taste everything before it goes on that plate. Yes, chef. It's a tough fish to get right. Thank you, right. Thank you, chef. I can't believe that it's happening again. Groundhog Day, one was under season, then the other one was over season. Swordfish, two. Rhino Sullivan, zero. Up next, Carmen, let's go. Yeah, chef. You can get Pokemon really mailed to you. Sammy's on the throne, and I'm just You just go to a PC to take the mail. Girl. I'll be there soon. I made a pan-seared flounder with bok choy and a papaya mint salsa. Wow, that's a beautiful sear on that. Thank you, chef. That's good. Thank you. But is it good enough to take pole position? Congratulations, pole position. Well Thank done. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Sammy, jump down. Sammy, instantly Move over, knocked Sammy. out. It's my turn. I get to sit on the throne. Comfy there? I'm not getting up. Okay, young man, let's go. Yes, chef. There's absolutely no way that that flounder could be my crab cake. It's gonna take me to Florida. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's a, it's a computer so game, yes, so chef. you have uh, crab cake. It's got a bunch of menu things like an MMORPG. Base. What's the bind on the crab cake? <coughs> Just uh, little herbs, breadcrumbs, and a splash of cream. It's got a lot more key binding cake. options. Crab it's got a lot of little menus thing, in the bottom right. This is really tough. Carlos Flander is exceptional. Your crab cake is exceptional. <laughs> Sitting in pole position. Congratulations goes to Jonathan. Well done. Thank you, chef. Well Thank done. You. Carmen, please. Good job. Thank wow. you. Thank you. I feel amazing. Don't call it a comeback. This is as Oh no, my fucking headset needs to charge. You're going to be hosting but my computer my blue that's screen that's if I unplug my DS capture before. card. You guys ready for this more. moment? No way. This could fucking ruin my whole big. stream right Not now. Are you guys ready? Jonathan host a special pop-up event 
but they'll also win Moment two of truth. round trip tickets at a beautiful two nights. If I blue screen, my everything's gonna piss me off. Saxon, we're going to Florida, baby. Looks like we're and good. No blue screen. Reward. I'm sending you on an epic adventure. Oh, what? On jet skis. The first rule of boating safety is what? Put your sunscreen on? No, no. Never He's probably giving alone. you Pokemon with good IVs, which are really hard to get in this game. So take his Pokemon, play the story, get some money, buy some candies, and then fucking get your own Pokemon. We gotta go. Sunscreen on, head up to dorm. Good Thank you. Thank you. Be safe. Yes. My game is lagging. Johnny, my boy, and winning it for the both of us. Semi and Carmen, I'm afraid, we need yogurt. For that beautiful beet salad, we need yogurt. which means you'll be cracking open fresh coconuts. Separate the juice, the meat. Yes, yes chef. chef. Be careful. Those coconuts are tough. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Always a runner-up, never a winner. Big surprise. Carmen, so close. Yeah. We'll get him next time. We are going to make coconut milk, so take the mallet. OK, start banging yep. it. I have not cracked these kinds of coconuts before, but I see them a lot in Miami. Ah, this sucker sucks. Usually it's with a giant machete, which maybe it's a good thing that we don't up, have around us today. Peeks. Chef, don't f***ing drown, huh? We won't. Oh, God. Yeah, Avoid the sharks. Off. You're not ready just for today. Just rip-checking right now. Oh. Watch your face. I'm slamming these coconuts just like I'm about to slam dinner service tonight, so Jonathan, you should be afraid. After you, sir. Sussy? See you later, you losers. Hey, Mark, did you see the new emote? Damn. Oh, I'm so sick. Nice one. Look at this. <laughs> the jet skis are outrageous. Yeah! Hell yeah! My adrenaline is off the charts. These are so fast. I can't imagine spinning this with anyone else what other than What Pokemon me. did you get, Frisco? <laughs> this jet skiing is the best thing that I've ever done in my life, hands down. And I get to do it with Johnny. Now, Jonathan and Ryan enjoy the sea dudes. The girls just match coconuts. While Jonathan and Ryan enjoy the sea Are they too high dudes, level? What, how many badges do you have coconuts. in that region? I thought he only. I thought he gave you low level. Like cocky. I wasn't that like impressed with their dinner service. No. I didn't see anything that I was like, wow, like, I can't do what they're doing. You know. I'm not calling myself the underdog of the black. I've never heard of anymore. that issue. It just made me realize that like I do belong here. I do belong here. I'm in the top four right now, and I'm competing against the best of the best, and I am one of Probably those need people. Probably need room in your I'm in this competition with anyone from the red team. I'm glad to see you. I know, girl. We're the last two women <laughs> <I> standing. <know. laughs> You shouldn't have done this, Ryan. You're so Aww. sweet. Ryan and I got our first date. Mandate. Oh, let me help you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We really got to spend some Broke time back just with us. This is our first date, right? First, but not our last, Johnny. Well, the finish line is almost there, and we both know it. So it just feels really good to spend this with Ryan. So what do you think is going to happen tonight? I think we're going to crush service and get our hands on those doors. I plan on standing at the doors, looking at you, your hand on one handle, mine on the other. All right, my door opens. Yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I mean, I need a dishwasher, so we're in the top four right now, and to be going on an award, you know, it might be our last one. Who knows? So, um, yeah, okay, I'm herpes. really, really happy and uh, thrilled that I got to go with Johnny today. Are you going to pay for this date or what? <laughs> so what part of the coconut is considered the nut? It is the nut. <laughs> She's a fucking wow. airhead. You guys save me some coconut water? I'm really thirsty from being in the sun. Hands down, best reward. It was insane. Those were sick, hands down. It went at least 60 miles an hour. I knew it would be amazing. You guys deserve it. Good. <laughs> the boys, huh? Yeah, bro. What region are you doing first, oh. Frisco? I'm pure poker face. Let them have it. All of you coming up. Lead, yes, show me you've got the head chef potential. Yes, yes, chef. The final four face their toughest test yet. You are the last line of defense, yes? Yes, chef. Taking okay. turns, running the pass. Will they spot When am I going to get this fucking shiny, bro? If we trust him, 
and yes, that happens sir. and will one chef's power trip push the black jackets too far ryan take the lobster back they're cooked chef no they are not let's go push it Jodo is a fast region if you bum rush through the team rocket shit and skip all the team rocket trainers that you can see chef open house kitchen please let's go and there's a lot of skippable trainers in general but this game made trainers harder and better to grind. So I mean. as the dining room fills up with guests, anxious for a memorable meal prepared by Chef Ramsay's final four. I'll do the New York strip. Truffle carbonara. I'll have the rack of lamb. Among them, individuals who have achieved their American dream. <gasps> the four black jacket chefs will face their most critical test yet. All of you, lead. Yes. Show me you've got the head chef potential, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. They will each take a turn running the pass. Green and hell. During their turn, it's chef Sean Evans from Hot Ones. To detail while Chef Christina covers their stations. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah, probably set up. And the first chef to run the pass this evening is. Come on, good luck. You're running the hot plate, yes? Yes, chef. Prior to this competition, they got they ran out of real class, celebrities, so they got a focused, fucking YouTuber. Stay really loud. Smash it, let's go. Thank you, chef. Order on. Someone's probably going home tonight, so I know Bruh. I'm not gonna let that be me, no matter what happens. Walking in order: two scallops, one carbonara, one risotto. All hands. Seven minutes, carbonara, risotto, two minutes, scallops. Her. I know that he wants to see someone that is confident and strong and uses their voice, and I am all of those things. So if he wants me to bring it, I'm gonna How bring it. Come on, shiny. It's gonna be three minutes, Chef. Scallops should be dropping soon, yes? Scallops are dropped. Heard. For Carmen's first attention to detail test, Chef Christina has switched out the butternut squash puree for carrot. So you do the two scallops. Put your puree on there, five each. Scallop garnish, please. Right, you got the Ace that. Puree. Look at me. Yes, chef. Well spotted. I realize that it's carrot instead of butternut squash because of the color. It's much darker. Uh, this yeah. is carrot puree, chef. Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank, Thank you. you. I was really proud that I caught that first one right away. You do the scallops, yes, okay. and I will do the carbonara risotto, yes. Nice. That's a nice chicorita. Next test. Walking risotto and carbonara. Let's go. Thank you. Chef Ramsay is switching Ryan's carbonara with popper deli noodles. Plate your carbonara. Let's go. This pasta's wrong. I need the right noodle, please. Herda? Hurry, please. Right. Well spotted the Papa Deli, okay? Thank you. I'm feeling really good. You know, I'm catching these little attention to detail items that are really important. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> With her first two sabotages caught, Carmen is now sending out appetizers. Oh, the texture of the rice is unbelievable. Oh, come on. To some very happy diners. That's delicious. I have a ticket for you, but to four. Okay, thank you. Unbeknownst to Carmen, Chikrita okay. is she dog is shit, but that's still sabotage. a nice one. Marino has written the wrong number of entrees on Just the ticket. Just not offensive. It's a big fat it, tank Pokemon. Thank you. How long? Seven minutes out. Entree one hundred one seven one lamb. One two three. Yes, Chef. We're missing an entree. Get him over here. Come on. Got a spot there. Look out for everything. Let's Marino, go. Marino, I'm yeah. missing an entree. It's a table of four. There's only three entrees. Gotcha. Please. Oh, right. Thank you. I missed this one mistake, but I'm not going to let it stop me from killing it during the rest of the Magic service. Magic You need eyes everywhere. Yes, Chef. You have to be super quick here, yes? Good job. Thank well you. done. Thank you, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Was it a perfect run on the pass? No, but I think it was a good start, and I hope that I showed that to Chef Ramsey. Ryan. Hand it over. You're running the hot plate, seven. yes? Earth. You're running the hot Get plate. Me up there or let me lead. Get me on the pass. You are the last line of defense, yes? Yes, chef. Let's go. I have practiced calling out tickets for this moment. Okay, walking in. We're going to go two Rizzo, one Carbonara, one Scallops. Yeah. Thank you. How long? Seven minutes. Ryan is really good. We are straight to the point. Make sure they're perfect, okay? Taste, taste, taste. Season everything. Yes, chef. He's definitely off to a great start. Walking two lobster tail, two scallops now. Right. Scallops, lobster tail. Two Rizzo. For Ryan's first attention to detail test. Dunnikin is here. dope. Yeah, I don't have that one. Two Rizzo. Walking right now. Right. Chef Ramsay has replaced the arboreal rice in the risotto with orzo instead. Play the risotto. Let's go. Drop the post. That's not risotto, chef. That's, uh, that's orzo, chef. Look at me. Put the pan down. Well spotted. Yes. 
this is my <laughs> situation to be in. And if I pull this off, then I'm going to skyrocket myself into the top three. Beautiful, thank you very much. Then so that might be worth... Put that apron on me. It I'm might be beast. worth nothing. Chef Ryan, I have two table of two for you, okay? Two Just look, you gotta look up. I gotta look up how much it's going for. Hand. Marino is up to his old tricks again. He's giving Ryan the wrong number of entrees. Hey! Marino! Marino! Four people on the Marino. Table. Okay, yes, thank you. Marino, better luck next time, kid. Eyes everywhere. Yes, well chef. Done. You can't kill my back and tell me it's raining. You gotta be up early in the morning to catch me. Too early, too strip, too halibut. How long? I'm ready to walk. No, the tug of the egg is worth it. I'm looking out for everything. There's nothing going to be a pass. Sell it either. I'll finish that. You slice this strip. Carmen! Come here, please. It's over an hour into dinner service, and the Black Jacket chefs are taking turns running the pass. Carmen! Come here, please. Chef, these are overcooked, yeah? Well, I need medium rare. These are way over, yeah? Refired, yes. Refired. I look over, she doesn't even have any chips in the pan, no backups. How long do we need on this refire? I need to know immediately. I need seven minutes, including rest time, chef. You can do it in six, you know you can, yeah? Make it happen. Carmen's just all over the place right now, and she seems flustered, and she seems like she can't catch up. Whilst you're running the not play, Carmen. you still need to run your station. Yes, yes chef. And there's a feud who's not running your station. Yes, but chef. pick it up now, yes? yes, yes chef. I'm on the meat station alone tonight, and it is one of the more challenging stations. Strip is ready to walk. Go ahead and take him. Thank yeah. you. I'm walking strip. Heard that walking strip. We're the top four best of the best in this competition, and any little mistake can send you home. Nicely cooked. Much better. That's the refire. Let's go. Thank you. Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> this sauce is unbelievable. Well done. Okay, well done. Wipe down the hot plate. Yes, chef. Hey, and more importantly, you kept the standards up, okay? Yes, chef. I feel right at home here. I'm 110% fit to be Chef Ramsay's head chef. Right, Jonathan, let's go. Yes, chef. Everything's at stake right now at dinner service. The door, the finale. Uh, hey, guys, uh, 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 uh. One scallop. Andres, Ooh, one come cinnamon, on, baby. One Wellington, one lamb. Where are you at, shiny? On the carbonara scallop. Five minutes, chef. Five minutes, thank you. Nice and clear that order. Hey, really good. Don't let you guard down in front of your brigade. Yes, okay? chef. Let's go. Yes, chef. I feel dialed in. Nothing is going to get past me. It's my job to protect this food and the pass, and that's what I'm going to do. How long for the two carbonara, one scallop? Three minutes out, chef. Carmen, put yes. the Wellington in first. I already have. I have him in the Wellington. Okay, yep. you have, have enough? Have okay. Yep. Johnny's doing very good so far. He's coming back, being vocal. He's locking eyes with everybody. You know, he wants to pass his job, so I mean, this shouldn't be any different. Goto's great. Walking carbonara. Okay, carbonara heard. So, do the job. Just get a first. sense yes, right. It's the same. It does first the same task. thing. Carbonara on your right, chef. A carbonara with fava beans instead of peas is around the corner. I'll finish that. You do the carbonara. Yes, sir. Check the seasoning, yes? Yes, sir. I don't even need to put my spoon in and taste it. Baba beans. Well spotted. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, give me a shiny. The carbonara. It's amazing. How long? Two salmon, two strip? Three minutes, chef. Three, Three minutes. minutes. For Jonathan's next test, Chef Ramsey has switched out Sammy's salmon for Arctic char. Dress the salmon? Yes, yes. sir. And I'm dressed for the steak. Yes, sir. Let's go. Gently, gently, gently. Service. So, bring yes, them sir. down. Bring them down. Yes, bring them down. Are you happy with that? I don't want to take this off. Maybe. Look at the fish. Look at the fish. Wrong fish. It's Arctic char. Yeah. Ooh, tough one. Arctic char. You know, I didn't see that coming. Arctic char and salmon are pretty close. But the important part is, is picking it up and bouncing back. Look at me. Don't drop your head. Yes, sir. Eyes everywhere. Yes, sir. Understand? Yes, sir. I'm going to make sure this is my only mistake. Service, please. Go. One Wellington, one lamb. How long? Welly and lamb walking. Right on your left, chef. You can just get a centra. For Jonathan's final test, Chef Ramsay is switching the rack of lamb with a rack of venison. Put the lamb if you cut. That doesn't look careful. like lamb, chef. That's not lamb. What is that? I don't know, but I cooked the lamb, and that is not lamb. <laughs> Dinosaur meat. I know that that's not lamb. Well spotted. Thank you, chef. That's venison. Venison. Finish the Wellington. Yes, chef. Young man, well caught. Saxon. Come on, shiny. I, it's stiff as a rock to hear Chef Ramsay say, "Good catch, young man." 
Go You're stiff as a rock, bro. I am just over the moon, so excited. Bro, I can't even explain it. Ryan, take over the fish, please. Yes, chef. Sammy, you're running the hot plate. Let's go. Yes, chef. Head chef. I'm sure it Head does. Head chef. Hell's Kitchen, Vegas. We are fighting for this. I am winning this. There is no way I'm being sent home tonight. You're the head chef. Yes, chef. You run this place. Good luck. Let's go. Cut yours. strength, chef rock Sammy. smash, yes, and I rock climb. I'm absolutely channeling Chef Ramsay right now. I'm going to show him that I can be just like him. I am all business tonight. Order in. I got a four He's bricked two up. Scallops, two risotto. How long? Two scallops. Where's that sound from? Seven coming? minutes. Seven minutes, just got to risotto. Nice, strong, punchy, and they got it. Yes, chef. Let's go. I have never felt this secure and confident. How long am I two lobster tails? 30 seconds, chef. And it feels amazing. Tails on your right, chef. Thank you. These lobster tails are a little over. Yeah, that's overcooked. Ryan, these lobster tails are overcooked. I need two more. Yes, chef. Coming right up. Where's my daughter? My standard yeah, tonight back. is going to be extremely high. I want perfection. I go, chef. No, they're under. Ryan, take the lobster back. They're cooked, chef. No, they are not. It's 90 minutes into dinner service, and Sammy is the last chef to run the pass. Ryan, take the lobster back. They're cooked, chef. No, they are not. Come on, guys. But Ryan's issues with the lobster tails has slowed down the service. Right, Ryan. I'm Dying now. I want the lobster. Yes, chef. Let's go. If I don't get this food out right now, I'm definitely gonna go down, but that's not going to happen on my watch. Push it. Okay, Ryan, let's walk. Let's walking, walk. Walking, walking. Do Rizzo. Come down. Two tension. Get a grip, Thank young you. man. They feel good, chef. A lot better. Yes, chef. Go. Ryan's lobster finally meets Chef Sammy's approval Thank and makes its way out to eager diners. Right, this is fire. Right? And is getting rave reviews. Oh, man, this is killer. This is so good. Entrees fire, two halibut, two lamb. How long? Two lamb, two halibut. Three minutes. Right. Lamb garnish, please. To test Sammy. Lamb garnish coming. Chef Christina has served arugula instead of spinach. Sorry, carrot top, carrot top. Chef, this is arugula. Well spotted. Christina, finish, please. This is arugula. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm speaking up. I'm using my voice, making sure that everything is going out perfectly. First sabotage. Eyes wide open. Yes, well chef. done. Feeling good that I caught this mistake for sure. Last table, guys. Chef Halibut on your right. For Sammy's final test, Chef Ramsay has replaced the halibut with Chilean sea bass. Put the halibut on the plate, quick. Yes, chef. Ryan, nice cook on the halibut. Yes, touch that. You think this is a little under? No, touch it again. Why is that? No. Is it sea bass? That is bass, exactly that. Come on, come on, okay. take it off. Oh my god. Um, I'm touching the fish and it seems perfect, so I'm just like not even thinking twice about it. Definitely feeling a little disappointed that I didn't catch this. Right, look at me. Well done. Last line of defense. Yes. Now you know what it feels like when you let down by your I got a feeling. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit Let's defeated right now, but Let's overall, I feel like I did really well tonight. Service, please. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wow, Let's you. do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. So good. Well done, all four of you. Let's now listen carefully. I want all of you let's to go back to the door let's do and have a really do deep let's discussion do and do convince it. your fellow chefs why you deserve to move on in this competition. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. Off you go. Thank you, chef. Obviously, we can sit here all in, talk about how hard we've worked and you know what we've sacrificed to be in this industry. Good job tonight, guys. Yeah, good job. Well, you know, I feel like I am the epitome of the American dream. I came here with pennies in my pocket and I've worked, you know, my absolute bollocks off to be where I am today. We all worked hard to be here. 10, 15 years that we've all been grafting in kitchens to get here. One year. <laughs> I'm also fighting for that American dream and, you know, the past year and a half has been the biggest struggle of my life. I started my own business out of my car when I got laid off from my corporate job. Came right into this industry full throttle and a year and some change later, I ended up here and that's for a reason because I've been busting my ass. Everything that I have sacrificed for myself, my family, and all the sacrifices that they've made for me as well. It's led me to this Why'd point, so I don't want anything to stop me from getting there. My American dream, it's not even mine at this point. It's like Saxon's American dream, and you, you guys all see that. I talk about Saxon and all the time. I came in here with my American dream, thinking everything was gonna be, you know, about me, and it is absolutely not. It is her American dream now. 
cooking and sacrificing, you know, her birthdays. That's hard too. I know you guys all make sacrifices. Couldn't see my family for four years over me, yeah. me being on a visa and then COVID happened. So I couldn't see anybody for yeah. four years. Yeah. That was tough. Like I almost went home. But when my dad told me, he was like, there's a reason that you got the visa. My dad's a chef. And when my dad was 23, he won the green card lottery to come to America. A month later, my mother fell pregnant with me, so my dad had to cancel his, his American dream. Wow. His dream was to work for Gordon Ramsay. Your dad? The fact I'm doing this is for the both of us. This one's for you, Dad. I'm definitely doing this for my dad, too. Yeah. I haven't really opened up about it, but my dad was, like, my number one supporter. Always. Oh, my dad yeah, suffered from a pretty major stroke, like, two years ago, and I've been taking care of my dad by myself for like the past two years you know taking him to like doctor's appointments and stuff all the body time while, like, trying day, to balance, like, full -time body job every I just day know he's so proud to see me here i think that's why the four of us another account from the legend salem king american dream in, in each of our own different ways you know in, in a very big way yeah we're all fighters fighters stay so We started way back with 18 chefs, and now I'm down to you, final four. This is so crazy. Damn. You've all shown immense talent. However, tonight only three of you will be advancing. I wish I had some beers. Sammy, why do you deserve a spot in the final three? I'm very proud with everything that I've done in this competition. I've become a better leader, better communicator. I just want to learn from you so much and be your next head chef. Carmen. All of the hardships in my life have led me to this exact moment. I'm not lucky, I'm resilient. I want a job and it's to be your next head chef and I'm not leaving until I get that. Jonathan. You know, I talk about destiny a lot, but I feel like I'm right where I should be, chef. And I'm really proud of myself as a father and a chef. There's no one else in this room who wants it more than I do. Ryan, young man. Why do you think you deserve a spot in the final three? I came here with nothing in my pocket but just a dream. You know, I still have that hunger, that desire to be your next head chef. And the furnace inside my stomach, not all the water in the ocean could put out, chef. This is tough, but I have made my decision. The first chef advancing I I had... to the final three is... Congratulations, Ryan. Ryan. Young man, when you took your turn at the pass tonight, it certainly did not feel like it was your first time. You were in control. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. I will not let you down. The next chef advancing to the final three is... Jonathan. Oh, shit. Young man, you led with authority throughout this competition. You've been one of the most consistent chefs ever. Thank you, chef. Sammy and Carmen, only one of you will be joining in the final three. The final person advancing to the final three is... Sammy and Carmen, only one of you will be joining the final three. The final person advancing to the final three is... Sammy. Sammy! Across this entire journey, <clears throat> you have been unflappable. Sorry. This is just everything that I want. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Carmen, come over here a minute. You lose, Carmen. You have 
bucket loads of creativity and you have tremendous passion. When your experience catches up with everything else you've got, you have the total package. Yes, chef. Further down the line, my door is open. Reach out. I will, for sure. Promise? I do. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. It's really changed my life. I do not want your jacket. Thank you, chef. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Good job. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Good job. Good night. Part of me feels like I didn't lose today. I've grown a lot throughout this competition. If you could go back and give yourself one piece of advice when you first started, what would it be? I'd travel more. Coming into this competition, I felt the need to prove myself. The ducks cook beautifully. You have done nah, your I keep that proven shit. heritage <laughs> proud. I am new and fresh in this industry. I feel like I'm trying to unclog a toilet. So there were a lot of obstacles coming into this competition. It's called Hell's Kitchen for a reason. How long? We should be down to two, two and a half. Should it be down? Maybe two and a half. Yes. Should we go shopping? Should we go nails? Don't drive it. I don't chef. expect it from you. Yes, I want chef. it better, yes? Yes, chef. It's been so many high highs and really low lows. <laughs> oh, my God! Enjoy. I missed one egg at the end, and I'm sorry, OK? But what about that raw chicken? It just doesn't feel right anymore. Being knocked down so many times yeah. and just bouncing back. I definitely have a thicker skin, and you know, I believe in myself. I've made it this far for a reason. Land is beautiful. Thank you, Chef. Wellington's beautiful. Nice job, Carmen. Being able to cook with Chef Ramsey, those are moments that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Congratulations, Carmen. What's up? We got black jackets for a reason, and we deserve it, so let them underestimate us. Yeah. I'm walking out of here a better chef and a better person, and I'm proud of myself for making it this far, this early in my career path, and I know that there's a lot more to come for me. Now, you are all going to compete in one more final challenge. That challenge will determine which two of you I'm not sure. to the finale of Hell's Kitchen. It doesn't now, go up very fast. It only goes up a couple levels every and day. Enjoy it. Every day. Because, gym. my God deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Thank chef. you. Mom and Dad, your boy made it. The American dream. I told you. One dish at a time, one day at a time. Wait till Just you see go me in kill the Bugsy. Now. You can look at your current level cap by looking at your trainer card. I am so determined to get my hand on that door. Going forward, I have to kick it into a new gear I've never even been in. It's time to put my war paint on as I'm going through that door. Go fuck him up. Yeah! Finally some Previously on Hell's yes. but in a surprise turn of events. You were oh my God. Carmen. When Celebrate the moment. Head into the dorm, put your feet up and relax. Thank you, I chef. Thank you so Thank much, you. chef. Congratulations. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed <laughs> with emotions. Top three! It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I'm speechless. Like, I really can't. It hasn't sunk in yet. What is he doing? <laughs> yes! I was really so nervous that I wasn't going to be picked in the top three, and I am just so ecstatic right now. The I'm fuck so was he doing, so bro? Happy. And I'm just so proud of him. He was like... Top three! It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I'm speechless. Like, I really can't. It hasn't sunk in yet. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? He was like, so nervous that <laughs> he was like I wasn't going to fucking like. <laughs> I am just cutting whatever so that thing is I'm like a fucking so emotional. I'm so dummy. Happy, <laughs> and I'm just fuck so proud of myself. That? Things work out the way they should be. And I keep, I hate using the word what destiny, but we are all right where we should be. He keeps saying There's it, dude. He keeps saying destiny. Go fucking play so destiny, nerd. determined to get my hand on that door. And I'm putting Saxon on my back and we're going to the finish line. Listen, guys, when I get to Vegas, I need a dishwasher. And you guys are at the top, <laughs> the top of my list. <laughs> That other guy said that to him. He stole his fucking joke. What an idiot. Oh, nice. He smelled good. He smells so good. Who's that? I want to ask him what his aftershave is. It's my own line, young man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love him when he calls us young man. Me too. 
Hello, this is Jonathan. Jonathan, the chef. I need to see all three of you in the dining room, please. Okay, chef, right away. Let's go. Yes, chef. Dining room. <laughs> it does the name. I don't know if I can handle anything else right now, dude. Oh my gosh, what does this mean right now? I have no idea. It could be a challenge. I mean, it Your is Pokemon like a night, cannot you level past that level in battle. All three of you so now need to design a menu. Worry. Each and of it you banks the experience you would a get. Sous chef for your final challenge. There are three of you, so we need three sous chefs. I call in a favor to one of my dear friends, the amazing chef Jonathan Scallion. He finished John Scallion. Eleven. That's my boy. Dude, that's my boy. I worked with him for. Managed to nail it. I can't believe he's in the season, dude. The winning dish belongs to John. I gotta talk okay, to him. One of my executive chefs for Gordon Ramsay North America at the corporate side. Now, Chef Christina, Chef Jason, and Chef John Scallion. I'm going to talk to I'm gonna send him a message a later. In a moment, I'm literally gonna send him a message. Step up, a text. Press the button, and the monitor will begin to spin, and that will reveal the place where your sous chef awaits. Right, Ryan, step up first. Hit that button. Let's see where you're going. You are heading. To the patio. Yes, chef. Sammy, your turn. The office. Right. Okay, Jonathan. Yes, chef. No need for you to spin. No, no, chef. Ace worked it's with him too. Okay. Your sous chef away. No, no, okay, this thank season. You, chef. I know. Of course, I obviously. Yeah, hey, hey, what's up? He's on this season Morning. working with this guy. I'm Look, so happy that this I got is chef brand new. This came out like two feeling, months right? ago. Oh, or, oh, my God. This came it's out insane. and this en this season ended like in February. I have no idea who we are to each other, so it's a complete blank canvas, and I think that's the best way to start off. I need to relationship. Yo, Papa and Jeff was good. Hey, I'm here to work. It's for a job. This is a job opportunity. It's a job interview. I've Ace wor worked with them too. Yes. 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 Me too. Congratulations. Thank you. I open the door and I see Parted Chef in Zach's Christina. basement. Oh my God! Thank God I'm with her right now. I'm so happy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I would not want to be doing this tasting menu with anyone else but her. Let's go! I open the doors and I see that blue hair. I need the hair. Thank you, bro. I I'm so happy to have you. He's been my greatest mentor. Let's uh, get down to business. And creatively, he respects me. I did not me. know he I was on this newest new shit. This is like All brand right, new. So your menu, you've had pokey, yes. It's like my signature dish. I'm hyped that your your signature dish is pokey. So ahi tuna, right? Yes. This reminds me of like my mom. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go get pokey. Yeah. I He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. To, yeah. Like, <laughs> my mom and family <laughs> yeah. and the way they the edited that conversation was hilarious. I want to food plated sexy. You know right. how I do yeah, it. Yeah, totally. All of this is like, <laughs> He's like, yeah, my totally. My mom would order. I would order this in two seconds. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's one dish to me that's Mr. really close Blue to my hair. Because it was the first dish that my dad taught me how to make. Yeah. And he's a chef. It's just a straight up chicken and black truffle and mushroom volivant. Damn, oh, John's okay. looking good. I can go a, a lot of ways with this, but I mean, I just, I want this to be classy. Right. But I also want it to show who I am and what I'm about and you know where I've come from. I feel like you know I can see the dishes, I can see the menu. It's me coming from Ireland where food isn't that great and you know turning the, the dishes that I grew up eating into something phenomenal that everybody can enjoy. Yeah, so you definitely got some heart going into all of this. Every single thing that I'm thinking about, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing for. To be honest, I think that's that is what it takes here. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to do a hamachi sashimi. Okay. With. I was thinking like a tomato water yuzu koshu kind of dressing with it. I kind of want to do a kind of California, Asian, French kind of flair with my menu. Do something like maybe blood orange and okay. radish. Me being French classically trained, I am just really wanting to tie those two together. And I feel like I'm French the classically American trained. And doing different <laughs> fusion dishes has really inspired me. These things need to like be it's impactful so as soon as they get in front of chef, right? right. I wanted to showcase like the pot of food for what it is. You know, again, I don't come from a lot of money. It's just a lot of vegetables and eat in a pot, and we all ate from it. Yeah. Mushroom wise, <laughs> Trump yeah. would they be nice? You know, and have have one beautiful one. Yeah. You know, across the top, like nice, right across the top, nice, with a nice little nice hash, and that's what you put. But it's a crown, the king. Yeah. Funny because I just wrote this on top, royal. This is like the theme of your your, your yeah. whole thing, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is. And it's so funny because you know what my name means in Irish? Little king. Yeah, there you go. That's right, and I oh, man. It means little king. Good work tonight, man. It's been yeah. a pleasure.
Yeah, no pleasure. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to get in there and throw it out. Oh, me too. Thank you so much. All right, brother. Like, I got really emotional, like, actually, like, talking about, like, my American dream. I really haven't talked about it that much. I just want to do it, like, for my dad. What is it about your dad that My dad had you? a stroke two years ago. It was, like, really major. I'm an only child. My dad never remarried, and I take care of my dad every okay. single day for, like, for the past two years. I just feel like I needed to let my walls down and be completely vulnerable with her because I really am doing this for my dad. Yeah. He'll be proud, huh? So proud. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get in that category with your dad. I'm so proud of you. I know he would be so proud to see me right now, and I am really wanting to make him even more proud with winning. I'm so excited. Well, I'm excited to make you proud, Dad. Thank you. So another thing my mom did a lot growing up is she calls them burnt carrots, but it's like glazed carrots, like brown sugar. That sounds exciting. That makes me like be like, huh? Again, you've seen my food, so I don't want to play it safe. <laughs> I don't want you to play it safe. He believes in me, and it just makes me believe in so myself funny. so much that I have to pull this off. You have your biggest challenge ahead, so okay. just get some sleep. I am so close to the finish line. I cannot explain how hungry I am for this. I need to go out here and win this. After an evening of preparing wow. the menus, he didn't, he just, he didn't say his bingo. He didn't say his for his daughter. Day of inspiration ahead of their final or destiny. Challenge. What the f Can you believe that food got us here? Not at all. Chefs, this look over here. Oh my God. Could it possibly be? What the? F what could it possibly be? Chefs. Welcome, final three, to the you iconic fuck. <laughs> LA Memorial Coliseum, home of the 1932, 1984, and upcoming 2028 so fake. Olympic Games. On this very site, countless athletes have fulfilled their American dream, and there's no greater athlete just standing there than the to man a who a blank the star screen. of the 1984 Olympics, winning an incredible four gold medals. And an medals, empty no-sound arena. Lewis. Come on out, sir. Hey. Wow. Carl Lewis. Hey, how you doing? Carl Lewis, he's a legend. It's crazy to see him in person. I don't think anybody could describe how this Was feels. Is he a legend though? Congratulations. Thank you Thank very you. much. You guys have made it down to the final three. You're the end, we right? We take this well, to Siri? And just right down there, I, I ran one of the last is. Olympic races ever run in this stadium. Wow. wow. But you know, we have more hey, in Siri. common than just me being the anchor lady. Who is guys Carl Lewis? Home, like one of you are going to be. I was a dreamer. When I was a little kid, track and field athlete, nine Olympic gold medals. Olympic Jesus. And we'd huddle around this All right, I'll TV, put some respect on it. I was just dreaming, gosh, I wish I could go there one day. Years later, 90,000 people were screaming in the stadium. Good to have you in the chat, man. And then at the end, they picked me up. I stream a lot, so I'll see you around. But you never remember the easy times, the easy menus. You remember the tough times and the challenging times. So I guess this is part of your great new stories. Hearing Carlos's story definitely is motivating Carlos? me to push myself even more in my career as what, a his chef name not Carlos, is it? to go for my dreams, go after it. This is just stop one of your tour. Stop two is going to be really interesting because Chef Ramsey has set up a helicopter tour of Los Angeles for all of you. Oh, Good night, Salem. No Peace way. out. I cannot believe this. I've never been in a helicopter before. I know this is going to sound kind of corny. We got the end of this, so I got to run. <laughs> I am Why so can't I escape? Much love, Salem King. Much None love. Thank you, for this, thank you for the, thank you for the in-game donations also. It's just so breathtaking. I've never seen LA like this. And if you drove through LA and you know the city, to see it from a helicopter is just insane. Wow, this is really freaking happening. It has been such a crazy journey and I feel like it's really just setting in on me right now. Hell's Kitchen. I never would imagine that I would even get the opportunity. Sammy, you made it all the way, dude. This is crazy. Like, thank you so much, Chef Ramsey. Destiny. Oh my God, it feels amazing. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever think that I'd be landing a helicopter up on the roof of the U.S. Bank, the tallest helipad in the country. I've played video games where I've jumped off the building with a parachute. 
Grand Theft Auto. I'm excited for what's ahead. First up in LA's famous tower building is a visit to the boutique. I do like it actually. If you look good, you cook good. Getting treated by Chef Ramsay is a dream. Never thought that this would happen. Shocker. Oh my god, I feel like a million bucks. I feel so sexy right now. Tom Cruise, watch your back. I know, right? <laughs> feel good in this outfit, you know what I mean? If you bold and boisterous. You now I can go start the fight or I can go save the world. It's one or the other. It's feeling so good to get dressed up and get into a really cute dress. Now it's off to the 71st floor for a meal at the exclusive 71 above. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That experience Ramsey is gonna be here insane. And I am so excited. You look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Jen, sit there. I finally get another meal with Chef Ramsay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Will you relax now? Yes. 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 Promise? Yes. 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 And it is just crazy to actually be here in the top three. Do you have a partner? No, Chef. You're single? Yeah, single dad. How's that possible? Someone so cool and dapper and... I don't know. <laughs> I get one now. I don't oh. know, Chef. <laughs> What do you mean get one now? You can always get one, yeah. for goodness sake. Look at you. I don't know. Saxon, <laughs> Saxon is my only girl I love. I appreciate that, but yeah. don't give up on yourself, young man. You've got a lot chef. to give. I know, chef. Um, Sammy. Yes. Uh, I'm dying to find out, where did this start? Tell me about the school. What, what were you like at school? Uh, growing up, definitely uh, not the brightest in like academics-wise, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, no, um, like, I was kind of rebellious, honestly, <laughs> in high school, and then gotcha. that's kind of what led me to get into my first restaurant job, and then right. I found such a passion and love for it that I wanted to continue that exploration. I rebelled, so I got a job. Yeah. So far. This has been the furthest I've been pushed in all aspects, and I've, like, just to see my growth, I am so proud of myself. I just feel like whenever you fall down, you have to set goals for yourself to get back up and achieve more and more, and being on Hell's Kitchen, setting these goals for myself has just been the most amazing thing that I think has ever happened to me. How's it been for you? I think uh, the best way to describe it is validating. Yeah. You know, it's been very validating yeah. because I didn't have a lot of confidence, you know. Why? When you've got so much skill. Just, I just, I just never really, you know, had self-confidence in, especially, you know, just growing up, you know, all the class for stuff. Right. In, in my 10 wow. years, I've never come to my dad. Seriously. I just felt like, you know, that wow. I wasn't good enough to because I, I just, you know, hold him to such a high stature. When this is over, you can cook for him, right? Yes, chef. After the walk I just walked, you know, I'm going to be going to hold my head high. Nothing can stop me now. How does Vegas sound for one of you? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, All chef. Chef. I'm so chef. proud. Well Was that three in a row? That's yeah, pretty insane. Family's proud. Yes, yeah. chef. Uh, just excuse the mess, will you, please? Yes. Of course. There's a lot of construction going on there. Okay. Oh, wow. Ahead of the finale, we want to make it exciting. I want to show you this. Now, all three of you. Holy uh, no, oh my God. I've gotten two in a row a couple of times. <clears throat> Excuse the mess, will you please? There's a lot of construction going on there. I had a finale, we want to make it exciting. Now, I put this together, all three of you. Holy my oh my <laughs> To, oh, to, to remind you oh, of man. all that you've been through on this incredible journey. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Can't forget that. Man, this museum is a trip down memory lane. I don't know if I'm sentimental or if I have PTSD, but every little thing sticks out. Let's just go back to the beginning. Remember that moment? Yeah. yeah. Uh, love. Yeah, I remember. I'm standing right here. Wow. Oscar De La Hoya, Martina McCroy, and Dear Sims. I'll never forget yeah. that. That first day was a phenomenal day for all three of you, right? Yeah, it was. It was yes. like years yep. ago. That singing dish, yeah. three fives. Yeah, undoubtedly, five. Congratulations. Great for that. Congratulations, Sammy. It's a five. Um, and it tastes like you've been cooking since the age of five, because uh, you're going to get a five. Well Thank done. you. The Speed Brunch, remember that? Yeah. I do. Oh, yeah. Where we served the new Americans. Congratulations on becoming citizens of the United States of America. One day you're going to be a citizen, right? Yeah, absolutely. I After how long? Uh, 
for here, so I've got, uh, I've got two more left. Sammy, I see this, and I think of you falling on that bar. Uh, oh. Ooh. That looks like it hurt. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I got right Remember? back up, though, yeah. We're blasting off. Remember this one? Yes. So can we the blind oh, taste test. Yeah. yeah. What's he doing there? That little bugger. Oh, you can see that. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a fucking waste. And then for me, one of the most significant points in this competition, the black jacket deck. Jonathan, you got up there quick, young man. Yeah, sure. Who has two thumbs and was the first person to get a black jacket? This guy. Do you know what? That dish just sunk all the right harmony. Come here, young man. Good I'm job. not gonna wait anymore. Great work. Oh my wow. The highlight of my career. I've been so, so, so proud of all three of you. And you've all been individually up and down in this competition, but you so deserve to be here, OK? One more little gift for you. Another present? Like, what does Chef Ramsay have? Yes, Just follow me, please. OK, Chef. Sure. Come and sit down, three of you. Well, I've got one more little surprise for you all. I have for each of you two amazing tickets to fly anywhere that Allegiant flies. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chef. Jesus. I am so excited to use these tickets. I never want to leave Hell's Kitchen, but getting on a That's flight, going somewhere cool, That's an OP fucking perk, like bro. Come this way. Do you want to take a little peek? Yeah, let's check it out. The, the paint's still wet. Pull that down for me. There's that even footless. Let's go. I gotta buy more fucking Lepa berries. Oh my god, I should have known better that, that that there is always something going on in this kitchen. Just relax. Don't you relax? Sammy, John, Ryan, this is your final challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our final three from Orange County, California. It's Jonathan. From Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen, it's Sammy from Florida by way of Corb Island. Ryan. Amazing. Chefs, listen carefully because just in the moment you're going to be cooking your very important five course. This is a waste of menu. money, bro. All three of you will have one hour to execute your entire menu. The stakes are huge because the top two finishers tonight will move forward in the grand finale tomorrow night, right here inside House Kitchen. Make them the best five dishes you've ever done. You have 60 minutes to nail those five amazing courses, and your time starts now. Off you go. I'm always ready to cook. Let's get in the kitchen, and I'm dialed in. And I'm rooting for you, Jonathan. I am so rooting for you. That's my guy. Ready? Yep, you have to expect anything to happen in Hell's Kitchen. That's why I am ready to go, and I am ready to win this challenge. All right, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. All right, brother. Yeah, let's talk. The stakes are at the highest ever. One of us are going to be going home after this cook. 110% the biggest challenge so far. Not in Hell's Kitchen, in my life. This is for your life, man. Yes, yeah, Chef. I think you get a good chance of winning. I, I do too, so. You know, I so. appreciate everything you're doing. Yeah. So going into this cook, man, I can't tell you the confidence I have. Thank you for all your help. You're working your ass off. Thank well, me by winning. And the fact that I have Chef Jason on my side, I feel invincible. 25 minutes, guys. Sammy, they can see you. I don't want to be distracted. I'm super <laughs> happy for the support, but I really need to like, have my get game that face shit on. off the me. The dish was, I think, the only thing that I was a little worried on, but you think it looks all right now? Yeah. This is crazy adrenaline right now. The stakes are so high, so of course I want to bring my top A game. Yeah, I just, just need some spice. Spice is coming out. Wait, okay. Take that real quick, please. Yeah. Perfect, perfect job. Okay. I'm feeling really good about everything at this moment in time, you know. I'm, I'm in my element right now, you know. I feel right at home here. All right, Chef, I'm going to start plating, okay? Wait. I'm very confident that I know I'll make them plenty. Ryan, three minutes, yes? yes? Chef. Let's go. Three minutes. Three minutes, yes? Jonathan? Yes, yes Chef. Good. 
taste everything, yes? Yes, sir. I am so close to the finish line, but I have to pull this off. I just want to do it for Saxon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Well done. It is a pretty big distraction. <clears throat> was an intense 60 minutes please welcome back our three amazing chefs Jonathan, that guy jason looks so Sammy. pissed <sighs> well done. the giant asshole well done. guy now you each have five amazing dishes to be judged and guess what we have five extraordinary guest judges that have flown in specially to be here for all yes, of you this evening judges. chefs are you ready yes sir right judging round number one the delicious cold appetizers she is the chef and owner of three amazing restaurants, Giada, Pronto by Giada, and GDL Italian. Please welcome the amazing Giada De Laurentiis. Giada? Oh my gosh, Giada De Laurentiis, are you kidding me? She's one of the first chefs that I ever looked up to, and one of the reasons what has pushed me to be a chef. Okay, uh, Giada, time to judge the cold apps. Let's start with Jonathan. Yes, chef. Uh, Jonathan, please describe the yes, dish chef. to chef, please. It's a Hawaiian-style tuna poke with uh, an avocado mousse, crispy shallots, some tobiko, and some crispy wonton chips. That looks fucking good. Mmm. Crunchy. Oh, wow. I get a citrus, and then I get a little spicy, and then I get crunchy. I mean, there's so many different layers of flavor, which I think hits it out of the park. Thank you, chef. Thank uh, you so pretty much. Pretty good start. Uh, Sammy, please pass your dish down. Thank you. Sammy, please describe your dish to chef. Yes, right here is a hamashi crudo with a watermelon, blood orange, jalapeno relish, kind of with a little citric acid and an avocado mousse, finished with some mint and that fresh micro be, cilantro. Those are big top. fucking pieces. Wow. <coughs> oh, wow. <coughs> Yuzu. <coughs> yeah, great fruit. Opens up your palate so you can up, really Jink? start to taste everything. Yes. And I love the blood orange maldon. Yes. That is a really, really yeah. lovely touch. I might Thank have you. to steal that one for Jada Vegas. <laughs> My girl Sammy's up there, and I'm super proud of her. Steal I'm that one. She, she was serious, top, too. Girls rule. Ryan, please pass your dish down and chef. explain to Chef what it is. Thank you. It's a celebration of beets. The baby yellow beets I have grilled, and I've let them cool in um, a sauce made from honey, rosemary, orange juice, some lemon juice, and then we have um, candied walnuts wrapped around a goat cheese, finished with some mint. The presentation's stunning. The beets are grilled beautifully. I love the multicolor. I feel like I'm eating at a very shishi French restaurant. Thank you. Right. She, she. Three amazing cold apps on a scale of one to ten. Let's start off with Jonathan's dish first. What would you give it, please? I'd give you a ten. It was very wow. good. Jesus. For her to give me a perfect score is just mind-blowing. Uh, chef, for Sammy's dish? A nine. A nine, wow. Good job. Well done. And then finally, chef, for Ryan's dish? I'm going to give you a nine. A nine, wow. It was so beautiful. All of you, please give it up for the incredible, amazing Giada. Giada. Good luck, you guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's such an honor. Next up, judging the hot appetizer round is chef and restaurateur Brian Malarkey. Malarkey? Chef, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Yes, thank you so much. It's amazing, amazing. Congratulations. His fucking name is Malarkey? Up first is Sammy's pork cabbage dumplings with a scallion garlic chili oil. So well seasoned, and what I love the most is the crunchiness on the bottom of the dumpling. It's got the right amount of heat. That fish sauce gives it that umami blast that's just so good. Thank Clean, you. well seasoned. Gentlemen, you got your work cut out for you on this one. <laughs> Next is Ryan's wild mushroom vol of all with king trumpet mushrooms, herbs, pickled shallots, and black truffle. It's got a lot of flavor, but it's so light to the taste. Uh, very, very bright. The pickled uh, shallots, I think, was a brilliant play to bring it up. And finally, Jonathan's ravioli stuffed with glazed carrots, hazelnuts, brown butter, and balsamic. There's really so many different textures going on here that really play in with the carrot. This is spectacular. I wish I could stay for the rest of the meal. Oh, I mean, I'm like telling you. Thank you. You are missing out. All right, this is amazing, okay? Chef, we're gonna start with Sammy's dish Chef. first. On a scale of one to 10, where are we going, please? Never before have I tasted three dishes so spectacular wow. at the same time. So I don't even want to just go to Sammy. I would like to just go straight down the line and give you guys all perfect tens. They're not helping, bruh. 
craziness all across the board gives us all a 10. I think it might have a heart attack. Let's hear it for the amazing Brian Malarkin. Thank you. That mushroom Thank thing was not a 10. <clears throat> Judging round number three, our fish course. Fucking, this lady is what a an fucking nerd. With a background that includes iconic Michelin star restaurants. The beautiful Melise, the Atelier de Joe Robochon. And she's also starring as a mentor alongside me. Next level chef, please give it up for the beautiful, wonderful Naisha Arrington. Naisha. Naisha Arrington, I mean, wow, she is such a strong and badass chef, so I can't believe she's about to try my food. Uh, Ryan, let's start with you first, please. Chef. Gently pass me the dish and describe your dish to Chef Naisha. So, please. Chef, uh, it says automatically. A take on lobster pot of food. It's online. It's it an online game. You just log out. Visually stunning. I, I can see that there's beautiful um, chunks of lobster, so I'm excited to dive into this. Wow, the depth of flavor of lobster that comes from that brodo, as well as the filling, there's, it's just stunning throughout. Thank you. Great well job. Thank you. The chef of that stature says that my dish is absolutely stunning. I'm over the moon. Jonathan, please describe yes, your dish to chef. Yes, chef. This is a uh, crispy bronzino with uh, blood orange escabeche, with a shaved fennel, carrot, cauliflower, caper salad and finished with some crispy, spicy chickpeas. I think the way you scored this fish is very beautifully, right? So Thank you. you allowing the fish to not sort of buckle when you sear it, very you, intelligent move there. Wow, very bright, very acidic, but in a pleasant way. It's like acidic, but it, there's a sweet hug that comes in on the back end. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Nice. Pretty good. Thank you, Chef. Um, Sammy, describe this to Chef, please. So this is a orange miso sweet potato puree with a crispy Chilean sea bass, a yuzu beurre blanc dotted with some shiso oil and micro shiso. You know, you have some great color on this fish. Thank you. Well, you shouldn't have fucking take them. Definitely don't sell them. Give them back. This long dramatic pause has me like, uh, what's wrong with it? For me. Well, they thought you were going to use them because it would help you, but you don't want to. This is a crispy Chilean sea bass. It's the third round in a very tight final challenge, and Sammy has presented her fish course. You know, I'm a stickler for this, but I always say some fresh herbs, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes sweet potato can get cloying, but some fresh herbs can give it a nice freshness at the end. But individually, everything is packed full of flavor. <laughs> Great job. Thank you, Sean. Well done. Great feedback. You. Chef, three amazing dishes. Uh, it's time for the hardest part of your job tonight, the scoring. Let's start with uh, Ryan, Give please. him back so tomorrow or whatever. I'm going to go with a nine. A nine. Well yeah, done. Great job. Great job. Wow. Jonathan's? Jonathan, this dish is resonating on my palate at an eight. A nine. Thank you. Well Thank you. Yep. Great job. Getting an eight on my bronzino, it just sucks because just like that, they're an eight? the perfect yeah, scores. Rex. You're only as good as your next dish. And then finally, Chef Sammy. I'm going to give your dish an eight as well. An eight. Well done. Give it up for the amazing Nice Arrington. Nice. Continued success. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate you. Judging round four, the yeah, chicken entree helpful. is chef and owner of two Michelin star restaurant, Providence, Michael Simarusti. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Back. As Good always, an absolute pleasure. This guy's always First on. Is Jonathan's pan seared crispy chicken. Dumplings, carrots, and pearl onions. This big bearded guy is always it's on the show. It's not what I expected when I think of chicken and dumplings, but I think you Seth achieved Rogan, your goal chef? of like elevating what traditional chicken and dumplings is. Yes. And so I think you achieved something pretty good here. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Appreciate it. I really well done. Next is Sammy's crispy pan-seared chicken thigh with a chili soy marinade served with the purple sweet potato and a pad thai dish. Brussels sprout salad. I love Asian flavors. Nice spice to it, too, mm -hmm. which I love. Like, I'm a sucker for spice. If I were to say anything, a little bit more on the, uh, like, acidity there in the slaw, touch more salt, maybe fish sauce, something okay. like that. Yes. But it was really good. Yeah. Well done. Delicious. Great job. That was a weird chicken awesome. presentation. And finally, Ryan's crispy chicken breast, served with crispy prosciutto, asparagus, and a blood Another orange burr blanc. chicken breast that's cut weird. I think our Irish friend over here is after half. Michelin stars. It's really beautiful. It's well Thank done. You. The sauce has a great acidity to it, nice consistency, and beautiful color. The dish is 
beautifully executed. Chicken is boring. Um, chef, we're going to judge the hardest part now um, on a scale of 1 to 10. Let's start off with Jonathan for his uh, chicken dish, please, Chef. I'll give you a nine. Thank nine. you. Thank you. And Sammy's Asian spies, thighs. I got to give you a nine, too. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Amazing. And then finally, Ryan's dish, Chef. I'm going to give you a 10. It was wow. amazing. Thank you. Uh, all of you give it up for the amazing chefs this country's ever produced. Michael Silver <laughs> Rusty. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Seth. Four amazing courses. And it all comes down to this last course the beef round. Judging the beef round. Beef round. He's behind some of the best restaurants in the country, like Maud, Gwen, and Georgie. Please welcome the Michelin star chef. Curtis Stone. The Australian guy. Chef, is our final round. Uh, Sammy, please uh, pass me your dishes and present your dish to Chef, please. Thank you. Yes. So, Chef, this here is a seared New York strip with a wasabi palm puree, some pickled enoki mushrooms, some seared maitakis, basted in some butter and aromatics, and then I have a little lime aioli with it. Well, what a beautiful presentation. Thank you. You know, visually, you're just off to the races right from the word go. Sammy, when it comes to steak, the most important thing that you have to do is cook it correctly. And you've nailed it. Thank you. Beautiful cooks. Yeah, Sammy! The seasoning's lovely. The umami of the mushrooms is a beautiful marriage. It's a very nice plate of food. Oh, yeah, that's it. Pretty good. Uh, Ryan, please pass the dishes down. Chef. And describe your dish to Chef. So I have a Wagyu uh, filet. I got some king scallops, beautiful, and then we have the king of the forest, we got some beautiful black truffles. Uh, I have a beautiful golden bean citronette, some uh, garlic sautéed Swiss chard, and finished with um, a sauce royale, finished with some seps. You might have overused the word beautiful, but the plate is very beautiful, so I accept it, mate. It looks great. Yeah. What you needed to do was really accentuate the flavour of the scallop. And by getting that nice caramelization on it, you've increased the sweetness of it, and it really does stand up to the beef, so the match is there. This is a wonderful plate of food that I think any chef would be happy to serve in their restaurant. Good job. Great job. Thank you, chef. And John, please, describe yes, your dish to chef. What you have is a New York strip uh, crusted with a blue cheese butter. Then you have a little breadcrumbs on top, a potato pancake, um, some spinach with garlic confit, and a port wine sauce. The blue cheese is strong, but with a crispy potato, the richness of the beef, it still does work. I was worried about this dish when I first looked at it, but the flavors are there, and you've really done it justice. You've done a great job. Thank you. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Chef, I know this is difficult for you, but uh, we're grateful for your feedback. It's now time to determine who's going to enter the Hell's Kitchen finale. We're going to begin with Ryan, chef, on a mark from one to ten. Ryan, to me, this was a stunning plate of food. You've taken this all the way, mate. I'm giving you a ten. Wow. Thank you, chef. Very, very good. Uh, now they no, literally no, can't win. Congratulations. Uh, None of them can the win. Kitchen finale. Thank you. Thank you so much. Chef, uh, Sammy's dish. Sammy, I love the flavors. I love the presentation. There's really not much that I could say on how to improve this dish. I'm giving you a nine. Thank you, Chef. I definitely wanted a 10, but I will take the nine. This guy needs it a nine right to now win. Jonathan and I. Chef, um, Jonathan's dish, he needs an eight to tie or a nine to be in the finale. Please take your time. <laughs> Fake build up. Wow. It's the final round of the final challenge. And Ryan has already secured his place in the finale. And Chef Curtis Stone <laughs> has only one dish left to score. Chef Jonathan Dish, he needs an eight to tie or nine to be in the finale. So while it wasn't the prettiest plate of food that was served tonight, I think it was one of the tastiest. Thank you. I'm giving you a nine. Wow. Sammy's out. Uh, 
I'm so, so grateful and feel so blessed. But the real victory comes tomorrow morning. Sammy. I feel like Kobe Bryant, you know, job's not finished. One more dinner service, that's where legends are made. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Curtis Stone. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Pack of Man Vice. Shared my post oh, on man. YouTube. What post? Sammy. Chef. You have been so strong from start to finish. I know you're going to get there. Keep learning, keep growing. Congratulations, yes. Thank, you. Thank you. I love you, Sammy. Good luck. Today has been the best day. Love Even this. though I did not get in the final two, I have definitely grown so much over this competition as a chef and an individual, and I could not be more at peace. Ladies and gentlemen, a very big personal thank you to our returning Thank you, Pac-Man Vice, if you're out there, man. Of course, Sammy. Thank you. Sad she lost. Ryan, since you no. received the highest score in tonight's challenge, you will have the first choice. Chef, I'm going to choose this wonderful, wonderful chef. You know, we've shared a lot of time here in the kitchen together. And, you know, she shared the stage with me here tonight. And I think it's only right that, you know, she joins my brigade tomorrow. And that's going to be Sammy. Sammy. Wow. Obviously. Chef Ramsay can't get rid of me. I am back again on the stage, and I am not leaving. Okay, uh, young man, time to build out your brigade. This chef has such an amazing soul and cooks that way, is just a loud leader, someone I've shared a lot of moments with, and I consider my brother, so I'm going to go with Demir. Demir? Yeah. John and I, we have such a great chemistry and dynamic. I'm going to do everything in my power to bring the American dream to life, man. Ryan. Second pick. My second pick, he's got a lot of experience. He can work on his attitude, but that's going to be Jason. Jason. I'm so happy Jason's off the board now, and I don't get stuck with him. And you know what, Ryan? He's your problem now, not mine, and that's absolutely fine with me. Jonathan, second pick. My next pick, she's a Swiss Army knife. She holds it down, and I don't think anything can get in her way, so I'm going to pick Donya. Donya, wow. Donya. Ryan. My third pick tonight, Chef. She's got fire inside in her. She's really energetic. And that's going to be Carmen, Chef. Carmen. Congrats. Okay, Jonathan, third pick. This next chef is just such a strong person. I'm going to have to go with Lee. Lee. Yeah. Well done. Being picked last is so sad. Ryan, final pick. My final pick tonight, Chef. She's been in the industry a long time. That's going to be Sandra. Sandra. Well done. Sad. A toy default Come pick. A toy. Dead ass serious. I got the team I want, even though I didn't pick first. Like, honestly, Ryan, I don't understand any of your picks. You can have Jason. You can have Carmen. Magbar. What a night. Uh, Ryan and Jonathan. The final dinner service of this 22nd season, ladies and gentlemen, of Hell's Kitchen happens tomorrow night. We are in for Let me get a map 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 based on tonight's dish. Give it up for our incredible finalist, Jonathan Ryan. Oh God. Next time on the season finale of Hell's Kitchen. Season finale. Well, that's it, guys. This is it. We watched the whole season. Previously on Hell's Kitchen. You made it. And no shiny. 18 aspiring chefs with big hopes. To walk through those doors and be one of Chef Gordon Ramsay's executive chefs, that's the dream. Arrived eager to impress Chef Ramsay. <laughs> uh -oh. And achieve the American dream. When I have my eye on a prize, I know that I'm going to get it, and I know that I'm going to win this. Which is part hard work. Oh, come here. What planet are you on? America Earth. Oh, my. You tell planet Earth. This is embarrassing. Perseverance. Planet America. My body is currently giving up on me. You need to dig deep. You've done that in your life, right? Yes, sir. That would be a... You need to dig chef. deep. And a willingness to sacrifice. We all know how to cook. I want to be home with my... Many dreams were dashed. I want to be home with my fucking kids. Jonathan Ryan. Jonathan, a 
proud father. My daughter tells me every day, Daddy, you're the best chef in the world. It tastes like you've been cooking since the age of five, because uh, you're going to get a five. Well Thank done. you. An executive sous chef from Huntington. My daughter Beach, tells me I'm the best chef. Nice and cooked, Jonathan. Thank you. Proved his passion matched his skills. I eat fucking pounds. hot dogs and Jonathan. fucking well Easy done. Mac. Determined to change his daughter's life forever. It just kind of reminds me of home. That's so good. Thank you. Having a daughter, it makes me want to make my family proud. I'm putting my daughter on my back and we're going to the finish line. I know you can make this work. Thank you, sir. His worthy opponent is Ryan. Oh, You're going to have to call the first gate to cut me out of here. I tell you that much. Carbonara. A spirited chef de cuisine all the way from Cork. Ireland. Leave that there, I'm eating that. Off you go. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. I feel like I am the epitome of the American dream. I've walked. This is rough, Bobby Cat. This is rough shit out here, man. Who came to prove that cooking is not only in his blood? <laughs> My father's a chef, me and him, ever since I've been five years old. Oh, my. Since five. Oh, old? Let me, yeah. let me find a giant, please. I have a black jacket for you as well, young man. The two finalists started as teammates. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Yeah, these look great. That's Go. And their friendship blossomed into a bit of a bromance. Their friendship blossomed. Ryan and I got our first date. I kind of standing at the doors, looking at you. And my door opens. Yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight. Four covers, table five. It's the final battle. This is it. This is my reputation on the line for the rest of my life. Sandra, make sure it's season. We have a Shiny luck redeem? What do I look like? Fucking. Away from Bob? Forever changing. Watch your temps, okay? I got you. And the American dream is on the line. Jason, let's go. Yeah, I need this. It's not ready. How about no. a wet part? Oh. Oh. Like Bob the Builder? Who will become the head chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas? Bob the Builder! Whose life will change forever? Gentlemen. This is it. Find out right now. One on the epic season finale. Two of Hell's Kitchen. Three. You know how much I sacrifice? Oh, he no. needs some milk. Of Hell's Kitchen, the American dream. Let me get a shiny. <laughs> Yes! For cleaner. Oh. Yes. I'm overwhelmed with emotion. It's so crazy that I made it to the finale. Hey! 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 hey. This is library! I have worked my absolute bollocks off to be where I am today. Yeah, please. years of age. I'm on the biggest stage in the world. And, you know, the best of me is yet to Bruh. come. All right, so... I'm just gonna draw a picture of Jason real quick. <laughs> I'm feeling really, really good about this team. Bar one. Jason's a bit of a d so yeah, that feels that. Is it a penis? <laughs> That's You're fucked up. Tomorrow, just so you know. That's You're fucked welcome. up, dude. I feel really, really he good. He drew about a my dick and said that so it was a picture I, of him. Listen, I'm not gonna scream either tomorrow, guys. I don't work like that. I just like to like get behind you guys and get the good vibe going. Yeah. Hundred percent, bro. Being in charge and being the boss isn't about being loud. It isn't about beating people down. I want us to have such a smooth service and cook such badass food and do it with smiles. If I just cook with my heart, like that guy is an always, asshole. Like he's not wrong. Night, I'm going to win. And then the lamb chop is gonna be on meat. That's an app. It's gonna be like a double chop. So basically, we just gotta get ahead on those. Yeah. No. I was thinking uh, to mirror me. I feel good with that. Got you. The person I'm most concerned about tomorrow is Jonathan. He hasn't been very vocal in the kitchen. That's absolutely fine. You know, he had two vocal powerhouses between me and Danya. Heck yeah. It's going to get done one way or another. Chicken and dumplings. So that's going to be meat and garnish. And I was thinking Danya and garnish. Heard ya. I got you. I'm feeling great, yo. I'm on Jonathan's team, and he's um, laid back. New York Strip. Straightforward New York Strip. OK, cool. Er the only thing that I worry about is Jonathan clearing it too safe. This is a menu that um, is not too difficult, but hopefully it's enough to get the job done. And then I was thinking Lee. His abs. menu is bland. I, mean, I love rocking abs. I really I do. I know. So. I feel like you could start strong and work really clean and get the station <laughs> dialed in. I just kind of assumed that Jonathan was going to have a little bit more of an ego going into this finale. Not that I'm surprised, but like, I'm a little bit surprised. 
I'm so hyped. I am too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you I guys seem really so hyped. Dude. This is the first course. Grilled red, golden baby beet. This is so cool. I can't even do this. Like, what the <laughs> What? <laughs> What's wrong? Dude, this, like, you yeah. know what I mean? This is <laughs> insanity. Yeah, this is real, baby. What the <laughs> Real. <laughs> Just hit me what I was doing. Real. I've never been more ready for anything in my entire life to take the reins and lead this team into victory tomorrow. That unbranded Gatorade, baby. What does that say? Volavant. Volavant. V O L? V O L space A U space V A N T. Volavant. It's very French. I'm not at all surprised that Chef Ryan could be. Fucking, this guy is such an asshole. They got an asset. He's going to spoon the Bruno And I'm going to spoon the Bruno Z over the scallops when they're on the plate. Okay? Let's go ahead with what we're doing and then at least we can all read it. It's no wonder he didn't. Jason? No, nothing. Else. Yes, I thought so. Yeah. There's nothing about you. We're all a team here now, and that's done. So cold app, hot app. Okay, so next. Pan seared scallops, and it's going to be with cauliflower velouté. Cauliflower puree. A really, really, like, saucy cauliflower puree. What is that word, then? Velouté. 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 It's just a French term. I think Ryan is showing great leadership. Myrtle, skills, but Mortal Earth is very what's French, up? And I don't have any classic French training. Doing all right. How you doing? I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Voulavu. Is that the same velouté from the... Doing a degenerate shiny hunt. <laughs> oh, God. I've definitely mispronounced that. And then we have our Bernoise head. Can you just speak it in, like, normal terms, like brown butter? Brown butter, sorry, yeah, so brown butter. Sorry, but, like... That, no, that's fine. No you gaming? Just, hey, it's just my thing, yeah? Sorry, yeah. chef. Such a noise. <laughs> oh, man. I think Ryan's got a solid, super strong, buff, strong menu. But, like, doing <laughs> and executing is, is another thing. So, again, we're going to go super classic, but we're just updating it, modernizing it. Sexifying it. Exactly. Your sexy and edgy. That's the name tomorrow, yeah? Sexy. Edgy. Sexy and edgy. What are we? Sexy, Sexy and edgy. What is the key to a great service? Sexy, Sexy and edgy. Turn around and tell the person cringe. behind you. Sexy and edgy. <laughs> Sexy and edgy. Huh? Sexy Can't and cringy. With a full night of menu planning under their belts, both teams hit the ground running for a dinner service. I remember in, one chef's life in the second forever. season this or third season, the one guy told Check the girl that she teams. he wouldn't try hard unless he paid One her like five grand from my life forever oh, she paid him Today's your day. I'm here for you. my team is just rock solid we're looking good i just have to rise to the occasion proud of you guys where's your pc at bro love you guys, love you guys. Ah! <clears throat> everybody okay with what they're doing now yes are you without a pc yes. everybody knows i'm in my element you know this is me to a t season taste Season, taste again. Teach me your ways, oh teacher. Jason, chuck chuck. Everybody knows. We're exactly going someday. What do you what, what do you wish you could it. play? And when the time comes, I will lead everybody Cow to world? success. You want me to cut the bones off the Cow chicken? Cow world's this fucking be dope. Off, I think. Just double check. No, they still have the bone chef. I'm on meat. It's you can play Pokey MMO on your because phone. Proteins are the starlight of each plate, and you want to make sure that uh, they're starlight. Properly. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's why you chose me. No, Jason's a great chef. He just has a f attitude. Chef Ryan, the least you could do is give me your attention. So you can barely look anybody in the face right now. Well, right? you know, we're all f adults and we have to own it and look it in the f eye. Easy, fellas. We have goat cheese we can roll or it's we're already done, chef. Just asking, I'm so, you know, I'm just going to stop asking. I can deal with it for one more night if he just gives me some really good cooking skills. You say jump, I say giddy up. Jonathan, Chef Ramsey wants to see you in his office. Thank you. Hi, good morning. How are you? Oh, good indeed, thank you. How are you? Good, I guess. A lot of emotions. I'm feeling it today. This journey's been incredible. You are one performance away from becoming my next head chef. I can feel it. I'm yeah. ready for my life to change, Saxon's life. I want to go home and tell her we're moving to Vegas. Somebody wants to see it. Oh, what? <laughs> Saxon! Saxon! <laughs> Come on! Come here, shiny. Oh my goodness me. I know. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> You're doing it, dude. You're doing it. Daddy. I'm so happy I got to see her. Being away from her has taken such an emotional toll on me. What did you tell me this morning? Don't yell at my I love wow, dude. <laughs>
What are you? An idiot sandwich. Oh. An idiot sandwich at Ramsey. Thank you for the fucking gift sub to fucking Mortal Earthborn, baby. You're not even subbed yourself, Ruby Road. <laughs> Thank you so much for the <laughs> gift. Us, what are you? Oh <laughs> my god. We broke, but we out here. 16 months wow, of Ruby Road. So a gift so into a resub at tier 1. That's a lot of months of Mortal Earthborn, so too, I think. And so proud to cook for my life tonight and to know that my family 19 months of Mortal Earthborn. Let me tell you my it's based around my family. Tuna pokey to start. That yeah. comes Thank you guys so much. Fancy night. That's the dish Ruby, that thank you so much. Ah. And my second dish is glazed carrot ravioli. Mm. And who is it based uh. on? It's based on grandma's burnt carrots. Come on, we have them all the time at home. Well, I made them a couple days ago. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I feel like nothing can stop me. Are you going to cry? Nothing go. can stop me. Kiss Kill me. Baba Yaga, what's up? Thank you for saying follow for so long, man. Coming up. Means the, the world to me. Face off in their most epic battle yet. This is going to be the most important service of our lives. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Which one will rise to the occasion? Sandra, season the water, okay? Make sure it's season. Doesn't matter what the it is. It needs to be right. No more Bruh. perfection. Let's go, chicken. I need it now. You can't say I need it now when it's not ready. And which chef's American dream? God, Jason's yeah, going to tank it for him, dude. I'm coming as fast as I can. I did not think that Demir would me on my lamb chops we have a big problem on the meat station will come true oh, excuse me i really appreciate the gift and the resub thank you so much ruby road Butter. ryan chef ramsey wants to see you yep chef calls you move hey chef you guys Fantastic. I'm not Good. always Good. there when you Yo, call. I'm the team. But yeah, the always on one time. Service, young man. One service away from winning this thing. One service for the rest of my life. Give That's me the way I see you. I want to remind you what you find you for. Uh, excuse me, Ryan's Mr. wife? <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Jennifer, so nice to see you. Is she Irish? <sighs> I haven't seen my wife in like five weeks, so like just to see how beautiful she is again, I am punching well above my weight. Have you missed her? Oh my God, more, yeah. than, I, more than anything. I am so happy that our travel partners at Allegiance could fly you in this morning. There's such a shame. Yeah, our here. partners at Allegiant Air. Absolutely. And maybe next time I'm in Ireland, he can host me a dinner. I'm going to take you up on that, chef. Oh yeah, Ruby Road. <laughs> is that his dad from Ireland? <laughs> It's like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you shortly. Oh my god. Oh my good, good god. All that we talked about. <laughs> we both know how much this means, not only to me, but to you too. And what makes this just Wait, to the Peter so Copter. <laughs> place to do it on the, on the world's biggest platform you know to cook my first meal for, for my dad you know it's fantastic i love you bud i know i love you, you know? too and you got this you got this I do. that's a long long journey to make now he's here <laughs> like mother and father like we're always there for me no matter what just having them here with me right now just gives me extra fuel to go with it oh lois <laughs> an emotional day in Hell's Kitchen. Chef Ramsey has summoned the two finalists for a pre-service briefing. Gents, yes, chef. chef. Take a seat. Just want to quickly check in with both of you. We good? Yeah, chef. What a journey. I just want to say congrats to both of you. Thank you so much for everything. Tonight, you need to make it clear that you're the head chef. Yes, chef. So take charge of your teams and own this service. Yes, chef. To help you both get in the right mindset. I want to take a little moment and give you these. Oh, wow. That's right. Let's get them on, guys. Yeah, chef. This Double is black chef jacket. It is just the pinnacle of everything. This is something I will have forever. It just is an absolute surreal moment to have that. This is a beautiful, beautiful jacket. Like, if I get it dirty, I don't care. I'm not washing it. I'm hanging it up on my wall. Like, boom, boom, boom. You've got something 
quite extraordinary tonight. Cook with the dad, and for the first time, sadly, I didn't get a chance to cook with my father. My father passed at 53 with a heart attack, so he never got to see anything I'd done. That really strung on my heart. I can only imagine how proud his father would be of him, you know, and you know how proud my father is of me. This one's for you, Dad. I want both of you to take all that hunger, all that passion, and give me a service that shows the entire world that dreams are made in America. Make it count tonight. Yes, yeah? sir. Yes, sir. I'd like to wish you both the very best of luck. Thank you. Yeah? Thank you for everything, Excellent. Chef. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you, Chef. Let's go. I'm wearing a jacket. You know, I'm standing in the spot. I'm ready to rock. You know, this is a pinch me moment. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this historic night. I'd like to introduce now our two incredible finalists, Ryan and Jonathan. Ryan, why don't you give our guests an insight what they're going to be tasting this evening and how much this American dream means to you. So, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Ryan. I'm from Ireland. I came here four years ago with pennies in my pocket and a dream in my heart. And I worked my ass off and here I am standing in front of you living my dream. The food I prepared for you tonight is me on a plate. Some dishes that I can't put a prediction because people are going to cheat and Google this. And cook for my heart. So please enjoy. Amazing. Jonathan gives our guests an insight to the magic. I kind of want the movies. Irish guy to win. What this dream and journey means to you personally, young yeah, man. Yeah, chef. You know, food is everything to my family. My mom and dad are over there. And uh, now being a single dad, my daughter's five. So it's not only my American dream, it's hers, and I push myself for her. So my menu is just the emotions that I cook with from my family. My, to my menu daughter, is based off my kids' so favorite foods. So she says I'm the best chef ever. So I'm gonna be making now, crap tonight, Easy Mac. We'll I'm gonna be making pigs in a blanket. I'm making some Lucky Charms. Right, uh, Dessert. Join me wishing these two phenomenal chefs the very best of luck. Dinner service will begin shortly. Let's go. <clears throat> Saxon. I mean, I'm guessing because I don't know who wins, but. This is going to be the most important service. Chat's full of life. cheaters. I have my father that's after traveling thousands of miles to come see me. Woo! Come on, Ryan. I've never cooked for him. Woo! Not once. Wow. So tonight, I want ye to put your hearts on a plate for me. We're going to be sexy, sexy energy. energy. Yes, chef. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's go. We worked really hard. This is the last night. Just Can't push it hard. That. Cook with your heart, guys. I am so ready to go out there and crush this dinner service. For my mom and my dad and for my daughter, thank you guys a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. For the 22nd time, two chefs are going head-to-head -head in a life-changing battle. Cheers. Chef to Ryan. Go, Ryan. Looking good right now. Yeah, Ryan. The chef from Cork, Ireland. This is going to be one of the best services I promise you you will ever do. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. And Jonathan, the chef from Huntington Beach, California. Please give me shiny. Out of my life. It's my executive chef code. That's the only one that counts, baby. <laughs> Chicken and dumplings. It's gonna be a good menu. Yeah. I'll do it's the gonna be a good menu. The lobster ravioli and the lemon for dessert. Ready? First thing. Going all seafood. Okay, guys. Four guests, two pokey, two lamb. Hurt. Just like that, guys, all night. Yes, chef. Okay, first take it. Two beats on it, two volavon. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Two beats, two volavon. Get your volavons in. Beats on is going to be helped to play it, okay? Yes, chef. Taste, 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 everything. You know, this is it. I really hope that Chef Ramsey sees that I can lead the kitchen. How long do we need to the pass? Two volavon, two beats on in five minutes. Heard that. This is the golden ticket. Get this one right, and the rest of the service will go. I got a golden Let's go, ticket. Let's go. This Volavon can't wait for anybody. They need a right now. Ryan right now is really right channeling his inner Chef Ramsey. He definitely needs perfection out of us. Let's go, Beat Sonnet. Let's go. Right here in my hands. Ten seconds. Ryan is such an amazing leader. So in control. So organized. He really deserves this head chef position. And I'm going to be really surprised if he doesn't get it. Two Beat Sonnet. Let's go, Sonny. Thank you, Beat Sonnet. Don't, 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 don't. Beautiful, very nice. Okay, yes, chef. Demir, how long on the lamb? We have two minutes on the lamb. Heard. Two pokey right behind. Heard on the two pokey behind. I'll follow. My team is just rock solid, and tonight's a celebration. 
of how far they've come as cooks. And it just feels really, really nice to have that. Okay, I need Lamb to be here as soon as possible. Please. I got a lamb in my hand. Lamb walking. Hug, lamb walking. Tonight, I'm on a meat station. You know, I got a lot of responsibility with tonight's service. Give me the lamb. Lamb. Okay. So I'm going to lock in and, and knock it out the box. Jonathan, come over quickly. I backpacked in Europe. What is this? Yeah, that guy's a weak link. Oops, I just, I just wasted my time it's so massively I can't even tell you. Fucking lamb. insane okay. that was. And Demir's first attempt at lamb. Their role is in what a fucking joke! Hurry up! So they gotta go back to the pan. Gotta help me with it now. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes. Sir. The raw lamb, Demir. Tonight is not the night for stupid mistakes. Demir, come here. Come here. You gotta get this back in the pan. So put these in and baste it. Okay. And then more oil, less heat. I got you. Yes, sir. Jonathan is amazing. We're cooking for him, his family, his American dream. I need one pokey right, right now. Right now. Walk in one pokey. Nice. And you know, every time we play. Come on, give me shiny. And I feel so connected because I'm a mom as well. Okay, I need two lamb, D. Two lamb in my hand. Coming down. Two lamb in my hand. Walk it. Always test. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. With Demir getting out of his lamb jam. Send it, send it. Lamb jam. First appetizers are a big hit. Delicious. While over in the red kitchen, Ryan's next ticket is hitting close to home. This is your family, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, walking in. This is a VVVIP. This is my father and my wife, okay? Yes, chef. Two scallops. Two scallops here, chef. This is the first time I cook for my father, okay? So let's make it count, okay, guys? Give me five minutes on those scallops, yes? Five minutes on scallops, heard. To have his father there, like, traveling from Ireland to come all this way. Lamb is like, good. His son. Yeah, I'm going I'm to well up again, you know? 60 seconds on two scallops. Heard that. This is his service of a lifetime, and if you want to do That woman is not taking Christina's advice and flipping life. the scallops away scallops. from you. In the middle, yes, in the middle. Thank you. Sandra, come here. Quick, yes, let's chef. go. I need these even stair, yes? Yes, chef. Quick stair on the other side, okay? Let's go. This is VIP. I'm losing right now. It's her first mistake. I'll give her one chance. If she f up again, she'll see a different side to me. Make sure they're the best scallops you've ever cooked in your life. Yes, chef. No more f ups. I expect perfection. They look ready. They look ready. Scallops in the middle, please. Let's go. Walking scallops. Nice, much better. Yes, chef. Two scallops up. Thank you. With both Ryan's absolutely divine. Yeah. And Jonathan's appetizers receiving high marks from their nearest and dearest. That's pretty darn good. Appetizers <laughs> are now rolling out of the Because like, get me a Budweiser. Mm, wow. And Jonathan's team is ready for their first entrees of the night. Okay, guys, I need one chicken, one bronzino, two strips. How long? How long? Bro, I only need four minutes. Four Bruh. Minutes. Bruh. Four minutes. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Chicken is going down. So is the New York strip. It's a lot of Bruh. fun. You know, Jonathan going for his American dream. Service started off a little rocky, so I feel as though I need to make sure I put the best effort into making this ticket perfect as possible. Demir, two strip. How long? 90 seconds on this two strip, okay? Please, please, please. I'm coming as fast as I can. I'm getting a little nervous for Jonathan. The meat station is the backbone of this service, and Demir is definitely overwhelmed. Bring him, bring him, bring him. Don't forget sauce with those strips. Come on, dude. Keep on pushing and get this win for Jonathan. Chicken, yes. Bruh. New York, to your right. Yes. I said over easy! I just touch that sauce. Ice cold. Ice cold. Okay. Hey, this cold sauce is honestly killing me, Demir. Demir, come here. Yo. Heat this up. In the back. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Ice cold. I did not think that Demir would me on my lamb chops and me on my sauce. I need Demir to figure out this meat station because it's sinking us. No, we need enough color on there. We have a big problem there now. We have a big problem on the meat station. Young man, yeah. happens, yeah. deal with it, yes? Okay. Welcome to my world. Donya, Donya, I need you to be on me. I'm sorry, D. I'm so I'm sorry. Fine. That's fine. Switch, okay. switch Can up. you go to garnish? Yeah, I got to go to garnish. garnish. Donya, I need you to put these in the pan, face them. How long? Give me 90 seconds on this, chef. 90 seconds. seconds. Okay. 90 seconds. Okay, I need you to cook that meat. I got you. 90 seconds. Let's go, guys. 
Push hard, please. I know Donya can cook me like a dream. Yes, chef, I'm moving. I'm walking in 30 seconds. This is my moment. This is the most important dinner service of my life, and it's important. I Don't let that butter be burn. The next winner of Hell's Kitchen. Behind, coming in hot. Thank you, Donya. Thanks, Donya. I already know what time it is. It's time to get off the bench and sub in. Let's go, let's go! I'm like Steph Curry at the half court, bro. I'm pulling out clutch shots. Beautiful, beautiful, there you go. Half court? Nice I don't hot. think I've had a better steak in my life. With Jonathan Switch on the meat station paying off. Hey, you made the right move. I know, sir. Ryan is determined to keep his team focused on pushing entrees out for his... VIP, my father and my wife. Make this the best dish you've ever cooked in your life, please. Two laps of ravioli fired, hold on. Two laps of five minutes. Taste everything, okay? Yes, 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 chef. I know what this guy wants, and, you know, I, too, have high expectations. Sandra, season the water, okay? Yes, chef. Make sure it's seasoned. I went through all this trouble to make these beautiful raviolis. We're not going to them up with season, okay? No, chef. No, I'll season more. It doesn't matter what the it is. It needs to be right. Walking ravioli. You know what I mean? If it's a chive or an onion or a glass of water, I don't give a It needs to be right. Take Sandra. Sandra. Yes, chef. Please make it. Sandra. Ninety <laughs> minutes into the final. I know. I would. I would go even Ryan if there was a chance I didn't get served. Hopefully, Taste I didn't go to a dud okay, night yes, though. Chef. For a very special VIP table. Walking ravioli. Sandra. Yes, chef. Beautifully cooked on that lobster. Thank you, chef. VIP, please table six. Absolutely. As Ryan's entrees get some Irish eyes smiling. It's good. It's absolutely amazing. Jonathan's dishes are delighting his family as well. Yeah, that's so good. It's wonderful. And main that looks courses silly, are leaving good. both kitchens in a timely manner. Two chickens walking to the pass. Let's go, baby. Walking to salmon. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Leaving diners with culinary pots of gold. It's amazing. Pots of gold. And now both kitchens are on there. Final table, two Bronzino, two New York strips, okay? Hey, hey. How long? Two, two Bronzino, two New York strips in four minutes. Hey, four four minutes, minutes, three. minutes, garnish in three. Let's go. Two surf and turf, one round, one chicken. Yes, one chef. Chicken. Make sure this chicken is perfect, please, okay? Yes, chef. They're notorious for fumbling when we get closer to the finish line, so make sure you keep pushing them. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Uh, and this lady knows more about that than anybody. Absolutely. She's been in your shoes. Absolutely. And open. Let's push now, let's push. Push it, guys. Last entrees. We're pushing. Let's go. Let's go. Right now, you know, making the switch and, and finding my voice. I feel like I'm hitting my stride. Let's go, guys. Let's go. No, it's one in 30,000 in this game. You're pushing. You can do this. I know you can do this. Yes. We hit a couple bumps, but it doesn't matter. We bounce back. I got 30 seconds. I need two Bronzinos. Her. Finish strong. Yes, yes, chef. Come on, guys. That's pushing. Give me this chicken. It's not ready. No. Let's go. Come on. Not on the last table. Don't do that. Come on, Jason. I have one last chicken breast I need to send out, but at the same time, I need a little bit longer. Jason, come on. Let's go. Yeah, I need this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jason, do not f it up right now. Chicken walking. Yeah, it's way harder to find them in this game. So that's undercooked. Jason brings up undercooked chicken. There's more time for rookie mistakes, but my American dream is gonna come true. Jason, say back in the oven, yes? Come on. This is my reputation on the line for the rest of my life. Let's go, back in the Let's oven. Let's go, finish strong. Last push, come on, Jason. Let's go, Good chicken. shit, first go. You can't say I need it now when it's not ready. This is right now about Chef Ryan, and I want Chef Ryan to win no matter what. Chef. You ready? One. Service, please. Last table. Beautiful. Thank you. Like, it's really good. Yeah. Push it, guys. Last entrees. Chicken is boring. Chef's walking. Right here. Right here. Right here. Nice. See? They're ready. Yes. Beautiful steak. Ryan and Jonathan have each sent out their final ticket. I love it. And now the diners can appreciate that Ryan and Jonathan are among the most worthy finalists ever in the history of Hell's Kitchen. My appetizer was good. 
Would you return to this I forget where Evie is wild. Jason. What's up, buddy? You know, Ryan and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but he's a great cook. The Pokedex is and, amazing you know, in this game. Great food tonight. So good. He was very vocal. He was very supportive. And, you know, I just think there's not a shadow of a doubt that he won this. Best part of my dad's experience was watching my son cooking with Gordon Ramsay, my idol as well. Great job, everybody. You have to go to Kanto yeah, in, if you want to find the wild really or Sinnoh. Everyone in this room. Everybody Ryan, I feel you. I'm so proud of you guys, dude. You too, Jonathan. You did amazing. You did a hell of a job, bro. You guys crushed it, bro. Jonathan has more than what it takes to be the winner of Hell's Kitchen, man. The way he thinks about food, the way he pours heart onto a plate, he's more than a leader. That one's I fixed so IVs and fixed nature. <clears throat> Whatever happens, I'm proud of what happened. I'm yeah. proud of the food we did. And yeah, that's it. And that's all that matters. I want to All the gifts and shit are like that, chef. like starters, stationaries, eggs, or whatever. All that shit. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Having read these common cards, the competition is so close. Seriously, both of you, young men, congratulations. I'm going to be going upstairs to Congratulations. Office you have found a room. So. Teams' kitchens. And based on tonight's performance, I can assure you've made my decision very, very difficult. Your challenge is over. Mine, right now, is just beginning. So, all of you, together, head back to the dorms, crack open a bottle of Guinness, crack open a... Never again. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed! No, not tonight. What would you like? Nothing. Just seven. one, young man. Water. I love a water with you, okay? We what keep, would you like? I'll, I'll, I'll have a little Guinness, and that's it. There you go. Okay. okay. All of you, head back to the dorms. Ryan and Jonathan, I'll call you when I've made my decision. Yes, yes chef. chef. Good luck to you both. Thank, Thank you, chef. chef. Head off. Thank you, chef. Well done. You got enough points? Thank you, guys. Thank you. I poured my heart and soul into every piece of food I put on. I'm out. the trash man. You gave us in the fridge. <laughs> I think I commanded, load, pro. My team did phenomenal. I'm so proud of all of them. It was absolutely amazing. Bye! I feel like I've got a chance to do this. I really do. But again, it tells Kitchen I anything could happen. Well, this episode's about to end, and I'm about to run out of fucking sweet scent. I know, I will. So. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Love you, I love you. Good luck. I'm so proud of myself, and I'm so proud of the way I, I led my team on the pass. I just want to live in the moment right now and, and take it all in. Tonight was a huge occasion, and I feel like I rose to that occasion. Johnny, we're legit. Yeah, legendary status. Part of an elite group, like. To make it the finale, it's, it's, uh, it does not kick in. It doesn't get better than this. It's something that's going to be, you know, I had it close to my heart for the rest of my life, you know, because working with Johnny, like, he has changed my life for the better. So what do you think is going to happen tonight? I got I nothing. I got no fucking I Chinese. At the doors, looking at you. Your hand on one handle, mine on the other. No Fuck! What, what a We're waste of friends. fucking time! Just imagine what this is going to do for our life. We're still in our 20s. <laughs> our whole lives are going to change after this. I never expected this to, to be part of our journeys. No, never in a million years. Johnny, I love uh, you, bro. Oh, 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 it out in SOS. So tough. Great comments. Undoubtedly five. Congratulations. Great job. Really good. That's not risotto, chef. That's uh, that's orzo, chef. Well spotted. Thank you. It's great. It's a restaurant quality dish. You should be very proud of yourself. I so hope that the someone gets that. Advancing met. to the final three is Ryan. You I could do that, but that would be mate. very Bob the Builder. Wow. Very Bob. Oh, wait. It tastes like you've been cooking since the age of five, because uh, you're going to get a five. Well Thank done. You. So good. Bob like the Builder. <laughs>
Yeah. Young man, it's the main position the night. Thank you guys. I like that you Going did the whole play. It's probably two things at once. Uh, it's something we strive for on a daily basis: the sheen and the glaze. Oh my god! That's cheating. That was a standout dish. I can't tell you what this means to me. There's really so many different textures going on here. Two shiny ones at once is cheating. I'm like telling you. Thank you. Mortal oh, Earthborn, I really Jeff, appreciate that, way man. Up to my office. I've made my Stay decision. strong, okay, thank get you. some rest. I'll see you around. I don't care if they're two different consoles. That's that's cheating. Gentlemen, my decision tonight has been incredibly difficult. Think back to your very first day inside Hell's Kitchen. Doors, just like these, were set in the dining room. You both walked through them Send as a touch of inspiration on your American dream that. journey. Now you're about to stand before the actual doors and so close to fulfilling your dreams. Who's gonna win? I know that this is right now one of the biggest moments of your life. Needs to hurry up. Ryan, your fight. The determination is extraordinary. You're one of the most determined chefs I've ever met. This is 1.5 speed. It doesn't even sound different. Your pocket, but trust me, you came rich in talent. Thank you. What the fuck, man? Jonathan, young man, you have tremendous drive. Is this incredible working? Incredible finesse and a big, no, big not. heart. Thank you, chef. Just understanding your de dedication of craft and to giving your daughter a better life. It is incredibly admirable. Thank you, Chef. Regardless of my decision, it's not working. you are both living proof that the American dream is possible. I have reached a decision. I can't speed Ryan, it up when I want. It's so please funny. step up to your doors. Like it's all coming down to this. I hope to God that this dream comes true for me. You know, I really, really do because I believed in myself, and here I am. Good luck, bro. Love you, man. It works for a second this and then goes it. back. Everything's led up to this point. I gave it everything I got. My heart is racing. My blood pressure is just boiling. It all comes down to this. I need this door to open for my family, for Saxon. It's going to change our lives. The chef whose door opens will become the winner and take up that amazing role as my head chef at Hell's Kitchen, Las Vegas. Gentlemen, this is it. On the count of three, I want you to turn your handle. Here we go. Good luck to the both of you. Proud of you both. One. Two. Three. Come on. The chef whose door opens will become the winner of season 22 in Hell's Kitchen and take up that amazing role as my head chef at Hell's Kitchen, Las Vegas. Gentlemen, this is it. On the count of three, turn your handle. Here we go. Proud of you both. One. Two. Three. Yay! Alright guys, it's gonna be it for me. It was a pretty fun stream. I'm gonna raid another Poke Creator. I kind of work in their stream here and there. They've raided me before, so pay it forward. Savannah Banana, she's cool. She's doing DAs. So I'll see you guys, all right? I love you all.